Sup? I can't update my title anymore. That's not good. Hello. Oh, hey, Lily Gang. In honor of today's coding stream, I'd just like to thank you, Doug, for sharing my unfettered hatred of C++ and my love of Java. Also, my man. Maha is playing Dark Souls, so I'm gonna have to go now. Sorry, Doug. Fair enough. Finally, the fabled coding stream. It's happening. Wait, where are you? Chat, where'd you go? Don't panic. Okay, you're back. C++ is the best. C++ is the best. It's just the least fun to program in. Like, it is the best language. It just, I hate it, and it sucks. Parkshire can't read my code in dark mode. Does he need to read it? I can have him proofread it. I can't seem to update my title. Uh, I'm excited. I don't, uh, you know, most people... Uh, probably won't be, but um, I've, I've wanted to get this done. I've really been enjoying this a lot. Connie Dust, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Why do you hate Europeans? I was trying to get things ready. Um, there, there's certain things I can't really stream on stream. So I have to figure those out, you know, beforehand. I'm a software engineer, so does this count as work? Yeah, you can bill your you can bill your company. Don't worry. Just be like, hey, I was looking at code all day. Um, thanks for looking at my code, you Ban Banana. Back. You have helped Rust so is much. Better than C++. Thank you very, very much for setting this up. Like so many of the things that you did would have taken me forever. So now I've just been modifying it and adding stuff. So I really appreciate it, Banana. Thank you. Um. Like, I'm not... A, so I have a list of things we're going to try to do today. Sir King Autismo, thank you so much for the 12 months. Build. Can Twitch chat be the DM in the D&D stream? So I have two... That's not what we're doing today. Um... Total Gree, thank you very much for the 12 months. Why is why is random viewers capitalized? That's not a um Hello Franklin. Sorry that you suck at Peggle. Anyway, Twitch chat codes when? A crew versus Zed I'm, I'm not letting you I'm not letting you in. I'm not letting you into my code. Python. <laughs> yeah, okay. Also you smell today. Good um, or bad you decide. Well, I haven't showered, so I might smell bad. Again, that's not that weird. Um I so I have an idea for Twitch chat plays DD. And, sorry, I have, so far I have two Dungeons and Dragons ideas. One is, which is what I want to do probably next week, I don't think I'll have time this week, is where I'm the Dungeon Master and you guys will have three, here I wrote, I made a little mock-up for it, where is it? Um, chat gone, wait, did I? Did I make a mock-up? Maybe I didn't. Oh, I don't think I exported the D&D one. Well, anyway, it would look kind of like this. So this is what I'm trying to do today. So this is, this is like a, a mock-up in Photoshop. So the goal today is to make an app so that we have two people that I can choose from chat. One would be from A crew, one would be from Z crew. Your name is here and your messages are below and they're spoken out loud, right? And then if we can, if I can finish this all today, we'll play Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And what we'll do is we'll have like a captain from each team be chosen and then they both get to pick who A Crew's battle team is and who Z Crew's battle team is, and then they'll fight. We'll see which team can do more. So it'll be like tabs, except cooler, because people will get to talk and stuff. So this is what I'm trying to do today. I'm like, I don't know, halfway there. You're pogging. I haven't done it yet. It's like if I came up and I was like, hey guys, I'm gonna make the sickest new movie ever. It's gonna have Batman and Superman. And Iron Man, and it's gonna be awesome. I feel like generally you wait till I've done it. You don't just pog at the, <laughs> you don't just pog at the beginning. This isn't even like a trailer. It's just a picture. If like a guy walked up to you with a picture of Batman and Superman and Iron Man, you wouldn't just be like, oh my god. 
And it's just some dude. It's not even like a reputable person. Like, it's just a guy. It's just some random guy. So I don't think you should be that excited about it. But anyway, that, so that's the plan for today. We got, we got some steps to get there. Um, let me break it down. So here's here's the plan, okay? I have to do various things to my... Wait, no. I should show you the app first. I showed it on Saturday, but I'll show it again. This is the greatest stream of all time. I mean, this will probably be all programming, but if I can... Fi if it all works, then we can play... We can play tabs. So that'll be fun. You just subbed for three years. Lots good. I think of it three years. That's a sixty-dollar value, all for only fourteen ninety-nine. Thank you very much, Lots good. I appreciate it. Fun fact: it is not a sixty-dollar value when you sub for three years. It's much more than that. Um. I guess I, I should show what we're doing, right? Or like how how it's set up. Okay. And then. I figured out how to set up Amazon's text-to-speech, and then you guys can do funny voices with it. So that'll be funny. No, I'm just saying it costs $5 a month, you know, so... I know the stream just started, but there's already a syntax error on line 53. Where are you even... Could you fix it? There isn't. The line 53 is fine. Or were you talking about a different one? It's like $180, right? To stream for... or to sub for... Hey, Doug. Three You're years. well rested today. Thank you. Oh, you're coding today? Well, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. I actually do feel okay. My sleep has been really hit or miss recently uh, due to some, some meds I'm taking. Fortunately, today I'm doing fairly good. Funny voices pog look. We'll get to the funny voices. I'm pretty sure we'll get to funny voices today. But this will, it'll mean like instead of just having your message be read out loud. Legendary Alex, thank you for the 12 months, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Instead of just your message being read out loud, you can, like, have words that say you want to whisper it or yell it. <laughs> so you can, like, emphasize certain things, which I think will be really funny. And we should be able to do all that today. But, yeah, it's just going to be... It's just going to be the thing. Doug, why is Pog broken? Is Streamlabs broken again? Is DeFace working? Okay, DeFace works, but Pog broke. Sorry, everybody. There's no Pog anymore. Doug, we're playing Left 4 Dead tonight. You're on Los's team. Start at 6 p.m. sharp. Los is supposed to help me build my computer tonight. <laughs> so I don't I don't wanna. Maybe I will play. If I'm done with this by six, I'm down to play, Eddie. My sister just sent me a picture of a copy of Sun Tzu's The Art of War she just bought. What do I do? I think you take a picture of that picture and you print that out and you send it back to her. Then you'll have the upper hand. Okay, <laughs> is everybody ready to look at uh, programming and do programming and, and all that? Um, here's what we'll do. First, I'm going to explain what the current app is and all the things I have learned. Because I did not know any of this like a week ago. Um, and then I will explain what we're trying to do today. Like what things I'm going to try to code. And then, and I think you should be able to follow along actually. Even if you don't really know programming. Idolog Bonnet, thank you for the 12 months. What IDE is this? This is not an IDE. This is just sublime text. It's just a text editor. I should use an IDE, but I'm I'm not. This is not a milking stream. This is a programming stream. Um, cool. Good lord, this slow mode. Slow mode's like 10 seconds, right? I mean, that's a five. Is it really high or something? No, we're not milking. Okay, let me let me explain how this works. Because I also have to remind myself. Okay, so the goal is to do something like this. Um, where do I run it? I run it. Okay, we run on the development server. We pop it over. I showed this on Saturday. Uh, one, two, now I, now I just type in my IP address, which is 127.0.0.500. Okay, so this is the holy chat god selector, right? And with this app, what we can do is pick a random user. Um, them a canned cheese man. So you were picked, and now if you talk, congratulations, you you won, and if you talk, doxed. Wait, why didn't you talk? Wait, can you say doxed again? You should have talked at me. Maybe you're muted. Or just say anything again. Talk doxed. Why didn't you talk? Huh? Did I break the text to speech? Uh oh. Well, anyways, it's supposed to talk. In here, if I when is Twitch chat plays Python and then chat reviews our code? Test, test, test. Why Doug no talk? What happening? 
Um, this literally was working like right before the stream. What did I? I had a guy just spent the last four hundred dollars on school supplies, so I thought I'd give you the last bit of moonies. <laughs> Thanks, missing monster. <laughs> Sounds like you have your priorities. Um. Well, anyways, so theoretically, I'm gonna we're gonna figure that out, right? I'm sure things are working fine, and have I didn't break it all. Have you talked to your refrigerator yet? I saw it running earlier. Just want to make sure it's okay. Ha 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 Um, thank you. So, anyways, it, so it'll pick basically a random viewer, right? It'll pick a random viewer and then their messages get shown. So, and their messages can s s talk out loud, right? And so using that, that's how we can with this, um, the mock-up, like this is again the goal of today. No, not this one. This one. So the goal is to have two people who we pick One's for A crew, one's for Z crew, and and then both of you guys can talk, and you'll represent your team for that battle, right? And then we move on. And there's other ideas I'm going to do with this, like Dungeons and Dragons, where I'll have three characters, and and you guys play the three different characters and whatnot. Amazing picture. I don't know where this is from, but thank you. I do look really good. Um, so so that that's what the that's what this is, right? Is is this app? The way it works. Let me try to explain this. Okay. Because I'm I've, I've not good at this stuff. Okay, this is the front end. Uh, apparently with HTML, you like link a bunch of shit that you're using, okay? Write that down. And then once you've linked in all the shit that you're using, okay, then you write a script that's all the JavaScript thing and you just put it all in here after this document ready function thing. So then here's all my JavaScript code. And basically what the JavaScript code is, it's just saying, if me as the user clicks a thing, then something will happen. Or if the server talks to us, then something will happen. So um, first we'll do the click on things. This is saying if you click the pick random user form, um, if you do that, this is jQuery, which I learned is a, like a dollar sign and then you get to select. So basically this defines all the visuals that are going on in this app, right? So the HTML is saying, oh, the HTML's down here. The HTML is like, okay, I want a button. I want a, uh, I want a box for the user's name. I want a box for their message and whatnot. So you have all the, the visuals defined, right? And you say, here's what's going to be on screen. And then the jQuery JavaScript stuff is saying like, okay, if somebody, if I come in here and I click this button, when that button gets clicked, then this function is going to fire. So then this function is saying the TTS is changing. So then it will log that and it will emit over the sock it don't worry about the sock yet it'll emit over the socket and say hey bro i got you this um thing oh i broke it that's why i know so I'm, I'm emitting the wrong thing over the socks we'll worry about that later okay so i have various functions that are basically saying if i click a thing then it'll do a thing and go tell the server what's going on it'll also has a function for if i receive data from the server so if I'm the client, which is this web browser right here, like, like we all want it to be like a web browser that we can look at, right? So if we're looking at the web browser and seeing all this stuff, if the server tells me, like here, we pick a random person, Fangirl Letty. If Fangirl Letty, the server is like on the back end listening to Twitch. If it gets a new message from Fangirl Letty, it'll send it through the sock. And then on the front end in this code, this is gonna fire when I get a message. And basically you can see all it does is I say like, okay, get, get the message that was said and update it, update the HTML. Okay, Fangirl said zero. So uh, the message from the server was like, okay, Fangirl said zero. They sent it through the sock. I got it. And I was like, all right, perfect. Let me update the HTML to show what the message was, right? Thank you, Fangirl Letty. And um, yeah, and then so basically I'm, I'm just up to, when when I get a message from the server, I I upgrade I, I put I display the user that it's from and I display their message right and so that's what the the jQuery JavaScript stuff is doing and then I use this I found this library called Textfill to try to fill it out. Fangirl Letty, can you do a really really big message that's like gigantic? And then e so basically, even though if the message is really really huge, um, this function Textfill will make it like automatically resize to fit in the box. You're like a huge message, gigantic message. That's an O, that's not a zero. Is that a zero or an O? I eat, okay. Bigger, can you say I eat children like tw 10 times in a row? You might get timed out by Nightbot, but I, I'll forgive you, don't worry. 
But anyway, you're, you'll see the text will like get smaller automatically with a really big message. Um, this is entrapment. It's not. This isn't like a confession to a crime. We're testing a web application. They're gonna be fine. Oh yeah, I think if you say caps, Nightbot. Okay, Nightbot is gonna is gonna like time you out if your message is too long. I think if you if you try doing all caps, we have a limit of only thirty letters on caps right now. There you go. So you can see it's it's not like super. Oh, I guess you did go through. It's not super visible, but um, it the the text like shrinks so it fits in the box, right? So that's the front end code. It's basically just saying, okay, here are these visual elements we have, and. And then they're going to update based on what the server tells us. So then on the... Oh, and then there's CSS, which is stupid. So then CSS is how everything looks. So CSS has the same selectors as jQuery, and it's basically saying, okay, if you're a username, you're going to have these kind of properties. If you're like a message, you're going to have these kind of properties. So this is all the visual stuff. Okay, and then on the back end, this is a Flask app in Python. So a Flask app is like a, like a, a thing... And so what it does is it makes a thing, and then the thing is the server. So the server, that's this right here. So when I run it, um, oh, you guys are all being popped. <clears throat> so when I run the thing at the top, um, you see here it starts the server, and then what it's going to do a couple things. So when it when it starts, it basically imports Pyglet. I don't know what that is. So it imports a piglet, and then it does a player or something. Oh, this oh this is the media player for text to speech. Okay, got it. Uh, so that okay that oh that's pie. Okay, got it. Um, um, um. Oh, it, okay. Initializes the bot that's gonna run on a separate thread, and then down here we have if it's the main, then we start. We have a bot thread and an audio thread. The bot thread is threading on its own thread, and then the audio is threading on its own thread, and then socket IO runs. So I think they're both on two separate threads. Um, is kind of how it works, and why I'm able to do all this stuff. So then basically the server. Okay, the server's doing two things. The server has two responsibilities. So there's like there's two there's two pieces going on, right? Um, you have bam, bam. Oops, wrong spot. This is this is how I have like this is how I think about it, which may or may not be you know helpful for you guys. So the left side is the client, which is the visuals, right? So the left side defines like the actual thing that you're looking at. Um, the right side is the server, and this is what's doing the work of talking to Twitch and actually listening to all the messages and processing them, right? As well as getting a giant list of all the people who are currently eligible to be picked, and so. On the server side, we have this bot that's running that initializes and connects to Twitch. And then every time it gets a message from Twitch, it's going to say, if this is our current user, like if this is the current selected user, then we're going to read out their message. So it's like, okay, is this the person we currently care about? Are they the chat god? If so, then we do text to audio up here and we play out their message. Um, and then if they're not, we're going to add them to a pool of users that says, hey, this is all the people, this is like the most recently chatting 500 people, right? We got a big list of, this is the, this is the people who have chatted most, most recently. So that list just keeps up building. And then that way, whenever we want to grab a new random person, we just pull somebody from that list, right? So we have like a random user function down here. So basically this is saying the sock, which is listening to the client, when me as the client goes and clicks pick random, that on the client goes, okay, we're going to request a random user. The client will now shoot something into the sock, right? Um, it ejaculates a request through the sock. It comes into the server, and the server goes, okay, you want me to pick a random person. So that happens here, um, and then I, I call my bot, and I say, random user. He comes up here, and he says, okay, in our list of all the pl of all the people who have talked, we're going to grab one at random, and that's our new that's our new user, right? And then from that point forward, anytime we receive a message, we're gonna check is who's the new user if if it's the right person we talk to them. So this is all set up for one person. Um, any questions? That all made lots of sense, right? Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of people talking about the socks. Does everybody understand everything about web development now? Async. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> I don't know how async works in Python. This is it, this is an important time to remind everybody. I'm not like a good programmer. Okay, I, I'm not good at understanding fundamentals and hard concepts and stuff. I just like to tinker. I like to poke at things and see what happens. I'm more of a tinkerer. <clears throat> okay. Fix the sock. The sock is fine. 
the text-to-speech is not working right now, but I think it's because I changed what I'm sending through the sock. So, so I can just test this though, right? Okay, let's 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 debug. Okay, when I click the TTS thingy, I ha I'm gonna say, all right, I'm gonna log whether it was checked, and then I'm sending over the socket the mess. T I'm sending the mess TTS with the data whether it's true or false, and then so that's what the client sends over the sock, and then on the back end we're gonna get this to fire. Oh, that's why. So it's looking for data, but I renamed it from data to something else. No, I didn't. Wait, why is this not working then? Fuck. So the socket emix- well, why did everything break right before stream? So the socket emix data that says the TTS- Oh, because I changed the text box. Huh? It emits the data, and then over here, it listens to the data. Why is it... Please fix the sock. The sock is fine. Okay, I'm not gonna unpause alerts yet. <laughs> I need to... Hold on, we gotta debug why this is fucking not working. Ugh. It's because of your wet socks. You don't need multiple socks. We're fine with just one sock. Uh-oh, people are being popped from the list. Um. Okay, well, I guess I need to figure out why TTS isn't working. We'll figure that out first. Um, so here's what we're doing today. Why did it not work? Here's the things. If I can if I can get through all of these things today, then we can play tabs. Then that's the plan. First off, we figure why it not work. I'm scared. Secondly, we need a sign up feature. So what I want to do is instead of just pulling you guys randomly and like you just get forced to be the chat god, I want you to be able to enter and basically say, you know, you you can so this would be used later. For example, I want to do like an Americans versus Europeans for something. Um so that way instead of you just like automatically being in the pool, you would say like exclamation mark America, exclamation mark, Europe, and then you get to join that pool of users, right? So, uh, Doug hates Europeans. I certainly don't. Uh, so, yeah. So, I, I want a sign-up feature. So, when I receive a new message, it's only going to add you into the pool if you use the keyword that we specify, right? So, for tabs, for example, it would be like, exclamation mark, A crew, exclamation mark, Z crew, and then you get, and then that is what puts you into the pool of like, okay, now you can participate. Um... It should be simple. Yeah, maybe it'll maybe it'll work. Who knows? Okay, then we're gonna add, add Amazon Polly as text to speech. Right now, I'm using Google's like really simple text to speech thing. But with Amazon Polly, um, I got that working on a separate test. Hopefully, that's really easy to add in. And then once we swap to Amazon Polly, that has more voices and the ability to whisper and do these other funny things using SSML, which is like allowing you to emphasize certain words and stuff. And then. Uh, during the text to audio function, have it toggle the OBS move filter on and off. So I also want it so that if you're talking, then it's like moving your character, right? That would be cool. And then, um, and that we'll have to use OBS web sockets. We'll have to add new audio filters that correspond to different visual elements and then toggle the audio filters on those audio sources on and off. And then we need to expand, we need to expand all this to handle two people instead of one. And then we play tabs. That's the plan for today. Get your predictions in now. How many of these steps do you think I actually complete? Can I even get text-to-speech to work in the next four hours? <clears throat> all of them. I think we'll beat all of them. I think. Okay, with that being said, let's fix, fix text-to-speech. Why is that not working? That was working fine. I must have fucked up something. Okay, so if I click the TTS form... Oh, it's because I- I'm dumb. It's because I changed the name. That's it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Wait, now it's not working. What's the problem? Huh? User pool is Shout not defined. Shout out to all my fellow the Adventure Zone about? fans in here. The podcast got me into D&D. 
so hype knowing you like Taz to Doug Hell yeah. Yeah, Taz is great. I haven't listened to it in a long time. What did I do wrong? Okay, uh, there's an error in line 96 of my chat got app. What, what now? Okay. 96. If message is in user pool. Wait, did I do something to the- what happened to the user Mr. pool? Doug Doug, glad you agree C++ is the best lol. Huh? I'm watching your stream while working on a project in MATLAB for an image processing course, haha. <laughs> Slash kill me. Have you found my cat? Last time I saw him, he was pogging all over this new code you've already written. <laughs> Look, we gotta add a lot more shit though. Why did- why would it not- huh? Now it works this time? What? Okay, I fixed it by running it again. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> What? God, I'm so good at this. Okay, now, so now if we reset this. Oh, hey, Bob, make sure to keep Doug in line today. Um, congratulations to Willow Wolf. Now, if I turn on text to speech, it should actually work. I was, I, ch I started changing the IDs of everything in preparation for me then um, expanding it to multiple people, but then that I broke various things. Any any words from Willow Wolf? Otherwise, I am your new god. Wow, incredible! So uh, the text speech does in fact work. Uh, Will Wolf, any final words before I turn it turn it off? Can I sniff socks? Okay, you're not understanding how awesome. Damn. Okay, congratulations, you did win, Willow Wolf. All right, so congratulations to me. Step one is actually done. Where is our list of things? Why it not work is officially crossed off the list. Let's go. Okay, so now we're gonna add a feature where you guys like- Can I still speak? Yes, I forgot to turn you off. Um, when, so I wanna add a feature that if you say a message, or sorry, I just explained this, but instead of just pulling from anybody who's spoken in chat, there's like a sign up, right? And then it pulls from that. So I think all we have to do is when we get, so it'd be here, it'd be when we get a message. So this is the function that at this point I have received a message from Twitch chat, right? I received a Twitch chat message. So, um, what would we do, right? We would say like, we would have a keyword of some kind Or like entry word, entry password. What do we call it? What's the name of the thing you have to say in order to get added to the pool of potential people? Keyword is funny, but passphrase. The key passphrase sock. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, you're saying you want it to be sock. Okay. Uh, let's just say if it's exclamation mark sock. So, we have the key passphrase. Sock would be awesome. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm gonna, hold on. I'm gonna pick a new random person, but not show you who it is. And then we'll just see what happens. Like, we'll just see if a person can figure out that they're the one talking. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so... <sighs> I'm gonna try to have text-to-speech on and be able to also program. We'll see if this works. So, if it, if... So if the message is our current user, we always read it out. We do that first. The main thing we need to change is, do we want to actually add them to the user pool? So basically before we do all this, we say, if the message dot, uh, Since you no longer need the W, content, can I have it? I promise to take care of it in the basement. Mm, I think I'm going to auction it off. Wait. Where, how do I get the message dot content? Right, okay, so if this is the actual message I've gotten from the Twitch chat user. So if the, the message content is equal to the key pass, what did we call Hello, What did, what did I call the variable? I am the CEO of Warner Brothers. What the hell is we that? love your Batman and Superman key and other rate. stuff. We want to purchase the rights. <laughs> we'll give you $23 million. <laughs> Thank you, Warner Brothers. Wow, pog moment for me. Okay, so... If if your message is equal to the key passphrase, then we will consider adding you to the pool. Otherwise not, right? So we just do that. It should be as simple as that. So now, um, 
right? Because so everything in here, this is basically saying like, okay, we're gonna add you to the list Don't start of users. Abilities. Oh one no one no one no oh one no one one no one smirking face. See what you're missing other than those orange pegs. <laughs> Damn, bro, that was some sick binary. Um, so this should—I mean, this should just work. That should be it. I mean, that—that—that that, that should that should be it. Um, let's let's test it. Uh, boom. Oh God, it doesn't like this. Key passphrase is not defined. What? I literally made it right up here. Oh, I have to do bot. If bot dot key passphrase, because this is an async function, which means it's like off in space or something. I forget. Okay, now it's working. Cool. So we pick a random person. Um, Squallheart, can you confirm? Did you type exclamation mark sock? It should now only pull people who type exclamation mark sock. Otherwise, you don't get entered. Just confirm, like I typed. Sock, or I am a sock, sock boy, w whatever, however you want to describe it. If you're here, because if you if you weren't, then that's not good. Parks are picked sock. Okay, how about D Delec? D Delec, did you did you type exclamation mark sock? You just need we just need a confirmation if you were a sock boy or not. Also, hi, Parkser. I am a sock boy. I T H P E D sock. Okay, that means it probably works. I think we don't test it any further. We just assume that it's gonna work all the time. <laughs> Gah. No, <laughs> too true, Didi. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> I mean, let's. Okay, we'll do one more test. I'm alive. Well, exclamation now, mark. I'm sorry, you're dead now. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Matt Don WS 2005. Can you confirm that you typed sock? Then we have irrefutable proof that my code works. Even though anybody who's typing in chat is saying exclamation mark sock. It's really not a good test, but that's okay. We just need confirmation, Matt. You can even just type exclamation mark sock again. <laughs> Good timing, Doug. I was about to take a nap. You can go turn on like a bird video. Don't sleep to my stream. Matt is dead. Age Deho. Are you here? Did you sock? It's incredible how many people here um, instantly <laughs> pass away from old age once they're selected as the chat god. I think it's, it's a couple things. What? Because we were testing this on Saturday. Hi, it could take a Douglas. while for people. I recently I caught just my delay. wife cheating on me with my cousin, and the kids might not be mine. Time for a real divorce. Thank you for your dumb streams. Oh, that was a real thing? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> that sucks. Um, I hope chat You're talking about socks helps, to all our helps out a little bit. Wizards, Doug. Keep being Eldridge. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Um, Age Deho. Did you say anything? Hold on. User... So let me check and see if you actually said anything. Tabs. Finland makes its return to crush France in the USSR. LFG. Bring Willow back. Yeah, you haven't said anything. At least according to Twitch. See, like... I, you, haven't, you haven't said anything since you were picked. So I think the code is working. It's just people are just slow, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Or they're leaving hey, or something. Doug. You say that, but Kickstarters, stream greenlight, and early access exist. So I say you are already 95% complete with just your premise alone. Uh, video games are a lot of work. Souls games are cool. Can you confirm if you type exclamation mark sock? We literally just need, we just need somebody to confirm. I mean, everybody should be, there should be a bunch of people I popped did. out. Oh, cool. Do yes. Okay, that means the code you works. Thank you, Souls it. game. Um, any, any, uh, do you want to say anything for your acceptance speech? How's it dogging dog Doug? Pretty good. I, it'd be sick. Dude, I should do this for, if, if I win the streamer award, I should do this as my acceptance speech. I go up and I just stare at the, at the crowd for 30 seconds while everybody sits there pause champing. 
That'd be hype. You, so you can see here in the code, it's basically, there's only, it only has a maximum of 500. Hello. <laughs> and I'm then after so 30 seconds, I say, hello, and then I walk off stage. Um, so I have it set to like a maximum of 500 people who can talk. So basically, if there's, if 500 people have talked, um, and then, and then you come in and you're a new person, you're going to bump off the person hey, who's, who's I'm talked turning this the longest ago. Coding final, so don't make too many mistakes for me, thanks. <laughs> I think you might get, you might get accused of plagiarism. Uh, all right, cool. So I think the sock thing actually works and we're fine. Uh, thank you, Souls Games are cool, you win. So, actually... This one's done! That's two out of three! Everybody thought I wasn't gonna program anything today. Or two out of seven, or whatever. You cowards thought I couldn't program. My god. So later it'll be a little bit more complex. So once we expand this to two people, then what we'll do is add two user pools instead of just one. Right now there's a pool of users, um, which, which we're then pulling from, right? So once we do A crew versus Z crew with this thing, I'll need to expand it so there's two different user pools. Aerosol, thanks so much for the 12 months, appreciate it. And then, and then if you type exclamation mark A crew or exclamation mark Z crew, then you get added into the respective pools. So then when I say I want a random oh, A crew got, user, it'll pull from that you one, die, right? Be a dread. Uh, it's actually, um, you can see here, Every morning, I grind up 10 orange bell peppers and I spray them onto my beard to make it orange. Yeah, there's a lot of people who don't realize my, my beard is like bright orange. You just can't really tell necessarily on a camera, like from this distance. Okay. So now what? What are we doing now? Amazon Poly. I think you guys will like this one. Assuming it works. Okay, so I did the Amazon Poly test. This shit took forever to set up. For anybody who's done AWS before, what a nightmare. I mean, it wasn't a nightmare, it was just do really miss annoying. Clippy from Microsoft Word? What do you think he's up to nowadays? I miss Bonsai, buddy. I remember my friend used to install it on my PC and it's basically a virus. Um. <clears throat> okay. AWS is painful. I literally just wanted to use their service and it took so long to set everything up. Um. You hate Polly with a passion. It seems cool. I like it. Okay, let, let's set it up. So this is my test for Amazon Polly. This was working. I need to I need to put all this shit into this, into this file over here. So I have a function called text to audio. So right now it just does um, it just it just uses Google's thing, and instead of doing that. Let's go, Doug. Start milking the code out of that keyboard already, so we can make computer cheese. Oh, gross. Why not just import? No, no, I mean, I I, I will. So, I mean, the code code is, like, not that crazy over here. We just have to put it into a function. What does Piglet do? Piglet media load. Oh, this is for playing audio. Got it. Okay. So, let me get my brain working. Currently, when we get a message that we want to read, we run this, the text-to-audio function. We are using an app called Piglet, which can just play audio for us. Then we use GTTS, which is like Google's text-to-speech, to just make a simple MP3 file. That's fine, and it works. It's just really limited. Like, all we can do is have, you know, a couple different voices. So we want to switch this over to uh, Amazon Polly, which Finally, gives us a lot more all voices. all of my training and education in programming has led to this stream. Thank you, Dougie, for giving me the peak of my professional life. I don't know if, like, training your whole life as a programmer then makes it worthwhile to watch somebody suck ass at their job. Like, if LeBron... I don't think LeBron James would be, like, walking down the street and see some dude playing horrible pickup basketball in his front yard and go, like, yes, all of my work leads me to this moment and, like, sit down with a bag of popcorn and start watching. He'd be like, that guy fucking sucks! And he'd keep walking. Um, okay. Like, today's stream is for a very niche number of people who've done, like, one hour of programming and think what I'm doing is really cool because they don't know better. <laughs> uh... So, Piglet is what is playing the MP3 file. I think the only thing we have to change is this. This is the piece that, like, creates the MP3 file from Google Text-to-Speech, right? Okay. So, I think we mostly keep this, like, here, I'll copy and paste it just to be safe. Um... Like, I think it's mostly fine. We just need to swap it from using Google's thing over to Amazon's thing. So how does Amazon things work? Let's find out. 
Oh, what is all this shit? Okay, so... Okay, you create a session with Amazon Polly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you... Nice code. And then, thank you. Would be a shame if someone ate it. <laughs> don't, don't eat my fucking code. Um... So here, um, you can listen to this incredible, uh, test that I wrote. Sun Tzu once said about coding, huh? if you know yourself and know your code, you need not fear the results of a thousand unit tests. If you know yourself but not your code, <laughs> for EV bug you fix, another will emerge. If you know neither your code nor yourself, you will get fired. You get fired? <laughs> like from your job? I don't think Sun Tzu said that. Okay, if I run this code. Hi. I will read any text you type here. Test, 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 textra. Wow, incredible. I did it. So I can change it. If you're wondering why he sounded so weird, it's because I made his vocal tract length 50% bigger and had him whisper. <laughs> so here, if I, here, I'll turn it down to like 10%. No, negative, I'll turn it up. Negative 10%. Um... Let's see how that sounds. Hi. Twitch chat, I am breaking into the basement and I'm going to get you. I will read any text you type here. Test, 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 textra. I couldn't make out what he was saying, but he sounds like a fun guy. So, anyways, there's all these like weird effects we can do. The whisper, the whisper is kind of a bit much, I'm going to be honest. The, wh the whispering is so hard to understand. Let me, let me take away the whisper so you can hear what it sounds like. Hi. Twitch chat, I am breaking into the basement and I'm going to get you. I will read any text you type here. Test, 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 textra. Anyway, so we can, there's all these like effects that you can add in to run away. No, 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 he's fine. He's not going to break into your home and, and steal you away into his barn. Okay, it's not going to happen, no matter how hard he whispers at you. Probably not. <clears throat> so, what, so basically I can add these little effects into the text, right? And so when I, when I go tell Amazon, hey, turn this text into speech they'll be able to like change the emphasis and make him whisper and talk in a scary way and whatever. So what I think would be funny is if when you guys are talking in this, you could say at the beginning of your message in parentheses, like whisper and then your message and my code will automatically make it whisper. So that way you can like talk to me in really creepy ways if you want to me or chat. I feel like that would be very funny rather than it just being the same, you know? So that's why I wanted to use Amazon Polly, because that, that way, like, you can actually customize what your messages sound like. Um, so first things first, let's get Amazon Polly to work. So it looks like the core fun it's just this function. OS, but what the fuck is all this? Okay, hold on. Let's let's break this down. Let's break this down. Um, so this right here, this is an example code that I copied from Amazon's website of like, here's how you use Amazon Polly. I don't actually know what's going on here, really. So let's figure it out because then we need to take, we need to like steal this and take it into the basement of my code. So at the top, it just imports a bunch of shit. We'll import all that. Uh, it creates a session for Amazon using my profile and connects to Polly. And then it's trying to do this. For people who don't know coding, try, the try word is awesome. It basically means like, um, I'm gonna try to do this, and if it fucks up, like, let's just we'll just keep rolling and pretend like things are fine. Normally, when you have errors in your code, the code just stops. But with a try thing, you, like if it breaks, it's just like ah, okay, um, it's awesome. Like you just don't have to be responsible for anything anymore. I mean, generally, you're supposed to like have a, a clause that catches certain types of errors and handles them appropriately. But you can just you can just put things in a try loop and then just not deal with the consequences. It's great. Okay, so we're gonna try to call the poly service and tell it to synthesize the speech, and then we give it the text that we want, and we tell it what voice and shit. So this is the function we would call, and then what do we do? Okay, once we've called the function, what do we do? Access the audio stream from the response. If audio stream in response, note closing the stream is important because the service throttles on the number of parallel connections. Here we are using contextlib.closing to ensure the close method of the stream object will be called automatically at the end of the with statements scope. I don't know what any of that means. 
With closing, response audio stream as stream output.os path join get tempter speech.mp3. Wait, we when where did speech.mp3 come from? Where did that come from? What is what is speech.mp3? Or is it saying it's making Oh, wait, wait, hold on. It's uh, the operating system is going to Oh, it creates a temporary directory and it creates a file called speed. Okay, so it's creating the file speech.mp3 here. And then it tries again to open the file, open a file for writing the output as a binary. Okay, so it's gonna stream the output to the mp3 file. So with opening the output, which is the mp3 file in the temporary directory, what does wb mean? I don't know. You open that as a file, file.write, stream.read, and then, and then it's okay. The response didn't contain audio data exit gracefully. Okay, and then, okay, so all of this seems to create an MP3 file, yeah? So th this up here talks to Amazon and says, give me text-to-speech. And then below, once it does that, it says I'm going to save the, the data that I got from Amazon into an MP3 file. So this gives us an MP3 file. I think we can just copy and paste this. And then down here, it's saying um, OS start the file. Okay, so this is what plays the MP3 file. So I think we copy all of this shit, and then at the very bottom, we can just use a different way of playing the MP3 file. WB is Witch Beaver. <laughs> it's women's basketball. I just don't think, I don't think they're talking about women's basketball here inside of the stream, uh, like the stream handling for the MP3 file from Amazon Polly. I'm fairly certain on this one. But hey, I'm not the programmer here. You guys are. <clears throat> write binary. Oh, is it actually write binary? Oh, okay. I guess that makes more sense. Finland makes its return today? Not today. We'll do an America versus Europe stream at some point. today. By the time we're playing tabs today, assuming I get it working, I think all the Europeans will be asleep. Jesus, so we can't, we can't really do a... Conk, think of the two gifted subs. I can't really do a, an Americans versus Europeans today. Because that would not exactly be fair to the Europeans. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, for people who know okay, code... I love this Doug fellow. He's pretty cool. Yeah, it seems like we just copy all this. Yeah. Yeah, right? Seems probably fine, eh? Just, uh, I guess just... Hey, Doug, can you just give this money to your I mom and tell her it's for the cause she will understand? <laughs> I don't think my mom is like a revolutionary or anything. Here, I will turn back on the you failed and laugh track and shit. Uh, so that you guys can, um... I think Teresa Syntax Sarah on line 63. I don't... You have to tell me what file. I don't... I don't even know... I don't know what you're referring to. Um... In the guessing countries stream at 4 hours 50 minutes and 55 seconds, you promised Z crew a second emote. Must be a very special emote since you must still be working on it after 3 months. It's been 3 straight months of working on it. I'm sorry, I probably hey, Doug, lied. My I wife and I just on... got married less than a year ago and have a child together but are ready for a divorce. How do I get full custody? I think you just sue Parkser. Uh... I am not able to turn on things for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on. I apologize. Why did the chicken cross the road? Slash oh, wait, wait. Got him. There it went. I, did I literally just have to click it like 30 times? I don't know. Somebody in chat might be able to help you. Um, why can't I do it? Shut up! I can't, hold on. I can't, I don't, I can only do laugh track. We will, I, I can't try, I can't do it. It's not working. I don't get it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. You're lousy. Okay, now you have the TF2 failure and laughter. Oh, wait, we need congratulations, Doug, if I get something correct. 
Okay, cool. Everything's back up. If you got a real mess and want to clean like the pros, then you've got to see this. Hi, Billy Mays I was here hoping with I didn't, Zorbies, I, the most absorbent I specifically didn't mention I've Zorbies in hopes that you wouldn't remember that it was there. The muscle to pick up Wait, that was one in ten. That was literally the liquid. first try. You Look got this. this. Zorbies attracts liquid like a magnet. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. I'm going to keep coding. If it's coding. Coffee, if soda, soda, even red, red wine. wine. Watch as its powerful vacuum action pulls and cleans the stain from, from out, out of the carpet, carpet just, just that, that quick. quick. The secret's in the X27 fiber technology, making Zorbies over 27 times more absorbent than cotton. Forget towels that just drip. And unlike sponges that smell, Zorbies is odor-free and leaves a path of clean. Now you can clean and dry and never leave anything behind. You'll be amazed at just how much they absorb. And they're machine washable. Dry your entire car, even your dog. Use any cleaner for streak-free windows. An average family uses up to two rolls of paper towels every week. That's, That's cash, cash in, in the, the trash. Save money and even help save the environment. You, you get, get two Jumbo Zorbies plus, plus three extra large for only $14.99. But call right now and I'll send you another five Zorbies absolutely free. That's ten Zorbies for only $14.99. And as a special bonus, this we'll also include our micro microfiber duster. Free. It's great for blinds, plants, except your glass, a and more. And attracts dust oh, yeah. magnet. I forgot That's about rubber duck programming. Value, all for only $14.99. And here's, here's the, the best, best part. part. We'll send you a set of Zorbies free whenever you need them for, for life. life. Just pay shipping and processing. But, but you gotta, gotta call, call now. now. Dear God, please get a proper ID. But this is funny. It is genuinely funny to me that people who are good at programming and know actual, like, proper Python are, like, look at this and are just tortured. Like, that's, you have to admit, that's really funny. You can't look me in the eyes and tell me that's not funny. Th like, the idea that a guy to thousands of people <laughs> is just doing, like, really poorly... It really poorly done stuff. Like, that is hilarious. Okay, speaking of which, let us return... Um, do, 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 do. Oh, to the person who asked about how to learn Python. The, the, for anybody who, like, is curious about how to learn programming, the honest answer is I don't know. Because I went to, co I went to college, like, 10 years ago for, per for like, computer science. I did, like, a full-on degree. So that's how I learned the basics of coding. And that's one way you can do it. You don't have to do that. You can learn online. A lot of people do, but I don't know how to learn on your own because that's just not what I did. So there's other people I think who have better advice. You can probably just Google how to learn Python, but I, I just, my background is like the totally different way. You know what I mean? As long as it works for you, other people can pound sand. Yeah, there's coding boot camps. There's lots of YouTube tutorials. Um, there's a lot of stuff online. And I mean, everything I've learned has been self-taught, but it's easy because I have the foundation of a computer science degree. Like I can pick up the basics of JavaScript in, you know, an hour or whatever, um, because you understand like fundamentally how things work. Um, yeah, it was cool. I was talking to Cherry the other day and I was like, dude, I just, today I had to learn jQuery, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, but I like got everything working. And he's like, whoa, you learned four languages today? And I was like, I mean, Kind of. <laughs> it's like, it sounds a lot cooler than it is. It's you're, it's just like, it's not that hard once you know the coding fundamentals to look at this and go, okay, I get how JavaScript is working. This is the selector. This is the function. And then you're passing, like, this is the creation of a new function which gets passed in and then there's like a callback. It's not that hard. And it's, and it's, it's also important to know, I'm not good at JavaScript at all, right? I know, like, the bare fucking minimum, but it's enough to do what I specifically want, right? Anyway, the, in terms of learning how to start from scratch, if you're interested, I, I honestly don't know, but probably a lot of people will maybe have thoughts or advice. Um, and you can always, you know, break into somebody's house and steal their code. Or just go, honestly, just go to a college and just walk into the classes. They don't check. Like, you can just go to Berkeley and get a computer science degree. Well, not the degree. You can get all of the lectures. Like they, they don't like check at the door if you go to that school. <laughs> um, little little life hack for you. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Does anybody know in Python, do you have to have an accept clause with a try? Or can I just bail and not deal with it? Because <laughs> that'll be funnier. 
can, you know, when you do a try clause, do you have to actually have an accept clause? You do have to? Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna delete the portion that exits, like, correctly. I'm just gonna be like, fuck it! <laughs> Don't do shit! Let's let, let it ride! And this will just crash the program. This is totally, this is, like, very unnecessary. It makes this worse. Okay, so we we call the thing to, to Amazon, and we say, hey, turn this text into audio data for me. And then use pass. Uh, fine. Okay, so then if we actually got the response here, okay, all this shit is going on with the closing. Okay, so it's going to make a temporary MP3 file called speech. And then where, where do, so what do I do with the MP3 file again? Where the fuck, where did it go? What is happening? Does anybody know what's going on? Okay, so at the bottom... Okay, so we're gonna get a variable called output, which represents the MP3 file. I don't want to, no, 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 I don't want to use OS start file. So OS start file is gonna pull up, um, look, it's gonna do this. It pulls up Windows Hi. Media Player. Twitch chat, I am breaking into the basement and I'm going to get you. I will read any text you type here. Test, so, test, test, text, extra. Hi. Yeah, so, Twitch I don't want it opening up this. I want it to just play without needing the, I guess I could play it through. I guess I could play it through this. Windows Media Player just kind of sucks. I'm going to try to do it through Pyglet. Um, and yes, I started the session at the top. So at the start, at the start of this, I start my session with my profile credentials and we log into Poly. So down here with text to audio, we're like, okay, hey, the response, we got all this shit. Yeah, 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 baby, yeah, yeah. I'm going to delete this to make it more readable. I trust you, Amazon. You probably know what you're doing. Uh, bam. Okay, and then what do we call it? We'll call it sock. <laughs> okay, so output now is... I mean, I guess I could do... I'll, do, I'll call it TTS output to make it a little more readable. No, I'm not going to do that. I feel like I'm going to fuck it up. Cool, so it does all this... And instead of exiting gracefully, we'll just have it crash because that's funnier. Okay, so at this point, we should have a variable called output, which is the MP3 file, right? And so now, with Pyglet, this is what we were using before to say the thing out loud, right? So we already have... How do we do this with, with Pyglet? Maybe we just give it immediately? Um... Not Pyglet. I mean, I could use, um, I could use VLC Media Player. I could do that. Double import Pyglet. Oh, oops. Um, I'm not sure which of these lines we use. You misspelled Piglet. Replacing MP3 with output might work. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see what happens. So, output, and guys, this is the correct way to program, by the way. So output is our variable that's like a some kind of thing. So then we'll jam it into here and we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, cool. Uh, let's see if this works. When I run, okay, when I run my app, I'll do text-to-speech with some text. Um, text-to-audio. Um... Hi, this is my test audio. Okay, pause champs. <laughs> you know what? You know what? We're gonna do a prediction. Okay, we just we just jammed one thing into another thing. <laughs> Does this work first try? There's no way. But dude, this could be a huge moment for believers. 30, 30 second prediction. Get it in. Wow, why can't I make it? Oh, shit. I don't know why it's not working. Twitch just seems to be having problems right now. Okay, sorry, we can't do a prediction. Just get your get your bets in now, yes or no. I'm just gonna run it, and if it works, it should say, Hi, this is my test audio. It crashed.
<laughs> All right, it's not that big of a deal. It was pretty obvious it was going to crash. Not like that hilarious. Cheer thank you all to my always watcher that's on YouTube. Just subscribe to the Twitch. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay, on line 94. Okay, it's not a fan of this line, which is the line we changed. So we can't just jam- fuck, we can't just jam this thing into the- into a different function. I mean, I could stop using Pi- so Pyglit is the thing we're using to, to- at this point, theoretically, we have- we've asked Amazon and said, hey, can you turn this text into speech? It gave us back an mp3 file. To we have the mp3 the file, I just need to figure out how to play it. I'll give a few messages. The deadline is tomorrow. Why are you paying for Sublime Text when Vs code is free? <laughs> yeah, this isn't good, good enough. Could you literally solve P equals and P to make it work better? Thanks, Alan Turing would be a sh Just sat What's down the to big work end on a coding exam function? for the class I'm in, coding solidarity. Good, I'm happy to help. Um... Man, why didn't jamming the thing and the other thing work? All right, there's probably a way to make this work with Pyglet. Otherwise, we can swap over to VLC uh, Media Player. Um... Replace MP3 in line 96. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, but this is where it broke, though. You are... No, 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 because the, the MP3 is the file full of bytes that Pyglet is going to read. Um, so that, I think, is correct. Uh, well, it's clearly not correct, whatever this approach is. Line 93 is commented out. Yeah, yeah, so this is before it was... It was calling Google's text-to-speech. That's what GTTS is. Google text-to-speech. It was calling Google's thing, and that was creating the um, that was creating the the MP3 file. Now we have it coming from Amazon in the form of this variable called output. I just don't know where. Put output in the first argument of the load function. Why would that work? I, okay, <laughs> like there? What do you mean here for file? We could put, we could put it in here. Um. Okay, hey, <laughs> okay, okay, let's get quick, quick, new prediction. Um, does this work? <laughs> this is such a sick way to program. People in Twitch chat are just like, oh, what are you, what are you just jamming that line? <laughs> okay, no, no, okay, we'll just, we'll just run it. Oh, shit. I mean, I can always switch to VLC, I know that'll work. Strength object has no attribute seek. What the fuck was going on here? Predictions are working. Oh, okay. Okay, do- okay, I have a question for chat. Do I give up on Pyglet and switch over to VLC Media Player, which will definitely work? Or do we try? Is there anything else I could try? Is there? Can I jam, can I jam the output into some other like coding hole? Never give up. This isn't even like with VLC. I could I have I could have multiple audio playing at a time. It would make a lot more sense. Although with Pyglet, ooh, this could get weird. Maybe we do VLC actually. That's why you never give up. This isn't like an inspirational moment. It, we might just be, it might be easier to do it something else. Like this is, this is not some sort of like sports movie where we're, you know, down on the third quarter and it's, and everybody didn't believe in us and we just can just get, if only we believe in Pyglet. We don't need Pyglet. We can just give up and go to VLC, which works better, I think. <laughs> Why is the music so loud? Oh, this is gonna get- no, hold on, I'm gonna get DMCA or whatever this song is. Why does this have extra audio? You're right. I won't do it. I won't give up on Piglet. 
キュッとやってみろ必ず目標達成できるだからこそネバキバ Okay, where else do we jam something? <laughs> I just don't know what's going on. I don't I want to give up. Literally, it will work with VLC if I just use that. I needed that. Abby, Abby, can I get you're my boss? Can I give up? To be clear, I'm not giving up on text to speech. I'm giving up on doing it with Piglet, which is some weird library I've never used before, versus a one that I know how to do. <laughs> Commitment is key. Do not give up. I just don't. Okay, okay. Let's just fe let's think this through. Let's think this through. Okay. First, we import Piglet. Shouldn't we do this at the top? Why would we import it here every time? This is called constantly. I'm gonna import this up here. Okay. Maybe that'll break things, but whatever. That's funny. Okay, so first, mp3 is a bytes.io file. Write that down. Then... Oh, I didn't define input. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Wait, Wait so hold on. Okay, so input... Write to FP. What's FP? We told you. Well, most people weren't telling me that. It's not my fault. Can I just say input equals output? <laughs> Will that work? <laughs> um. Input equals output. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you guys think? Will it work? <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Um, FP is file pointer. Okay, okay. Make output into input GTTS. No, I'm not going to feed the output into GTTS. That makes no sense. You failed. The file is output. Yeah, okay, yeah, because we already, we already have a completed file. Output at this point. So at this point, output... Is our MP3 file? It's ready to go. We just literally need to play it. And this this is trying to do all this crazy shit with a piglet. We don't need any of it. Um, skip input and only set the audio to the output. Yeah, that's. What, I mean, wait. Can I just do this? Did we try this yet? What if it's just player dot? Wait, where did what is player? Where did player come from? What is player? Huh? Where the fuck? What is player? Oh, player's up here. Player dot piglet media. Pl okay, so this is initialized earlier. Um, hey, prediction. 30, 30 second prediction. Does this just work? This could just fucking work, you guys. I bet this one could work. Where am I? Because, okay, because all, if we just give it an MP3 file, I feel like this will probably work. Okay, prediction's up. I think this will work. How are only 10% of you thinking this is gonna not gonna work, dude? Coding or is gonna work? To get in the 8th mood and stay motivated, I propose we spent around 2 hours for song requests for a <laughs> high energy coding playlist. It's a great idea. <laughs> but I really do actually want to code. I've been really into this. This might be the most exciting coding stream of all time. Too bad I can't properly react since Doug removed our pog emote. <sighs> that's true, that's true. Okay. Let's find out. If it says the magic words, we're in. And it crashed. Oh, that seemed... Oh, I didn't save it! I didn't save it! Hold on, didn't count! Didn't count! Hold on. <laughs> no, hold on! I didn't save the file! It might work! It might work! Shit. The player is not defined. That's what I said. That's what I said. Wait, why was it? Okay, we should probably just look at the documentation. Instead of just literally guessing and checking. Oh, that's boring. I feel like this should have worked. I'm surprised this didn't work. We tried this, right? This should work. That should work. I swear that should work. 
Why the fuck wouldn't that work? Oh, this is the strength object doesn't have a seek. Um... I don't want to read the read the D Omega lol C C S. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can I just quit? <laughs> like VLC is gonna work better. That way you can have two messages happening at the same time. <coughs> With Piglet, I guess that also kind of sucks. <coughs> um, but yeah, there's no output. Wait, no, no output is here. Oh, I'm. You're right. You're fucking right. I have to define output outside. That's why none of this was gonna work. Wait, no, do you? Where did, where's output? Where the fuck did output come from? Hold on. For people who don't know what's, co like, what's going on with coding. It's like, it's like there was a factory, okay? And the factory delivered, like, um, some sort of like robotic bear to us. It was like, this bear is going to do everything you want and, and he's going to talk in the way you want. I was like, all right, cool. And then we never looked into the factory. The fact, there's no, where, there's never anything going into the factory. Where did this come from? Where the fuck did the bear come from? Hold on. Because the output is defined here in this scope. Was it defined at the top of the other function? Where the fuck is the, where's output? Am I crazy? Am I just- do I just not know Python? How- How would this have access to output if it was defined in here and the thing is over? The scope is fine in Python. Wait, what? You're saying this is gonna- this variable is accessible outside of the if statement? That breaks like every scoping rule of- of, of every language. Python has fucked up scope. What? That's stupid. That's really stupid. Okay, I guess the bear factory works in Python, because Python doesn't make any sense. So the bear, okay, the bear magically appears, and we don't have to worry about it. Wait, so why doesn't it know what output is then? Or no, it does know what output is. Um, can I use VLC? This is such a waste of time. I mean, it's that or we look at the pig. Okay, do you guys want to- <laughs> we have to look at the piglet docs. Like, the documentation. I mean, I guess I can just play exciting music and we can, <laughs> I mean, it's literally worse than if we just, if I use VLC, it'll be better. Here's the question. Let's say, so the whole thing we're trying to do to, to, today, remember, is we're going to have two different users who are selected for a game like Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So we would have one person for A crew and one person for Z crew. Okay. This is actually an important feature decision for, for so I, I mean, I'm actually curious your guys' opinion. Um, okay, so theoretically, what the point of all of this today is that we're gonna have like this person, I can pick randomly an A crew user, and their messages get shown here and read out loud. And this is a Z crew user and their early Z crew chat viewer, right? And their messages get read out loud over here, right? And then and then we'll basically pick two captains for each team who decide the who decide the battle, the armies, right? Um with Piglet, you can only have one voice be talking at a time. So that would mean if somebody from A crew is like, I'm going to fucking kill you, Z crew, and Z crew's like, no, you won't, I'm too fast. Even if they type it at the same time, A crew's message would have to finish first before Z crew's can happen. Output is the path of the file, not the actual file. Uh, yeah, sure. But um, I guess I'm not, I'm, I don't understand the distinction in this case. Um, if I use VLC media player, then both of these can play at the same time. Um, so they could overlap. That is like it would it would have the plus of of being like funny because people could like talk over each other. The downside though is then is then you might not be able to understand it, right? So it would sound more like a coherent back and forth conversation with Piglet because only one thing can talk at a time. I'm actually I'm gonna do a poll. I'm curious what we think. Multi-threading does not fix the Piglet thing because it uses Windows built-in audio player, which can only f make one output at a time. So VLC, I, I can't use Piglet for that. I tried that when we did the fidget toy tier list. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, what do Piglet is only one voice at a time and we give up or VLC is multiple at once? Which I think is funnier, probably. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, we'll, you know, we'll wing it.
Okay, interesting. This is not working. So nobody has any opinions. Cool. Did this break? This might have broken. Hold on. Because I changed my Twitch username. Doug, thank you for displaying your skills in ancient computer runes. You're an inspiration to me getting my degree. Stay eldritch, archmage. Thank you, sir. Uh, log out. Wait, maybe it'll work now. What do? So, Pyglet is the one at a time. VLC is multiple. Please, for the love of God, use some CSS. I do have CSS. Look at my CSS. I worked hard on my CSS, thank you very much. I had to learn how to, you know, talk to classes and whatever the fuck. I don't think I ever coded CSS ever. Okay, most people- okay, people want to do VLC anyways. This means- <clears throat> I'm very happy to announce. We're giving up. We're done. Fuck it. Fuck Pi- fuck Piglet. We're gonna take the Piglet out back and we're gonna shoot him. The Piglet's dead. Congratulations, Doug. Thank you. You did it. You're incredible. Okay, we're killing Piglet. Doug, you're amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the best. in person. This He's Doug the best Doug gamer. Is. Wow. Oh my god. You're incredible, Doug. Oh, no, never wow. give up. This is like the most demotivational coding stream. Okay, so now I need to go copy my VLC. Oh, media player. Is that here? Where the fuck did I do that? Yeah, that's here. Okay. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're not going to think about it. We're just going to copy and paste stuff. Copy and paste VLC. Bam, 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 bam. And now I wrote this over here. We'll paste this. Yep, we'll copy this. Cool. Um, we'll play. We'll do. We'll jam this. <laughs> here. And then. And then play media. We'll do that with output. Doug, thank you. I've been wondering what to make for dinner and watching you pretend to code has answered my question. Spaghetti it is. <laughs> Shut up. Um, okay, wait, how does play, how is play media even called? Okay, it's just, I literally just give it an mp3 hey, file. Hey Doug, how do I become It's the God? name of an mp3 Slash file. Slash I need the power divorce my wife. This should, okay. Mods, 30 second prediction. Does this just work? This might work first try. So what I did now is again, it's the same thing where we we call a thing to Amazon and we say, hey, here's my text. Can you turn this into audio, please? It gives us an MP3 file, which is out which is called output. Output is the MP3 file, uh, which is sock.mp3. And we're just jamming the output variable into the play media function, and we'll see if it talks. And it might talk. Okay, what are people saying? This is like 50-50 split on believers or doubters. The answer is... <clears throat> Nothing's happening. Okay, everything broke. <laughs> Shit, did I save it? Hold on, maybe it's just really slow. <laughs> I can't even stop it. I'm trying to control C, and so I can't even end it. Oh. <laughs> okay, something's really broken. What do, what do I do? This feels like it should have just worked fine. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible, Great Doug. Job, Doug. You're amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the best. person this He's Doug the best Doug is. gamer. Wow. Oh my god. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. Oh, did the try accept thing break it? <laughs> Shit. Maybe I should have not deleted that stuff. 
Oh, okay. Um, let's hear here. Okay. So what you normally do when you code is you get an IDE, which is called an integrated development environment. And then you can put like breakpoints at different parts of the code and see exactly what's going on at any time. It's an incredible way to program. The really shitty, awful way to program is you put print statements everywhere. You say, okay, we're about to play the file. And then you just put these everywhere, and then you just try to understand what was going on based on how much stuff got printed. Okay, we got the bird from Amazon. And, uh... Starting text to audio now. Okay, now we get to see how far it gets. Hi. Twitch chat, I am breaking into the basement and I'm going to get you. I will read any text you type here. Test, 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 extra. Wait. It just worked? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Why did it break twice in a row and then start working and I did literally nothing. Huh? Hi. Twitch chat, I am breaking into the basement and I'm going to get you. I will read any t What? Why is it working now? I'm scared and confused. Here's the text. Uh... So I would add whatever the text was provided. Uh, bam. Oh. Oh, I can't do the triple qu Oh, god damn it. Okay, we do... Shit. One sec. Now it should actually type what I said at the bottom, which is... Hi, this is my test audio. Hi, chat. I will find you and I will not murder you, winky face. Now it crashes. <laughs> what, is, what is going on? <laughs> I didn't change. All I did was change the. Well, that doesn't even make sense. All I did was change the, the text here. <laughs> what did I do? Test audio gear. Hold on. Maybe I'm great at programming. Now it works! Wait. It's like freezing on the- playing the file. Huh? The variable is text, not strength. No, text is the name of the variable. Actually, I don't know how this works in Python. Is it text or str? Oh, is this saying it's the type st string? Is string the, is this the type? Str is the class. Dude, Python is a fucking mess. What is this? So this is the name of the variable and then you do colon and that's the type? God, it's horrible. <laughs> okay, got it. Um, Hi, this is my test audio. Hi, chat. I will find you and I will not murder you, winky face. Why is it working? I don't understand. It's because the thread of the IO exception in the binary stream is failing to execute, causing an IRLQL error which ends in a crash. Why would it fail to write the file? I mean, why I, why is it only working some of the time? This is like very, very inconsistent. Hi, this is my test audio. Hi, chat. I will find you and I will not murder you, winky face. It, it's like working all the time now. 
Hi, this is my test audio. Hi, chat. Why did it freeze two times in a row and now it just Hi, works? Hi, this is my test audio. Now it's just fine. I mean, I guess I'm just a great programmer. Hi, this is my test audio. By literally just unplugging it and plugging it back in. Hi, like, this is my test audio. Hi, chat. I will find you and- Why? I don't understand. I don't get it. Hi, this is my test audio. Hi, chat. I will find- Asynchronous functions. Yeah, but this this sh this isn't even asynchronous. I don't think. None of this is. This shouldn't- this should be fine. I don't think it's a race condition. Only one audio is being played at the beginning. Why, and why would it just loop forever? I, I, I mean, I at least exit the system. Dude, I don't... Sometimes it'd be like that. I don't really want it to just like... I mean, okay, I actually need to put back in the try things. <laughs> I can't just have it fucking fail like this. Um, in fact, and I don't really want a system exit either. How do you, how do you uh, leave a function in Python? Is it return? Like that? Would that just end the function? Now, break, continue. I don't want it to continue. So if, if it gets to this exception, rather than ending the whole program, I, I want it to say, hey, let's just ignore this text-to-speech. It didn't work. We'll move on. I don't want it to, like, you know, die. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Return should then kill this whole thing, which is fine. And I'll do the same up here. I'll return. Unfortunately, that means I have to not fuck it, don't do shit, let it ride, as funny as that is. We have to actually handle the error properly. <clears throat> return is return none. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. <clears throat> well, so I think this... Hold on. It, it, this works, right? I think. Yeah? So... I mean... Yeah? I think we're just good. So now if I rerun the application... Oops. Hi, this is my test audio. Hi, chat. I will find you and I will not murder you, winky face. Okay, so now if I come back in... Where the hell is this? Okay, where's my app? This is the this is the motivational speech. Okay, so we're here. We refresh it. So this is, our, this is what our app looks like now. We randomize it. My name is Jam Sandwich. Congratulations, you win. And let's make sure it talks with Russell's voice, the Australian dude. Can you say something? Oh, you have to type exclamation mark sock to be, to be eligible. Are you here? My name is Jam Sandwich. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repick. Okay, I'm repicking. Pistocia! What do you have to say? We just need to make sure it's the right voice. Don't. <laughs> oh my god, was... <laughs> Okay, but that was Russell. That was Russell, right? That actually worked. Wait, did you say that? Or was there some sort of weird fucked up coding thing I did that turned your message into Morse code? Hold on, did you type Morse code into chat? Or... Or was that my... Did I do something? Can you, can you say a normal word, please? I want to make sure this works. They did. They did say normal function? Hold on. No. Oh, okay. Thank you. God. You freaked me out, dude. I thought I made a braille converter <laughs> accidentally. Just like, I don't know what the fuck's going on then. Okay. Um, so good news. Step number three of today is actually done. Hype. So now what this means is we're using instead of Google's like super simple text to speech, we are using Amazon Polly. And that means. We can do funny things. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure... Let me log into AWS and make sure this doesn't, like, show my private info or something. It actually might. Hi, Doug. How much for your sock? And do you deliver to Europe? Look, the sock can connect to Europe. Don't you worry. Hey, I need a multi-factor. Can I use this stream on my resume as relevant experience? Exclamation mark sock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can, Baconar. Um, mo like, I've heard that at least six or seven people in my stream, like, got hired at Google just by sending them a Twitch clip of my stream. Not even any context, either. Like, they didn't even know anybody there. They just emailed the CEO. Don't pop me, Doug. 
I'm not into that. Pop people on your own time. Now what was that you were saying, Aber Socks? Look, nobody's being popped right now. It'll only start popping you if you're one of the not most recent 500 people. You don't have to be scared. Even if you get popped, you can re-enter. Popping is the term... Okay, if you have a big list of people... Here's some, here's some data structures lesson for you. Okay, if you have a big list of people and you want to remove one of the elements, it's called popping. You're popping it off the list. Generally, it's when you have like a stack. But you So popping means you take the... the the f oh shit i'm actually blanking that's when you take the first one right yeah pop and push so you think about Shit, it hey, Doug, like a stack of you plates can probably tell by the fact that i've been no. for two months yeah but i love Maybe. the streams you're my favorite streamer and youtuber hey thank you man keep up the good work Doug. thank you appreciate it i think the alerts are really far behind so hopefully you're still here but thank you man um i think you pop you push so it's a, that's a stack yeah but i think what i'm dealing with is a stack no i'm dealing with a queue but why does it have the word pop then? Anyways, it's a big list, okay? Hey, Doug, stop all this nerd talk and start doing some real hardcore Python gaming. <laughs> Python gaming. Just know that you're getting in a big list. Like, you're waiting in line for groceries or something. Or for, like, a movie theater. Or for Supreme, okay? You're waiting in line for so the, the Supreme clothing store. And when you type a new message, you go to the back of the line. And then, in this case... You boot, you kick, you pop the person who is at the front of the line and they just don't get to go to Supreme. So if there's 500 people, every time you come into the list, you're going to bump out the person who's at the front. This store doesn't really make any sense. And then instead of selling to the person who's in the front of the line, they pick a random person in the line and only sell to that guy. That's how my code works. Okay. I think we're fine. I don't see any sensitive information here. Okay, this looks fine. All right, let us um, do funny things. Oh, see, now you're, see, you're not being popped, or you're being popped. So if you haven't talked for five minutes, everybody's starting to be popped now, which is a little bit scary. Uh, sorry, everybody. Get out. We're popping you. But to be clear, it's not like you're like a balloon and we're killing you. It's, I it's, don't want to be popped. Okay, <laughs> you're going to be fine because you just talked. If you talk, you get re-added to the list, so you're fine. It's you're you're all in line to shop at Supreme, and you just get you get popped out of the line if you haven't talked for five minutes. That's how Supreme works, I guess. Coding stream, but every time you say like you have to delete a random line of code. But the problem is that we would make no progress ever. Okay, a lot of people are being popped. <clears throat> so, here's what we do. Um, this. Uh, let me again re recap where we're at, what we're doing, what's the point of all this. <clears throat> the goal is to have two random viewers be picked, and you get to be, your messages are displayed here and shown, and they're also spoken out loud, right? So we've set up the text-to-speech for it. What I think would be funny is if in your messages you could say different, like, um, emphasis types th type things, right? So... No, that would be too complex. Oh, we'll keep it simple. So, um, you know, a crew for life. If this was the person who got picked, then then their message is, I'm going to murder you, Z crew. My army is powerful. That would be read out loud, right? Like we see right here. Uh, where is it? Like we see here with Vistosia. So th it would be this, but down there at the bottom, right? And for two, two different people. Um, but with Amazon Poly, which is Amazon's text-to-speech system, we can have these tags, uh, which is called SSML, that allow you to change how it sounds, right? So I showed this a little bit earlier. So we have like, hi, my name is Joanna. I'll speak any, I'll read any text you type here. Um, so that sounds like this. Hi, my name is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. But if we go here to the supported tags, bam. Okay, calm down. <laughs> Calm down on Joanna. Um, so now here, we can add these effects in here. Boom. So that's normal. But then if you add this tag that says Amazon effect vocal tract length. Oh, geez. It's too big. Amazon effect vocal tract length plus 15%. And you put that at the end of the sentence. Um, now they'll say that line with a different thing, right? So we do listen. Hi, my name is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. 
Now, imagine that I am much bigger. So we can just we can just pitch it up and down. And then there's also the whisper is one of the effects that I showed earlier. But the whisper it kind of creeps me out. And some of them don't. I, some of them I don't know. Like I can't hear. So what I want to do right now is figure out what effects you guys want to have, right? Um, and so that way, when you guys are talking, you could just say, for example, like, um, you know, if you're if you type if you type a message in a chat, it could be like whisper, um, hi chat, I am right behind you. You can say that, and then what I'll do is if I see that you say the keyword whisper, I'll I'll add in the tags that make Amazon make it a whisper, right? So. What I want to do is basically come up with, I don't know, maybe like four, three, four or five effects that you guys can add, like keywords that you can add into your messages that I will then put in these tags to make it sound a certain way. So that's the plan right now. We got to figure out what would be funny for you guys to have with text to speech, right? So let's, let's test it. Let's see what happens. So let's try speaking softly. I think I tried this yesterday. It didn't really do anything. And let's, let's knock her down to... 35% vocal track length. Okay. So what does that sound like? Hi. My name is Joanna. I will read any text you Hi, type Hi, Joanna. Here. Now, imagine that I am much bigger. This is Matthew speaking in my softer voice. See, I don't... The softer voice is like... I don't... I don't notice a difference. Do you guys notice will a difference? Will this be on YouTube? I mean, it'll always be on the VOD channel. There's no chance this will be a YouTube... Okay. Okay. No chance that it'll just be an edited YouTube video. Um, hold on, let me make this a little more readable. Okay, hold on. Listen closely. I, I don't hear a difference. I don't hear a difference between normal and soft. Hi, my name is Joanna. This is Matthew speaking in my softer voice. No. Imagine that I am much bigger. Definitely the, 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 the like deeper voice that, that is for sure. You can obviously hear it, but I don't, do you hear the softer? It's, it's no different. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. I have a, I have a good idea. Um, we'll do like a couple words back and forth, like a couple times. We'll see if we hear any difference. Um, okay. We'll do spork and then this, this one will be soft. This will be spork. This can be just one line. Okay, so we'll have it say spork a bunch of times back and forth. Hi, my name is Joanna. This is me speaking in my softer voice. Spork, spork, spork. It sounds spork, exactly the same. Spork, 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 spork. No. Spork. <laughs> Wait, who said that? Oh, that was you. <laughs> I keep forgetting this is still up. Okay, Tiwu, you're up. Congratulations, you win. Um... So, I don't, okay, this doesn't, I mean, it's not enough of a difference to, like, include for you guys, right? I would say. I, I don't think this is very exciting. So, definitely, we, okay, we should have a keyword for you guys that's, like, deep, and we can just define that. Um, we could have deep and, like, super deep, even. Um, but softer doesn't, doesn't really seem to do anything. We also have, like, high-pitched, um, something like that. So, we, de we definitely have a couple, like, simple ones. The P had a softer sound. No, it didn't. I did not hear any difference. Hold on. Hi, my name is Joanna. This is me Exclamation speaking in my softer off. voice. Spork, 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 spork. You are high. Spork, you are you spork, are very high. Spork, if you think those sound different. Spork. No, Doug, Imagine are you deaf? I am much bigger. I, this is one of the. I'm very. I know you're gaslighting me. Those are exactly the same. Hi, my name is Joanna. This is me speaking in my soft voice. Oh, yeah, voice. let's let's try with Russell. Let's try with Russell, our Australian boy. Maybe maybe the male voices it's like a little more noticeable with um with the soft. Hi. My name is Joanna. This is me speaking in my softer voice. Spork. 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 It is exactly spork, the same. Spork. 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 The now, R imagine that I am much bigger. The R is softened. Maybe Dora. Joanna got me acting very strangely. Oh, oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting that that's up. Um, okay, this is maybe Dora from Iceland will do it better. Hey, my name is Joanna. 
This is me speaking in my softer voice. Spork. 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 Okay, there's no Spork. difference, but that Spork. is a that is a sick. Spork. That is a sick voice. Spork. 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 How is she doing that? That, uh, that I didn't understand that one. Okay. Yeah, we can pick any of these voices. Okay, let, let's say softer as an on. Okay, uh, no. What we do in the shadows. Congratulations, you win. Um, okay, so that effect, I'm going to say we pass on speaking softly. Here, all the effects are up here at the top. So there's adding a pause, but that seems dumb. Okay, emphasis is another one. You would think emphasis, like, makes it sound really loud, but it doesn't, dude. Here. Um... Normal sentence right here, and then he's gonna say Sorry, I'm trying to get through alerts a little bit, but obviously Doug, why are you teaching programming this late on a Monday? Because the teacher got really high last night and he slept in Okay, <clears throat> um, so this is testing out the effect called emphasis level Isaac strong. If he will shoot the sock <laughs> yeah, I will. All right. Does it actually sound different? Hey, my name is Sean. Oh no, okay. No. Normal no, we're not. We're doing the not doing the Icelandic Normal lady. Sorry. Right here. Okay. Uh, Geraint. He's our boy. Hi, my name is Joanna. Normal sentence right here. Normal sentence right here. Okay. So wait, hold person. On. Normal sentence right here. Normal sentence right here. So it's just here. slow. That person. Normal sentence right here. Normal sentence right here. That person. It's like italics. No, imagine that I am much bigger. I do you? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Do we want emphasis level strong? So I could have an effect where you could say emphasis, and then it just talks. I mean, I could just call it slow, right? I feel like it's more of a slow than an emphasis. Me talking, like if I'm just like. <laughs> Use your Twitch Prime. That's not me emphasizing it. I sound drunk. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. The name of the, the, name of the effect should be drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so we'll have drunk as an effect, and that will be... Let me... Uh, I need to put the tag here so I remember it. So that is emphasis level strong. Okay, got it. Um, we may as well do the... the uh, we may as well do the high and low pitch right now. So we want to we want to come up with what are what level of pitch do we want to fuck with, right? Um, so let's say we have like deep, super deep, and high pitched. Is there easier words for this? What are because I, I so again this is like if you guys say a message, you'll be able to just put this at the beginning, and then I and then I will have the code apply it to the whole message, right? So. But ideally, it should be something... Chipmunk is, like, too... I mean, I guess if it's just deep, high and deep, that probably makes the most sense, right? And we have, like, a super deep. Okay, so let's get our numbers for high and deep. We we need the numbers for those. So, this is high. Let's try negative 35%. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Now, imagine that I am much bigger. <laughs> is that too much? <laughs> Maybe we only do like 15% high pitch. Hi, my name is Joe Amner. Now, imagine that I am much bigger. I think maybe, okay, we, we could have two. We could have two levels. So More. we could have... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, we could have two levels, right? So you have like a, you have like a, a high and Low. higher. And maybe deep and deeper, yeah. What about that? And we have two levels. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it like simple and easy to remember for people. <laughs> Call it helium. <laughs> yeah, helium is <laughs> okay. So what if it's negative twenty for high pitch, and then we have like negative forty for super high? Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Now imagine that I am much bigger. Yeah, it's not really high pitch. That's not technically what's going on, but it's an easy way to think about it. Okay, so if that's if we do high is this, 20%, I think that's good. Um, so we do text is in here, and you add this on the side. Uh, then I am God in chat, but before you're vampire God.
Bowed. Okay, goodbye. Shadow Rock, you win. Congratulations. So... This is negative 40%. Is this too high? Hi. My name is Joe Amner. Now, imagine that Pog. I'm much bigger. <laughs> Pog. Uh, let's try 100. Let's see what happens. Hi. My name is Joe Amner. Now, imagine that I'm much bigger. <laughs> okay, I guess we do 100. How high can we go? I assume you can't do 1,000, right? That probably won't do anything. I win. Hi. My name is Joe Amner. Now, imagine that I am much bigger. Yeah, I think negative 100% is as high as you can go. All right, do we, ne we can do negative 100. <clears throat> I don't think you can keep running it, because, you know. Doug Dougal. Man, I love Joanna. Joanna is the main character of the stream. What about a female voice with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, English. Who, where, who do we have as Joanna? Joanna ripped ass. Hi, my name is Joanna. We were. Now, imagine that I am much bigger. It's pretty good. I think we do 100%. Okay, so if we do high and higher, then it will be negative 20% increase. And, um... Yeah, that works. Any complaints with this? So high would do negative 20%, we, we, higher we, we, would do we, negative 1,000. Nice. Got the buzzwords. All right, let's, let's do deeper. I'll probably do Russell and Geraint, because that's, that's who we're used to with text to speech Let me go back to Geraint. So now if we go 100% deeper... Hi, my name is Joe Amner. Now, imagine that I am much bigger. Uh, why didn't that work? Hello? 90%? Maybe there's a cap on this? Hi, my name is Joe Amner. Now, imagine that I am much bigger. Why is he not getting super deep? The plus sign, huh? People are just saying plus. What do you... Okay, just typing plus into chat isn't informing me of anything. You need more context. It needs to be plus 90%? Hi, my name is Joe Amner. No, imagine that I am much bigger. Okay, yeah, that one worked. That, that does work. Okay, you were correct. Next time, please use more words than just the, than literally the symbol plus sign, but that was correct. Hi, Rate. my name is Joe Emma. Suck. No, imagine if I'm much bigger. Okay. So that could be the deeper is plus 100%. Uh, what about plus 20 for like normal default? Um, Hi, my name is Joe Emma. No, imagine that I'm much bigger. How's that sound? Or maybe like 30, 30%. So, so deep would be 30% and deeper would be a hundred percent. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. No, imagine that Twitch I'm chat much is main character. Mm, I don't know. Joanna is coming in as the main character today. Most might. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Okay. We'll do 30. 30 sounds pretty good. Should we do 80 instead of a hundred? Cause a hundred, you can barely understand. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. No, imagine that I'm much bigger. Yeah, I think we do 30 and 80. 100 is funny, but it, you can't actually hear it at all. So, uh, this would be text. We would go like this. Bam. And then that's what it would look like. Can there be two socks? 30 and 50. Or sorry, 30 and 80. So we got 30 and 80 as our, as our plan there. Um, cool. Play some music. So now we have... We have five keywords that we could do. High, higher, deep, deeper, and drunk. And then let's see if there's anything else we want to try. So the other tags are... We have adding a pause, emphasizing words, specifying another language. I don't think we should do that. No, we're not doing that. Uh, custom tag, pause between paragraphs, no. Doug, you look drunk, you good. Yeah, I'm good. Using phonetic pronunciation. What does that mean? Amazon Polly uses the pronunciation specified by the pH attribute instead of the standard pronunciation associated by default with the language used by the selected voice. For example, the word pecan be, can be pronounced two ways. In the following example, pecan is assigned a different pronunciation in each line. Amazon Polly pronounces pecan as specified in the pH attributes instead of using the default pronunciation. Huh. Let's ignore all of that. That's too much. Okay, um, controlling volume, speaking rate, and pitch. So we could have it talk really fast, maybe. Would that be funny?
Um, oh, increasing the volume is funny. Okay, so this effect, it looks like we can up we can change the volume. Oh. Hi. My name is Joe Amna. Now I'm much quieter Tihi. Okay, so we can make it quieter. Can we make it bigger? Hi. My name is Joe Amna. Now I'm much quieter to Tihi. Okay, that is not 60 decibels louder. Apparently it's capped pretty low. Does that have to One be plus One just sock for 5,000 people. Hi, my name is Joanna. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Now I'm much quieter to Tihi. <laughs> okay, it's not that loud, but it's, it's, it's pretty funny. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Now I'm much quieter to tee <laughs> This will be so annoying if you guys can just be super fucking loud. Pull up your socks. <laughs> um, I guess we can have loud as <laughs> as a thing. Um, you could technically combine these together, which is funny. Yeah, you can stack them. Again, trying to convert my friend into a daglet and it's not working. What do? Say something funny. Um. Teehee. I got you. I hope that helps. Um, I think loud should, hey Doug, should be I'm one of them. stuck in line 57. Can you please help me? Don't worry. That'll be on the end of the test. <laughs> <laughs> See? Got him. Okay, let's do... We'll do loud as one of them. It doesn't need to be 600 dB. Um, let's try pitch. Let's see what pitch feels like. So how do we do pitch? Um, resets pitch to the default level, sets the pitch this to a predetermined value. This is programming PTSD. <laughs> Thanks for giving me fun memories. You are welcome. I do what I can. Okay, this is just going to be... This is just going to be high. It's probably the same as what we did, you right? You should change your stream from just chatting to software and game development, so you will be the biggest streamer in that category. That's not, like, a huge achievement is for me, but Is this thing supposed sure. to change Twitch members? There's a game called Coding for Carrots, so I'm going to... I'm going to change to Coding for Carrots. I can't, up I can't update it. It's not letting me update. Sorry, everybody. You're going to have to keep watching me in the Just Chatting category. Um, this is testing the higher pitch. Let's see what that sounds like. My name is Joe Amner. With a pitch that is higher than normal, now I'm much quieter to TV. Rigged. Ow. Um, do... So this is a different type of pitching up. The one we did before was controlling the timber. Do we want timber or pitch? I thought timber was kind of cooler. So, so as a reminder, the timber sounded like this. Because we could use either one of the effects. I'd rather not have both of them, because I think it's kind of confusing to have two things that sound really similar. Um, I, think, I think this being fairly simple is kind of important. Hi, my name is Joe Amner. With a pitch that is higher than normal. With a pitch that is higher than normal. Okay, now the, I'm much quieter to Tihi. The first one sounds better, I'm going to be honest. It's not timber. Timber. Oh, well, that's stupid. That's a dumb way to say that word. That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> I think I think the first one's better, right? Set it higher. Um, can I manually set it? Let me see. Or you could set it this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right, let's see. I think we probably do that instead of, instead of timber. Timber's funnier. Yeah, but it just doesn't... I don't know. It sounds weird, right? It just sounds robot-y rather than being pitched up, really. Um... I mean, I guess I could include both. Try combining both? Yeah. I don't know why I keep playing music when I need to immediately turn it off. Okay. So, this would be... Down here. Alright, so this is the pitch. We'll do minus 10. 
and we'll do plus 100. Okay. Minus 10, minus 100, plus 10, plus 100. And we'll see how these sound. Hi, my name is Joe Amner. With a somewhat lower pitch. 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 It's with not... a pitch that is higher than normal. With a pitch that is higher than normal. Now I'm much quieter, Teehee. Okay, yeah, you're right. Too much of people are just spamming sock. I'm turning off the app, so you don't, don't, you don't have to type sock anymore. It's not going to do anything. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's funnier. I can't tell. Hi, my name is Joe Amner. With a somewhat lower pitch. With a somewhat lower pitch. Yeah, so with a somewhat lower pitch. With a somewhat lower pitch. With a pitch that is higher than normal. Mm. With a I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's, I guess let's do a poll. So what do? I, okay, for our, for our keywords that are like deep and high, do we use pitch or timbre? Pitch, timbre. Oh, I also need to need to update my overlay. Okay, now it should show up. There we go. Okay, you guys are saying pitch. Um, we could also have tambor. It's just, I guess, as a separate thing like timbre up and timbre down. It's just going to be a lot of keywords. I just want to keep it fairly simple. I don't think having like 30 different keywords that people combine is going to be that um, uh, easy to follow. Okay, what are our numbers then for pitch? So like negative 20 and 200, something like that. How's that? Hi, my name is Joe Amna. With a somewhat lower pitch. With a somewhat lower pitch. I want to do with a somewhat lower pitch. With a somewhat lower pitch. Yeah. With a pitch that is higher. I think just we just do high and low. X low? What does that mean? We just do low and high, I think. Low and high seem like they worked really well. We just have we just have two of them. We keep it simple. Hi, my name is Joe Amner. With a somewhat lower pitch. With a somewhat lower pitch. Uh, wait, that... With a pitch that is higher than normal. With a pitch that is higher than normal. Now I'm much quieter, Tihi. Why did one line this line sounded this line sounded lower than this line? Am I crazy? Am I am I insane and I'm imagining things or is it like different all the time? Make it loud. X low and X higher options. Yeah, but I already like did that. It's okay you're getting old. Must be because of wording. Yeah, it's probably just what is being said. I think we just do low and high. Let's just do low and high. And then... I guess you can just add the timbre too and that'll just make it sound weird. So, what I'm doing here. Why are there 6,000 people here? Are there? I have no idea. <laughs> it baffles me endlessly. Okay, I think we leave higher and deeper. And those are going to be timbre, okay? But we're going to have just high and deep. Yeah? So high and deep are going to be pitch. Higher and deeper are going to be timbre. And then you can combine them if you want. It'll be funny. So now you're going to have drunk and you're going to have loud. So now we have six. We have high, deep, higher, deeper, drunk, and loud. Let's see if there's any others we want to add in. Yo, Doug, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Yeah, today actually feeling great. 
I I'm having a great time. This has been a really fun little project to do. Yeah, okay, do we do we actually want Whisper? Whisper sucks. <laughs> I hate it. I hate Whisper. It would mean that all of, like, all of your messages are whispered, and I don't like it. And it scares me. Here's what it sounds like. Um... It's not working. Oh, this happened yesterday. You forgot the to stupid. put the key passphrase variable in snake case. Your other variables have underscores between words. Oh yeah, oops. Look at how stupid programming is. Look at this. This is why it wasn't working. Hold on. I hey can't. Doug, where See this? are those meal vouchers? See this? I don't want to have to unionize. These are the wrong quotes. These are the wrong quotes. You have to use these quotes. It's the stupidest shit in the world. Why does just have all the quotes work? That's so dumb. How does anybody do this ever? Okay, let's hear it out. Hi, my name is Joe Amner. I don't like it. It scares me. <laughs> I don't want it to be happening all the time. <laughs> I don't like it. What is okay? What if, what if we go back to what if we go back to Joanna, our our, our girl? Hi, my name is Joanna. Because she, she sounds. She reminds me of like Makima from Chainsaw Man. I feel like she's gonna she's gonna step on me. Add breathing noises. <laughs> um. Breathe, breathing would get hard because I don't have to start adding tags in the middle of the text, which is doable. Okay, we'll add, we'll add whisper. We'll add whisper. So whisper will be one of the effects. Text. Okay. Add a tag for breathing noises. Okay, what, what do the breathing noises sound like? Let's look. So, um, Add the sound of breathing. This tag is only supported by standard. Okay. In manual mode, you place the breath where you want to locate the breath. To set the breath sound. You can add individual. Okay. To use the defaults. Okay. So if you just do this, it adds an average amount of breaths. Let's see how this sounds. Hi, my name is Joanna. Twitch chat, I am going to find you and I am going to eat you like a peanut butter and chatty sandwich. I don't like the breathing. It may <laughs> It's even worse. It makes it feel too real. I don't like the breathing. <laughs> Wait, hold on, does she breathe in between sentences? Hi, my name is Joanna. Twitch chat, I am going to find you. And I am going to eat you like a peanut butter and chatty sandwich. <laughs> I don't like the breathing. The breathing freaks me out. Is it just at the beginning and the end? Um. When it, it, do you have to do it before every word? Combine them with whisper. Oh God. Okay. Hi, my name is Joanna. Twitch chat, I am going to find you. And I am going to eat you like a sandwich. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Joanna scares me. <laughs> I mean, we'll put it in. It'd be it, the breath would be funniest if you could like I guess I could look throughout the you could just I could scan through the, the string that you give and then we replace breath with We just do this. Oh god, okay. So I could insert a bunch of breaths in there. Let's see. Uh, so we turn off breath. 
So one option is you you have breath around the entire sentence. Another is we do manual breathing. Like this. Okay, see how this sounds. Hi, my name is Joanna. Twitch chat, I am going to find you. And I am going to eat you like a sandwich. Okay, we gotta get rid of the whispering. I can't even hear what it sounds like. Okay, but we will randomly make this one loud. That'd be funny. Hi, my name is Joanna. Twitch chat, I am going to find you. And I am going to eat you like a sandwich. <laughs> it doesn't sound natural. Yeah, it sounds like she's choking rather than... So, manual, the manual breaths don't feel natural right i think it's i think it was more interesting when i just said breathe when you can around the whole message rather than doing manual breaths right and people will just breathe constantly it'll get uncomfortable like it sounds it sounds way more interesting when it when it was the automatic breaths right i don't know what do you guys think uh manual breaths or automatic so manual breaths would mean you can specify in your message when the breaths happen they just don't sound as Natural, um, make auto breaths louder or, um, or that I just say it'll insert breaths when it can throughout. So, so, oh yeah, the auto one again, sounds like this. Like this. Hi. My name is Joanna. Twitch chat, I am going to find you. And I am going to eat you like a sandwich. I guess that still doesn't sound that natural. I don't know, dude. Manual um, or automatic. So you would have to specify where they are otherwise, rather than just saying, like, you know, uh, have this one be breathy. Sounds like she's startled. I think automatic's probably better... Both are manual. By manual, I mean that I am putting them in versus this one, you see? This says over the whole sentence, it's just going to insert breaths where possible. Stop making Joanna say these horrible things to us. There's a real automatic mode. Oh, you're right. Wait, then what the fuck was I doing? Hold on. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right, right. Okay, hold on. We gotta test this. In automated mode, you use auto breaths to tell it to... Okay. Okay, okay. Let's 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 try this. So this this would be the proper automated one. And then do you still end it with auto breaths? No, you end it with. Okay. So this it should breathe. Um, I am talking and talking. And talking just to test out my breathing. All right, let's see how this sounds. Hi, my name is Joanna. Twitch chat, I am going to find you. And I am going to eat you like a sandwich. I'm talking and talking just to test out my breathing. So it's not a lot. It's not like tons of breathing, but it's some breathing. Um, it definitely sounds more natural. You know, and then the other is where we're just like manually jamming a bunch of breaths in there. Remove the dots. Yeah, maybe this. Hi, my name is Joanna. Twitch chat, I am going to find you and I am going to eat you like a sandwich. Teehee, just kidding my little puppies. I'm talking and talking just to test out my breathing. She didn't breathe one time. She didn't breathe a single time. She she breathes when there's a comma. Hi, my name is Joanna. Twitch chat, I am going to find you, and I am going to eat you like a sandwich. No, she's not breathing. Teehee, just kidding, my little puppies. I'm talking. Dude, she's not breathing at all. Reread the documentation. Okay. Um, <clears throat> 
Volume controls how loud the breathing. Okay, yep, yep. Default. Uh, it requires a clock. Okay, fine. Uh, duration. And the D's. Okay, often occurs after commas and periods. The follow example, you decide which options to use. Copy the applicable, the console. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's try this one. Amazon Polly is a service that turns text into lifelike speech, allowing you to create applications that talk and build entirely new categories of speech-enabled products. Amazon Polly is a... Okay, let's make it loud. X frequency high. I assume it's the word high? What do we have to do? Uh, okay, X high. Yeah, X high. Okay, this should be loud and... Frequent. Amazon Polly is a service that turns text into lifelike speech, allowing you to create <laughs> applications that talk and build entirely new categories of speech enabled products. That's funny. Amazon Polly is a text to speech service that uses <laughs> advanced deep learning technologies to synthesize speech that sounds like a human voice. With dozens of lifelike voices across a variety of languages, you can select the ideal voice and build speech enabled applications that work in many different countries. Um. That's funny. We're doing that one. Um, B movie script. If I just add a shitload of commas, does it? Oh God, this that did not. I was hoping it would reformat. Okay. Let's try a B-movie. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. It <laughs> According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee. Okay, let's see what this sounds like. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly its wings are too small to get it <laughs> okay we're doing this one this is the this is the greatest <laughs> okay so we're doing auto breast volume loud um <laughs> this is it this is it now make her whisper i it'll be scary okay let me add the whisper effect i just i'm worried do you still eat olive oil every day i had two shots of olive oil this morning yes You and the crew you played Valheim with playing Seven Days to Die would be hilarious. It's hard as hell and 100 times more chaotic. I love it. I'm currently playing it. Love you, Dugathy. Thank you. I'll look into it. Um, okay, I, hey, I hate Line 57 is looking weird. Line 57 looks great. Print. All it did is print. Line 57 is fine. Okay, we're definitely doing breathing. Breathing is hilarious. And we'll do it with these settings. Async is basically the code going velp, that's doing stuff. Better get back to what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good description of my, I mean, that's just, yeah, the little knowledge I have. Okay, so what do we call this keyword? Breath? Breathing? Um, what do, what do we actually call it? You need to move the user underscore pool out of being assigned during async. Assign it at the very beginning instead. It this is. This will prevent it from randomly not working. Um, I thought it is. All right, that is a, an important message. How the alerts are probably really far behind if you're if that just got in. Hopefully you're still here. Okay, really quick, let me address that because that seems important. Uh, so where am I setting up user pool? Oh, you're right. So I should I don't know if you're here. I should set user pool out here, right? When the bot is initialized. Can I not do this? Can I do this? Is that fine? You cannot write global, just admit it. 
I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how global works in um, in Python. Uh, well, so the only thing is the bot dot user pool. Will this still be accessible? I guess we don't ever do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't need it to be global. Okay. Cool. So then we just do user pool equals uh, dictionary. Try worldwide instead of global. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> Um, if message.content equals equals sock god dot append username. No. Wait. Oh, that's from a long time ago. God, the alerts are so far behind. Sorry. Today has not been a day where it's easy to listen to Texas Beach. Alright, hopefully that still works. I should probably test it real quick. We have a lot of effects. High, deep, higher, deeper, drunk, loud, whisper, Some and mods breath. can we get gumbo whether they answer or not? Whether who answers. Um, okay, anything else that we want to try? I would love to move on at this point. I think we have enough. Pausing between sentences. We basically are doing that through breathing. Hey, Doug. The pull request looks good, this but I am requesting some changes. Please write some unit and integration tests. No. Then deploy to dev and make sure it runs well in the Elastic Kubernetes cluster. No, I'm doing all the things that it says not to do. Like Doug, using a long-term access token for my root words. user. I think it displays messages before Nightbot can delete them. Uh, I, think it, I think it doesn't, but yeah, I don't know. It's It, it might happen. Um, okay. Uh, controlling how certain special types of words, I don't think that matters. Identifying, no. Pronouncing acronyms and abbreviations, no. Improving pronunciation, no, we don't need that. Breathing, we added. New, new, okay, do we want news? That is funny. I think if we do that, we're good. Because we tested the others. We don't need dynamic range compression. Okay, newscaster is the last one to test. Let's test this, and then we'll see how that well, sounds, and then we start actually coding. Okay, so we'll start it off with normal voice. Hi, my name is Joanna. Hi, Joanna. And then it'll go newscaster. Or not. Or, or no, it won't. What did I do wrong? I literally copy and pasted their example. What what did I do? What? Huh? She's dead. No, Joanna is fine. Is it the quotes again? The quotes look fine here. She ran out of breath. Um, this is literally their example, and I don't understand what to do. It's the fact that you're not using a long-term access token. I am using a long-term access token. I had to sign a little waiver saying I knew what I was doing, and I wasn't going to break it. Let me try again. Oh, contains invalid syntax. Bro, Amazon, I am doing what you are telling me to do. I I don't know I don't know what to do, man. Is it for specific voices? It shouldn't be. It's saying the syntax is wrong. I mean, I could move it over to Geraint. Read the instructions. I copied the instruct I just copied this. This. Um Oh. Newscaster is available only for Matthew or Joanna. But yeah, we did Joanna. It should be fine. I mean, it won't work for Geraint, but it should work for Joanna. And also it's saying that the it's saying that the the SS like the formatting is wrong. It's only supported with Oh, when using neural format. Okay, sorry. I really should probably read things occasionally instead of just making bold claims and complaining. <clears throat> Well, sorry, everybody. We can't do Newscaster. That does sound funny. Hold on. We, we can at least see what it sounds like if I swap over to Neural. Okay. You failed! I at least want to hear what it sounds like. It's, so we can't use this for the, whole, for, the, for the app, but it does sound just like a funny concept. Okay, so the newscaster stuff. I'll do a one sentence normal, and then it switches to newscaster. Speak hi. My name is Joanna. 
I will read any text you type here. Amazon domain name equals news greater than from the Tuesday, April 16th, 19th. Oops, hold on. There we go. No, why did it? Hold on. Bam. Bam. Hi. My name is Joanna. I will read any text you type here. From the Tuesday, April 16th, 1912 edition of the Guardian newspaper. Eh, that's funny. It's not that the funny. The maiden voyage of the White Star Liner Titanic, you the failed. largest ship ever launched, has been a disaster. The Titanic started her trip from Southampton for New York eh, on Wednesday. It's kind of funny. Late on Sunday night, she struck an iceberg off the Grand Banks of Newfoundland. Iceberg? By eh, wireless that great. telegraphy, right. she sent out signals this. of distress stop, and stop, 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 liner. Um, all right, cool. I think we have our effects. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Fucking got him, dude. So, all of that was to get these seven effects a high, deep, higher, deeper, drunk, loud, whisper, and breath. Eight effects. So. Now what we want to do is before changing the text to speech, we, if you guys have put one of these keywords, we swap this in. Yeah. Can I make it moan? No. How dare you? How dare you use Joanna for nefarious means? Okay. So to do this, first off, very important, I have to pee. So, first off, let me make sure I didn't break anything just now. Let me test it again. Hi, this is my test audio. Hi, chat. I will find you and I will not murder you. Okay, I don't want to do the murder. Okay, I did have a... Now user pool is not defined. Okay, I fucked up something. What did I... How did I fuck it up? So I moved user pool. It's saying, oh, it doesn't know where user pool is. Oh, because this is async. So now I have to do bot.user pool. Um, right? Yeah, because it's asynchronous. Dig, I hope you mind I wasn't born a koala, but might we still be friends? I forgive you. Yeah. Maybe that'll do it. You need to move the user underscore pool out of being assigned during async. Assign it at the very beginning instead. This will prevent it from randomly not working. Why wouldn't user pool work here then? Hi, this is my test audio hijack. Line 159. It's still saying it's not 
It still says I can't find it. Dig, please help. I'm stuck in the sock. The fuck? One fifth line one fifty. Jesus, take the it's wheel. Saying I, the fuck? Self? Is it self dot user? I haven't done like class programming at all with um Why would self make it different? And why would only this line not know what user pool is? Oh, oh, it's down here, that's why. Maybe it works. Hi, uh, this is my test audio high chat. Parks are just got popped. Uh, let's play some fucking Terran music. Okay, seems like we're fine. And then now, if you type sock, I can pick you randomly. Unless it just doesn't if work you anymore. If rewards, you should just scream, I was here and rigged. No. No, I won't do that. Pick random is not working. Okay, what did I do? Is it the same problem? Oh, it is the is same Is this problem. a friggin' programming stream? Can it be 48 hours? Please. I just, uh, I, this is my test audio. I need to sleep. Chat. I need to sleep at some point. Okay, now maybe it works. We restart and pick random. Bakes the cakes. Congratulations. You did it. You were selected. Woo! Do you have hey, anything Doug, to say for have yourself? You about the effects the industrial revolution might have had on ham sandwiches. I certainly haven't. Congratulations, bake the cakes. Cool. We do it. It does seem to be working. Boss Razorback, you won. Uh, you you are the winner of today's stream. Congratulations. And only you. Nobody else. But just saying I'm planned and walking off would be amazing. That's true, Ward. Can I have a hug? Chat? Not from Doug. He's stinky. Put me in, coach. Sneaktastic. You're in. Congratulations. Okay, th this seems to be working. That that's what matters. So now we'll now we get to add the funny make it breathy. And this is some fun string manipulation type shit that I don't know how to do in Python. It'd be nice if I knew how Python worked Pop really. Boys. If make sure to not accidentally work. get a 1 million dollar bill from leaving a while loop on. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> That'd be funny if I go bankrupt cuz I just have a uh, some code making text to speech off of Amazon for like 24 hours without realizing Love it. Love you chat. Okay. So, here's where we will update our text. So we get, we have the text here. Um, let me just let's, just, let's just reset where we are with everybody, okay? In case you've tuned in or you don't know what's going on. Um, we're writing a function that is going to make it so that we AWS and Microsoft Azure a cake compared to Google Cloud Platform. Oh, really? Oof. Well, I'm glad I didn't do that. So this uh, and the the app is off. You don't have to type sock. This is the this is the function that takes text and turns it into audio, right? So what we've been doing so far is we take the text and we send it off to Amazon. We ship it out there, and then Amazon um, does things to it and brings it back. Okay. So, um. What we want to do is before telling Amazon, here's the text that we want, we want to put those tags in it that we've been doing here, right? So if I want to have, if I want to have the thing, if I want it to sound all funny, right? If like, here's my text. If you have the text and one of you guys puts breath here, what I want to do is take the breath that you put in your message, remove it, and instead replace it with the breath like the proper Amazon breath tags at the beginning and the end. And if I do that, then when the text, when when this goes to Amazon, it'll now know to put breathing in there, right? So basically we have to take what you guys, it, replace this breath with, um, with the two tags. So, and we're gonna do that with all of them. So let's start it with hi. So if we see the word hi, if we, if we see the, the, the string hi in your message, then we want to replace it with that at the beginning and the end, basically. I'll do triple quotes. Wait, why does that not make it a string? Huh? Isn't that supposed to be a string? S 
so now we have to deal with um, replacement. Uh, Got to use quotes. Is it triple quotes? I thought if you do triple quotes in Python, then it becomes like a, a string. I did this like yesterday. You have to assign it to a variable. Oh. Got it, got it. Okay. Well, anyways, um, not super critically important. So at this point we have we have our text. Um how do you does anybody know? Or just cast it with a string? Okay, got it. Well or, hold on, one thing at a time. First off, we need to look for if the word high. So does any starts with high. Okay. Well, I could just do it doesn't need to necessarily start with breath. Because so if they do high and breath, right? It wouldn't start with breath. So ideally, rather than doing a text dot starts with, we would just do a replace, right? So if text dot like contains, I don't know if it has this. If it contains high, uh, high. If it contains that, then it, is there a contains function in Python? Does anybody know? If high in text. That's cool. Okay, so if high is in the text, if len dot text dot split code word text equals text split. Oh my god, that's I can't read that. I mean, this should work though, right? So now we now we need to. If it is, we want to remove it. So is there? I mean, I'll, I'll look at this later, Phoenix Bros. If if my thing doesn't work, um. If you have VS code, hex.replace. Oh, okay. Thank you, Dark Nut. Wait, no, we wouldn't want to replace it, right? We would want to get rid of it and then add it to the beginning and the end. We don't we wouldn't want it just happening randomly in the middle. I guess we could. And then it goes to the end. That could work. Okay, so you replace the keyword with the new bracket and then at the end how do you how do you add something to the end of um a string yeah replace it with a starting tag and put the ending on yeah and put the end tag at the end of the whole thing is it append text dot a, a plus equals okay so text plus equals the end tag so for high the beginning tag is prosody pitch high so this I don't know. We'll deal with that in a sec. Um, and then I would plus equals the ending tag right here. Yeah. I think that would work. So append only list for tuples. Apparently plus equals works. Please use a dictionary. Why would I use a dictionary? It's just a single string that we're modifying. Um, so... This is an equals plus moment. No, it's not. Add the strings to a list. Each word is an element. Remove high or append at the end of the list. Is that gonna... I mean, I feel like this is fine, right? Wait, if I just do this, right? This should work. Okay, cool. Use a list and for loop, please. This is fine, though. I, I, I don't think we need to do that. Like, this, this works perfectly fine. So, let's test this. Doug, use a sock, please. No. So, theoretically... Um, and our... Theoretically, when it text-to-speech is now... it If high is in the text, it will uh, add the high... Uh, whatever it's called. Okay. Okay, now the key phrase is dog is good at 2D platformers. We save this, we run it, it doesn't Hi, crash. this is my test audio high chat. Cool. Now in our chat guide, we random, I'm going to pick myself because I'm the greatest. Now if I type into my own chat here, test, test, test. Okay. <laughs> ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha
ha. So now, though, if I put hi at the beginning, and now I do ha ha, then nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I also didn't type the key passwords. Oh, right, right. I, I can manually add myself. This is a real plus equals moment. Am I right, guys? Text equals text replace. Got it, got it, got it. Yes, you're correct. That would do it. Why does this have an error? Oh. You still angry at me? Why are you angry at me still? What's wrong with this? Why is it, why is it upset at me? What, I didn't do anything. Did you mean print text? Is, yeah, that's what I have. Maybe it just hasn't updated yet. I did save. Okay, maybe this will work. Hi, this is my test audio. Hi, chat. Okay. Now we refresh this. We choose myself. Sorry, I took your spot. Test, test. Uh, I need to fix this where text to speech is on by default. Test, test. Okay, now if we do ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. If I go hi. Pause champ? Maybe it's high pitched. Ha 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 doggy dog. I did it! Okay. Congratulations, Doug. Yeah! You did it! You're incredible! Great job, Doug. Doug. You're I amazing! Be like you. Wow! Doug, that was so cool! What an amazing He's gamer the best. person! This He's Doug the best Doug gamer! Wow! Oh my god. You're incredible, Doug. Wow! The replace thing will behave strangely if the code was in the middle. So it should be fine. So look, I, what it would do, it, what it should do is I'm like, this part of my message is normal. Then I do hi. This part is hi. And that, that's an intended feature, right? So let's see if this works. This part of my message is normal. This part is hi. Yeah, see? So that, that, that works. Use multiple highs. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, that might break it, actually. Um, no, it would, only, it would only fire once. It would only fire once. Should add lower to the replacements to make it not case sensitive. Yeah. How would you do that though? Because you're doing if this is in the text. I mean, I could lower. I guess I could just lower case. I think no, no. I think the string is already lowercase by this point. I'm fairly certain. Um, and if it's not, I can just lowercase the whole message. Yeah, I'll just do text.lower up here. So when I get when I get the message before doing anything, I'll just um how do you do that? To lower? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll just lower it here. So the whole thing is lowercase. Um okay, people are saying this is like horrifically bad or something. Does this really I feel like this is fine, yeah. If I do high twice, it should say the word high the second time. So if I'm like high, high, um high, <laughs> it should now say high high. Uh oh. Oh, text equals text. I love it. Right, right, right. Uh oh. Fuck. Wait, what? Fuck. Why is it not like this? What? So if there's a second one, it just breaks? Oh, does this replace both highs? 
Okay, does this function replace every instance of hi with... Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, maybe we do need to loop through. Because that way it's just every time we find a keyword, we add the relevant thing to, to that spot and at the end. This is going to have issues. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um... So I think we just like tokenize it, right? We just make it into a bunch of words and then we loop through. Yeah. And then we add it to the end of the list. Yeah. It doesn't create an infinite loop. It creates, there's like an, uh, there's a hanging tag in the middle of it. We told you. But the thing is, I don't trust you a lot of the time. You guys are, I mean, there's actually a lot of really smart programmers here, but a lot of people who just say random shit that's wrong. <laughs> you can't blame me for not trusting everything that comes out of Twitch chat. Add one is a third argument. Oh. Okay, so you're saying there's we can just fix it without me having to tokenize anything. So if we do this, it only replaces one of them. Doug okay. chooses Polly so Hi, this is my test audio hi chat. Real Doug Zeus will from afar. Oh oops, I have two running. Okay. Uh we choose Doug Doug. Now if I type Hi. 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 Aspect of fate. Thank you, man. Have you tried plus equals yet? It plus equals is not some lifesaver. It's still not working. Fart. Oh, wait. I think I just didn't text the speech. Fart. Okay, let's try it now. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, okay. There we go. It's working. Right now, this isn't set up. It's, this is not always going to reflect the text-to-speech uh, status, so I just need to check and uncheck it. Um, now, if people... It'll break if people put tags in a weird order, like breath high instead of high breath, because the end tags will be out of order. Socks are comfy and easy to wear. I did a quarter yeah. of programming in college before I dropped out. This stream is for me. We really just need to turn it into a list, right? And we just iterate through the list if it's one of the keywords. Right? Wow. Doug, you're like a god at coding. Got him. Also, hi, Doug. Oh, yeah, you could write the Amazon tags into your message. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, you guys will be able to technically customize it. Kerbal Space Program when? Um, that'll be funny. Just use regex. I don't know how to use regex. Okay, if we turn... Okay, here's what we do, right? We turn the the list, the, the sentence into a list of individual strings for each one. We see, are you one of the keywords? This if so, we replace you with the keyword and put the end tag, right? Abilities. Thanks, Doug. You're welcome. And I'm not using a plus equals. That's not what we need right now. Um, Use chat GPT to write regex. Actually, that's kind of a hype idea. Oh, is that just a dictionary? We need a plus equals. Use chat. I mean, Doug help. Some strange man kidnapped uh, me from I the wanna, basement and took me away. I want to be able to I like read I'm it. I think in a bond of some sort. I'm so scared. Help. No, oh, sounds like you're home. Everybody here is uh, your new friend. Uh, if replace had a mode to search from the back, it would work. That's true. We just need to search through the back. Okay, but if if we just like make it a list, right? So if we're just how do how do we do it? <laughs> what do I do? Um uh you forgot to print hello world for forward in text split. Okay, thank you. Hey Doug, just checking in because your gyro tasks my haven't turn. moved in a few days. How are tickets 225, 226, <laughs> and 254 coming? God. Do you mind jumping in a quick call so we can talk about your performance? I think I talked about this, but the last day I worked at EA as a programmer, I went in and it was like, I got a bug report from Gerard or whatever his name was, Garage, I think. And, and he was like, hey, EA Madden Mobile, the data tracking that we have, one of the data tracking events when players opens up an item in the store isn't being logged properly. Can you look into this? And I was like, I'm going to spend all day on this, and I could not imagine a less interesting thing happening in video game, like across the entire industry, probably for the rest of time, than one of the tracking information pieces about players 
opening an item in the shop on EA Madden Mobile in Unity doesn't work. And I was just like, wow, I'm glad I'm quitting this job. Uh, his name is not Garage. He's Indian. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. It was just, um, I don't miss it. That was like, liter I literally wrote that down because I was like, I want to remember why I'm quitting. <laughs> because I don't, I don't think this is my, the, the job for me. What was the problem? I quit one hour later. I didn't, all right. G garbage had to go take care of that himself. And he was way smarter than me anyways. He was a fucking genius. He probably fixed it in an hour. Would have taken me all day. I didn't know shit about Madden and, and the telemetry module really. Yeah, no, I didn't fix it. I quit. Wait, actually, I, I, presumably I gave my two weeks. So maybe I like passed it back to him. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I was a great programmer. <clears throat> so for each word in the text dot split, we're going to say if the word is the thing we want, which is high, then we're going to text equal or word dot. Do we just replace it? No, we do word. No, hold on. Wait, but if I do this, can I add a word to the end of the list? I think we do, we do, does this work? Can we be adding things the whole time? Use a dictionary for each of the replacements. Manipulating the string during iteration can cause problems. All right. So you're saying we make a dictionary? What, why would a dictionary do? I don't understand why we'd use a dictionary here. I saw you convert the usernames to lowercase. Wouldn't it break if two people have the same username with different capitalization? That is not something that Twitch allows. Doug, I need your help. Obama has locked me in the basement. That is not helpful. Um, TTS donations are just pause so I can think. They're just going to be really far behind. I mean, because I can do like, you know list of words and then do equals text dot split. But the problem is then I'm still iterating over it and trying to add things at the end. I mean, I could do, I can think of a really janky way to do this. I just assume you guys have smarter things to do. Dictionary has a key, which would be the text adjustment and a value to the number of times it is in a chat message. Oh shit. I mean, it's fine if Twitch chat adds tags into their message. It's kind of funny. Um, I mean, look, here, here's the really janky way to do it. Okay. Shit to add into, uh, the back. <laughs> okay. So hear me out. And now we say, if we find a keyword, then shit to add into the back, um, that we do a plus equals, very pog, and we add the end tag there. And then, after all this is done, we do list of words, plus equals, shit to add into the back. Easy. Now that is a plus equals moment, very pog. Absolutely brilliant, hopefully it works. I mean, that, should, that actually should work, right? I mean, it's, I'm sure there's a more efficient way of doing this, but... Okay, so um, so if the word is high, then the word gets replaced, right? By... No, then the word just equals this. I don't have to replace it. Uh, Equals... Yeah, right? Yeah? Cool? Am I dumb? Am I doing anything dumb here? How dumb is this? This feels fine. So for E... Oh, well, we need this. So... We split the we split the list of words. Wait, but then the replace thing would work fine now. Whatever. Fuck it. Okay, so we split it into a list of words. For each word, we say, okay, are you one of the words we care about? If so, we replace it with the word we care about. And then we also say, well, later on we'll put a tag in the right order as we're working through it, right? This should work. Can you plus equal lists? Well, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. It might need to be list of words equals okay we have sorry everybody we have to lose the plus equals i, I don't think we can do it because we have to unless you can do a plus equals list because otherwise we have to do a pen yeah sorry everybody this is an append moment append <laughs> sorry everybody uh, we're appending now boo append sucks sorry guys 
I know you're let down. Don't add it to the iteration variable. Huh? Hey, wait, this is fine. You can plus equals list if the second thing hey, is one item list. John coding here. Okay, hold Good on. News, I escaped the basement and your crappy code. Bad news, this poly Bezos guy took me to a barn. He has blood in his eyes. No, that sounds about right. Okay, how do you make a list? How do you turn... How do you start a list with a string in it? Back list. How do I how do I make a list out of a string? So I have shit to add into the back, which is a string. Um, and then I do okay, so I do this. So I make a, a list for no reason, also that now I can plus equals it into the back. And that that should work. Right? Now we get to plus equals. If you make a start keyword and end keyword, the user could stop an effect in the middle of the text and you could program it way easier. Yeah, I think it'll be easier for just like one keyword though. List equals stat join. No, I know, but this way we get plus equals, which is very pog. I'm pretty sure you can do... Okay, there's lots of better ways of doing this. I. I think assigning to the iteration variable word will not modify the entry in the list. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That definitely won't. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. It'd have to be like list of words and then like list of words. Why did I name this so long? Like, uh, you know, position of or whatever it is of word. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I need the... Mm. Oh yeah, oops. This is not correct. Uh, okay, how do we replace the fucking word? We could have a <laughs> um list of words words surely. No. Does chat always help you with code? Not normally. Well, I don't know, sometimes. For, usually for little things. I don't normally just do a fucking giant coding stream. You should be able to do text replace. Yeah? Will this work? Probably not, because this is an iter- this is a temp iter- variable. Mmm. Aren't the end tags in the wrong order? No, they'll be added in order. Yeah, that's a good idea. R Acra 738. 4i in range list list of words. Word equals list of words. I. So now I could just do... I mean... Then I do that, right? I mean, I'll just make this slightly easier for myself so it looks like real pr programming languages and not Python. Yeah? So, 4i in the range of... Wait, in range of length of this... Uh, yeah, this works fine, right? Yeah? And now we're saying the list of words is actually changed. Yes? Yeah? Maybe? Potentially? Probably? You're missing a question... Oh, right, right, right. Should work. Get your predictions in. Does this all work first try? You would have to add the ending tags in reverse order. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So we don't add them to the front. We add them to the... Wait, no. But Yeah, we're adding them to the front. Wait, does plus equals add it to the back or the front? Yeah, it needs... To Okay, adds it to the back. Shit, we can't use plus equals. Ah, okay. How do I add a thing to the front? <laughs> How do I add a thing to the front of the of the string? Yeah, or we could do... Okay, hold on. That looks good. List of words plus equals backlist minus one. <laughs> that, right? And that way we still get the plus equals. That, that that sounds like it probably is correct. Does anybody know if this? Does anybody know if that works? I don't know what colon colon negative one e means. 
If you make it a list, you can do append. But we need to add it to the front. Insert at position zero. That's cursed. This breaks with multiple highs. Well, no, for each high, it will replace it with the tag and add a tag to the end, right? It should read backwards. List equals new element plus list. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we can't use... Okay. I really wish I hadn't named it shit to add into the back. Um, equals... Okay, so we just add to the front like this, right? This is some, like, interview programming shit right here. Okay. <laughs> this is so messy looking. I'm sure there's a much cleaner way of doing this, but whatever. I don't care. So... All right, <clears throat> let's just recap what's going on. I am positive this is going to work. Can we can, um, let's get a prediction. Does this work? 30 second prediction. I think a plus equals will fix it up easily. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to do a list of words, plus equals, and then nothing. And then text equals list of words. How do I turn this into a string? Like this? Strength? Probably like that. Okay, so we get the text. We break into a list of words. We also have a second string called shit to add into the back. For each word in the list of words, we check that word. We say, is it the word high? If so, we replace it with prosody pitch high. And then also for shit to add into the back, we put the prosody end tag at the beginning of that. At the end of looping through the list, the back list now is a list of shit to add into the back, which is completely pointless and is only there so that we can do plus equals into the list of words, and then we plus equals a nothing, and then we turn that into a string. <laughs> it should be extend, not plus equals. No, no, we gotta use plus equals. Okay, does it work? Oh, it... Okay, it appended... It didn't string it. Hold on. Sorry, believers. Okay, this doesn't seem to work. It's still in a big list of shit. How do, how do I turn a list into a string? You might need to join. <laughs> you failed! This is... <laughs> Hold on, this might work. <laughs> this looks so messy. Okay, all right. So we have um, we have quotes dot join list of words. Maybe it'll work. If the ISIS might store your head chat. Oh wait, no, no, we need it. Hold on. Yeah, we do actually need that space. I thought that was a, a mistake on your guys's part. Hi, this is my test audio high chat. Okay, that seems like it. It works. So now we come in here, we refresh, um, I choose myself, I win, congratulations me, I drag this over, uh, test, I am speaking, potentially. Test, I am speaking. Okay. Hi, test, I am speaking. Test, I am speaking. Okay. Test, test, hi, test, test, hi. Test, 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 hi. Yeah, that worked, right? So we do test, 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 high. Yeah, that works. And now if we have multiple highs in here, high again, uh, go dog, 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 test, 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 high, high, go dog, dog, dog. It works. We did it. So now you can have multiple tags and it'll still work. It doesn't make it higher, but it works. No, it, it works. I mean, so look, in this case, it had two of the high tags, which just does the same thing. It said high twice. Well, I have high, I, I have high written in there. Hold on. It should say, <laughs> it should say test, 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 high, go dog, dog, dog. Test, 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 high, high, go dog, oh, dog, shit, dog. Oh shit, there are two highs. Why is the second high being hide? What? Why didn't that get replaced? Huh? What? When we went through the words, if it was high, it should have been replaced. Why wasn't it replaced? Huh? I think it's a skill issue. I mean, it is. This is not a pog moment. Because it's being turned into a string. The fuck? Why didn't that work? 
I think Amazon ignores the duplicate tag. Needs more plus equals. Um, uh, yeah, it might just be that it... Hold on. Yeah, we, we can test this without... Okay, so if I do... What's the higher tag? Uh, porosity, pitch, bam, and then we do porosity. Okay, so... So here's my text. Let's just test this. What? Oh, right, right, standard. Here's my text. Okay, so that was high pitched. Hi, my name is Joanna. Hi, Joanna. Here's my text. And then if I do the same thing, what happens? So if I like double, if I like group them together, right? If I if I nest them, what happens? So that Hi, my name is Joanna. Okay. Here's my text. That's fine. Here's my text. What? Wait, so why didn't it convert? What? I'm doing something stupid. Damn it, I'm dumb again. I'm a dumb idiot once again. For like for like three seconds, I was a really smart idiot. Now I'm back to a dumb idiot. It's nested, not at... Your code replaces the first one only. Yeah, why would it replace the first one only? Because it removed the second one. No, it didn't. Prosody text, prosody. Currently, you have prosody text, prosody text. It should still be replaced. Yeah, show the text output in the console. Um, let's do that. You failed. <laughs> Hi. Here is the starting text. And then we'll print text. And at the end, um, we will say... Same thing. Here is the end text. Okay, now we run it. Um, and we'll also run it with the, the test that I did. Um, this is a test high now it's higher that was a third high and if we run that this is a test now it's higher that was a third high so here's what it, here's what it converted to this is a test prosody pitch high now it's higher prosody pitch high that was a third high that it should work why is it Huh? I don't get it. It worked. So why did it... Why did it read... When we were testing it just now, why did it read high twice? This is a test. Now it's high. That was a third high. Yeah, that worked. Huh? Hold on. So now if we test it again with me... Doug Doug. Okay. Test, test. Higher. High. Now I'm higher... And now high is, and no third high. Test, test, now I'm higher and no third high. Wait, now it works. What? Why didn't it work that one time? You know why? You know why I think it wasn't working? Is because I had two Python windows open. So I think it was running the old code maybe. So the, so maybe I just had to like turn it off and turn it back on. Because now it just works. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I'm the best. I don't think I missed a space. I didn't change anything. I didn't change anything. Okay, so we have the higher tag working. So now you can put high in your in your message, and for the rest of the message, it will be higher pitched, which is pretty pog. Um, so now we need to do that same thing. This should be fairly quick now. We're going to do that same thing... Um, but for all of the other keywords. So let us do that, and I will play some chill coding music. 
Make a function. This is where you'd use a dictionary. Fuck dictionaries! I don't wanna! Using our gigantic, confusing list is way funnier. Okay. Now, this is really simple. Okay? We do this, and then we, we copy and paste it. Okay, this is simple. This is simple. Okay, I'm gonna pull this over here to my other monitor. Let's do this quick. Okay, the next keyword is deep. Deep is our next keyword. Then it's higher. Then it's deeper. Then it's drunk. Then it's loud. Then it's whisper. Do we name it breath breathing? What do you what do you want for breathing? What do you want? <laughs> what do we name it? What's the keyword? I don't want to call it asthma. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll call it asthma for right now. Uh, asthma is hard to spell too. I always forget get it wrong. A is it asthma or asthma? Asthma. Okay. Hello, Doug. Hello. Really appreciate the coding streams. As a real life programmer, seeing your code has made me pull my hair out so that I'm nearly as bored as you. <laughs> Thank you, dog. That's always the danger of watching my stream. At any moment, boom. You're bald now. Okay. Oh, this is so well written. Okay, so uh, proxy pitch low is there. Okay, that one's good. How dare you waste that coding degree, Doug? Give it to some nerd in chat who would use it well. <laughs> we can maybe for Rosa's birthday this year, one of the charity things will be like, I will sell you my college degree. That would be very hype. I have a Bachelor of Arts in computer science. You can have it. I don't even know if I have it. I don't think I have my diploma anywhere. I, I don't know where it would be. It's certainly not where I currently live. Maybe my parents got it or something, but... I will sell you the password to my LinkedIn. That would be sick. Okay. Uh, for drunk, we put on the emphasis level. That's what this is. Also, what does prosody mean? Does anybody know? I've never heard of that word before this. Hey, Doug, whose voice is the TTS voice that goes through donations? Uh, it's it's Geraint from Amazon Polly. He's Welsh. For, for PayPal donations, it's Russell, who's the Austri Australian guy. Okay, for drunk, we have emphasis level strong. For loud, we're doing prosody level. Uh, bam. And linguistics prosody is concerned with elements of speech that are not individual phonetic elements. But pro okay, okay, got it. That didn't really, yeah, that's too much. Prosody volume plus 60, and then the end is prosody. Jesus, okay, take the wheel. The whisper one. Um, uh, Kabangle, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I hope you're still here. Okay, whisper is this tag. And then at the end, do you use Chat do... GPT for your coding? Nope. It helped me out a lot if I was stuck or not sure. I use Chat for my coding. No GPT involved. Okay, and then this one we swap to the breathing one, and we end it with auto breaths. Okay. So, theoretically, you guys can now add asthma, whisper, loud, drunk, deeper, higher, deep, and high. And if you put that in parentheses into your message anywhere, for the rest of the message, it'll talk in that style. So let's fucking, let's fucking send it. I bet I did this first try. I mean, this is not actually complex. This is a so. test. Now it's higher. That was a third high. Okay. Um, here we go. I forget what the keyword is. Oh, yeah. This dog is good at 2D platformers. All right. Tox Carb. Um, everybody get, once you said dog is good at 2D platformers. I guess it's too late now, but there's this really sick Python library for GUIs called Texture. Yes. Got him. Fucking got me. No, no, no. Okay, you gotta add a, a, an effect. Did you, wait, did you add an effect?
Tux car, you need to add to yes. play directly oh, from Polystream instead of making an MP3 EA sound equals audio segment dot FR on underscore MP3 output audio stream. The, so the problem with that is, I believe you can only have one file playing at a time if you're still Use around. Use lots and lots of stack overflow. And, and we want them to be able to overlap, which is what VLC can do. I'm pretty sure, because most default libraries use... Um... Use Bing. like... <laughs> that was good. Wait, it seems like it's working. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pick me. They use Windows built-in thing. All right, so, hold on. We can do asthma. Oh, my God, so chat. Glad Mr. Maze decided to raid you when he was done streaming. It's always nice discovering new channels. I wonder how he discovered you. Oh, my God, chat. I can't breathe because Doug is so good at coding. Okay, that did not work. As uh, sorry everybody, the text to speech does not have asthma. Oh my god, Chad, I can't breathe because Doug is so good at coding. Okay, he can whisper though, and I hate it. Wait, why is the Oh shit, we gotta remove Oh damn it. Here it is, everyone. Doug is rubbing in his education compared to us. We're just gonna peasants. leave these in for right now. That's fine. We probably need to we probably want to remove them, right? From the visual. Like remove all the, the keyword shit. Whatever. Uh, what did I do? What did I do wrong for asthma? Why doesn't asthma work? Ignore the haters. I've done my entire coding career using only sublime text. There's dozens of us. <laughs> dozens! Why, why didn't asthma work? No commas in the me- Oh, wait. Oh, oh, you right, You can right. play the audio straight from Polly using PyWA. Sound equals audio segment dot FRM underscore MP3 output audio stream. Okay, I'll write that down to look into PyDub. You're still here. Uh, where's my list of things to do today? Hey, Doug, would you like to hang? Uh-oh, uh where Uh-oh, did I close it? Hang these nuts in your mouth. Fucking God. No, me. got you. Where- where's the file that I had of- Oh, it's over here. Hi, Dub. Cool. Programming lets you make more mistakes faster than any other invention in human history, with the possible exceptions of handguns and tequila. Sun Tzu. He did say that. Okay, now I've put some commas, so maybe he'll have asthma. Oh my god, chat. I can't breathe. Because Doug <laughs> is so good at coding. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I don't like the breathing. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't do it on every comma, but he does... <laughs> it's so dumb. Asthma. Holy shit. Did you guys see that Doug has a mask? Holy shit, did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? Oh, come on. Why didn't I get a breath before penis? The breaths are really random. Holy shit, did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? <laughs> okay, he paused, but I don't know. I don't know how to make him breathe more. You put a comma there. I know, I was trying to have him breathe before penis. I mean, maybe if I do like a... Like a, an ellipse. A lot of periods. Holy shit, did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? He still doesn't want to... Try doing a comma after every word. Okay. Holy shit, did you guys see <laughs> that Doug has a massive penis? penis all i want him to do all i want is for people to breathe before talking about my penis that's all i want add multiple commas i don't think i don't think it's gonna do anything i added a hundred periods it didn't do shit holy shit did you guys see that Doug why did he breathe there a massive penis did the slashes work as a pause oh that's an interesting yeah or will he just say backslash holy shit did you Guys, see that Doug has a massive slash back slash penis. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 that didn't, that didn't quite work. Dude, this is pretty dope though. Okay, hold on. What else do I have to check? Put spaces in between the slashes. I mean, I don't think it's going to work. And we can test out some of the other things. Holy shit, did you guys see that 
Doug has a massive penis. <laughs> no, it just waits. Okay. Um, so that is that seems fine. Uh, breathing doesn't breathe that much, but it seems okay. Try pee pee hose instead of penis. No, we're moving on. Um, Doug. Okay. What what other ones do we have to test? What are the other keywords? Um, okay, so we've done breath. We've done whisper. Let me just make sure whisper works. Holy shit! Did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? Okay, I hate it. Um, I really do not like the whispering sounds. And then we have loud. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> I could just put, <laughs> I could put the word loud just before penis. Holy shit! Did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? That didn't sound louder. I don't know if the, the loud is not that loud. I wish we could make it like way louder. Holy shit, did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? It doesn't it doesn't seem like it, like it's doing anything. Yeah, combining the keywords does work. So here, let's do drunk. Do loud loud. That's not going to do anything cuz it caps. Holy shit, did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? Um so Cool. Drunk works. So now if we do drunk and breath, let's see what it sounds like. Breath. Holy shit, did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? Why would it why why wouldn't breath have been changed? Oh, oh, because it's as <laughs> right, right. It's asthma, not breath. Sorry. <laughs> it's very obvious. Holy shit, did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? Okay, they're supposed to combine. Yeah, I'm using auto breath, so it's going to pick when to breathe. Um, look, hold on, let me try with a different one. Let me do drunk and uh, whisper. Because we should be able to combine them. Oh, there's no commas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Holy shit. Did you guys see? Holy shit. Did you guys see that Doug <laughs> has a massive penis? The breaths are so stupid. <laughs> okay, so you can definitely you can definitely combine them, and if you have commas, you're more likely to get a breath in. I mean, we could do we could do manual breaths potentially. So breath just it might work. I think it, I think manual breaths are probably going to work better because that way you guys can put in breaths wherever you want. So wait, hold on. We can we can do this. Asthma is the keyword for just auto, so it'll auto put in breaths. But then if you want, if you want, if you want to, a specific breath, you could just put breath somewhere, and that should work. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Okay, all right. Let's add that in real quick. Hold on. Breath. Okay, we'll just do this one. How long should the duration be? Long? Extra long? <laughs> Hold on, let's test it really fast. Um, so this would be, let's do, let's do our boy, our Welsh boy. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Okay, if, so the volume we do, how long is it? Or how do, what do I put? X long. X long. Okay, so that was medium. Let's do X long. In fact, we'll do a medium one too. Alright, so these are what the breaths would sound like. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Okay, the, the long one's too long. It's It's uncomfortable. That's an uncomfortably long breath, right? I think we do medium. Or may, at most we do long. Like it's too, that's too long. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Hi, my name <laughs> is Joe Amna. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. The medium one sounds way better. The, no, the, the, are you not hearing? The extra long one is, hold on. I'll put it right before Joanna. That'll be easier to tell. Okay. Listen to the difference between this. I'll put the short, I'll put the short one first so you can hear. Oh, and then we'll do, and then we'll do a long one. So here are three lengths that we might that we could go with: medium, long, and then extra long for breath length. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. Hi, my name is Joe Amna. 
<laughs> and my we, name is Joe Emnett. We can't do extra long. It's so long. It's so awkwardly long, dude. <laughs> I think we do long. My vote is long. Long breath. Quick poll. How long breathe? <laughs> Medium, long, extra long. The extra long is too awkward. It's too awkwardly long. <laughs> it's going to be so awkward. <laughs> Are you going to embarrass Joanna? I pounded sand once, but my wife found out and asked for a divers. <laughs> for a divers? Okay, we're going to do extra long. We can always change that later. <sighs> okay. Hey, Doug. Python is a genus of constricting snakes in the Pythonidae family native to the tropics and subtropics of the Eastern Hemisphere. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to do if... Um... Hey Doug, can you please explain pointers mister I have a computer science degree. My <laughs> final is due and I need code to steal ASAP. I... Pointers point to an address and then you need to... I forget what it's called when you use the hey pointer Doug, or just heard resolve a strange it or whatever. Noise in my basement. Know anything about it? I think Twitch chat's uh, eating dinner. Dereferencing? Yeah. I, there was a point where I was actually pretty competent at them at C++, but not a fan. It's very hard. Okay, now we should be able to add breaths. I didn't even test everything else. Oh, hold on, let me do that. Okay. So it just froze this time. Fix user underscore in it. You are accidentally setting it in a sync. I think that's fixed now. I think the alerts are just really far behind. What am I doing? Wait, did I fuck up? I feel like this is fine. Wrong breath. You're right. That's completely wrong. You can play the audio stream straight from Poly using PyDub. Just set the Poly output audio stream as the MP3 input. Oh, uh, I did write that down to look into. Sorry that you, uh... You sent that a couple times. I've just had I the alerts. I come from the glorious programming tradition of jam the thing into the other thing. So this I is a test. Now it's high. That was a third out. high. The glorious programming transition. All right, um, Doug. Doug, I am the chosen user. Um, can Will I get this a, be going on YouTube? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, now I should be able to put a breath right before penis. And we will hear if the Texas beach is shocked by my penis. Okay, he didn't say anything. I think that's because my Texas beach was off. Don't worry about that. Doug, we can't give up on Piglet now. We've come so far together. Holy shit, Remember the alerts the are so of behind. Bridge or the great caves of Lamb, <laughs> Piglet wouldn't abandon us, and we shouldn't abandon it. Oh god, the alerts are like three hours behind. Sorry. Don't give me money. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if this works. Real fans remember Piglet. We must go back. No. Um, so this should be drunk and have asthma, and it should take a breath. Holy shit, did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? <laughs> it works. It works. Holy shit. Did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? We've done something important today, guys. Oh, did we test the other ones?
Uh, we need high, deep, deeper. Hold on. High. Holy shit. Did you guys see that Doug has a <laughs> massive I penis? I hate the breathing. Holy shit. Did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? Okay, now we have higher. Holy shit. Did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? Holy shit. Did you guys see that Doug has a massive penis? Cool. It works. So now when you guys say things, you can add in the keywords and it'll make funny noises. <laughs> we did it. Okay. Um. Think of the funniest thing that you can think of with the tags, okay? Come up with something really good. Come up with something really great. And then the keyword is going to be... I have something great. If you type that in... This is a test. Now it's higher. That was a third high. Where are you guys? Okay. Now we can pick a person. <clears throat> Pause champ, what is your very hilarious, incredible thing? I cannot wait. Here we go. Lots gonna. Lungs. <laughs> I I meant like use one of the effects. I meant something funny that uses one of the effects. <laughs> Thank you for the lungs. Catalyst. What do you got? Um. <laughs> okay, you just breathe. You're very nervous. Evelta, what do you got? <laughs> okay, the, breath the breathing is very funny. I will admit. Evelta? Got anything for us? You're putting us on the spot. That's why I made the keyword, I have something great. So that you- Breath, breath, breath. Oh, it was all one word. You gotta have spaces. That got that got categorized as one word, which was not breath. Try, try that again with just spaces in between. And you should just breathe at me three times. Did we fix that? Nah, let's not worry about that. People are just gonna have to remember to put spaces. Sorry. I'm gonna put the onus on you guys to remember to say things. Okay. Moving on, you have it almost there. Are you okay? Oh, dog. <laughs> okay, there we go. That was great. Proud of you. Um, okay, cool. Well, now you guys can say messages and with funny keywords. I wonder how often is this thing? Gonna... Real talk, you are a great guy. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Rick Sazan, I appreciate it. Song, that was very meaningful. It, it definitely comes off as more genuine when you're taking deep, throaty breaths and changing your pitch constantly. <laughs> Rinkia. So the keywords are, again... Um... And breath. The keywords you have are high, deep, higher, deeper, Drunk, loud, whisper, asthma, and breath. Loud didn't really say. Hey, how do you know about Twitch Prime? <laughs> That's great. You guys can just pitch Twitch Prime for me. The breathing, okay, the breathing is really funny. Ego Dearth. So, mm, do I want to remove all the tokens before we display them? Probably. Probably we do that. That shouldn't be that hard, right? Is there like a quick way? Oh yeah, because we could just replace them, right? We just have a couple lines that's like, you think I should leave them in? So basically what I'm saying is like, so when Ego Dearth's message comes in, do we want to have the like drunk and high and whisper and breath? 
leave them in. They just look kind of stupid is the problem. It would be easy to take them <laughs> I guess it would be a little confusing to not see that and instead it's just live you Dug Dug in a really weird way. It's funnier if you don't see them coming. It is, yeah, both, both of them have merits. I could honestly see it being pretty funny to leave in the breathing. Same luck, UA evil. Leave them in, take them. I'm actually curious. What do you guys think? Leave them in, take them out. Should be pretty, pretty easy to take them out. It'll help new viewers. Oh, it would, yeah, that's the thing. It would help people, like, see how it works, you know. It'd be way easier for people to, I'll leave them in for now. At least while, while we, you know, get used to it and whatnot. Um, that, that, is, that is a pretty legitimate uh, value for it. Because if somebody comes in and didn't see all this context, they're not going to fucking know that if you put drunk, it <laughs> makes it drunk. They're going to be like, why did that text, why did that sound so weird just now? Keep it in now and remove it later. Yeah, we, we, can, we can remove them later pretty easily. PV Tanima. All right, we'll do one more. And then what do I what do I have next? What's next on the I don't know if we're going to get to coding today or uh, Please don't pick me. Please. Please don't pick me. <laughs> That's cr Man, you really do sound like you're being hunted down and um and kidnapped into my basement. Truly terrifying. Funferno, what do you got? Okay, so we added in all the whispering and funny SSML things. That was a big one. Oh, the toggle audio filter on and off this one could be really easy it could be really hard so we're kind of getting there so again if you've come in recently the point of today is to get uh. <laughs> thank you you, you guys we really like the breaths it feels like diva zoe so the point of today is that we're gonna i want to get so that i can have two characters on screen um one of them each of them represents a viewer right so that your messages are being read out loud um, and then, so we've, we, we have most of this set up, right? I have the code so that it picks a viewer, their messages are shown and read out loud. We now have the ability for you to, uh, Pog. Pog indeed. We now have the ability for you to add in goofy sound effects, like breathing and talking loud. Um, so there's two, <laughs> so there's two more <laughs> So there's two more things to do today before the app is ready to go. Um, the first is I want to have it so that when you're talking, this is going to be kind of a mess, so that when you're talking, it tells OBS to turn on the audio filter that makes the thing move. So hold on. Let's do this. If I go... Um, I need to unpause the alert so we can get through some of these alerts. Here, in the meantime, um, we'll get a new winner. Big boy Ronald. Congratulations, you win. Hi, Doug. I'm looking at a computer science degree and I'm a little unsure. Do you have any tips? If there were some subjects I should study before I start my first year to grab a head start, what would they be? Thank you. Um, I, I Is again, I just not truly don't know. Other than I've put... Oh god, these messages are so far behind. Sorry if you sorry if you donated to try to help me out. It's just very, very hard to program with text to speech going off, so I've had the alerts paused like almost all day. Sorry about that. Um So, as you can see now, I have an OBS filter. Hello. That when you guys talk, the boy is gonna move, Mark right? The contents of stream into a byte sio instead of file. I'll worry about the MP3 playing stuff later. I know there's a better way to do it. So in this, so I can have it easily set up so that when you guys talk- I donated the answer, but it got censored by TTS. You can use something else much easier. Fair enough. Uh, you can always email me and I will I will read that um, if you have suggestions for stuff to look into. So I have the filter that will make the, the guy move, right? The challenge is if we have two people, right? If we have two characters on screen, then I need to have two filters that each filter moves one of the two and only have that on if a user who hey, represents hey, 
When are we getting a motivational channel point reward? We want to cheer you on like that clam harvesting water man. <laughs> yeah, that is a good- we do need a motivational. That's a good idea. I'll think about that. Um... If you can't react, try using Time Relief instead. Got him. I don't get that one. Thanks, Taro. Monster Metroid, you won. So, what I'm gonna do is figure out how to use Don't OBS. It says streaming is false, but you are streaming. You're lying to your code. Make this a moment. What, what do you mean? Oh, that's some Twitch feature, right? Okay, the deeper voice is terrifying. I don't like Silly it. Silly Doug, as put as the file open in right night, you have to open the yes. file in read mode. Oh, well, whatever. This is all- this is all from three hours ago when we were solving Piglet. Or like, two Doug, hours ago. I thought you were a teacher. Teacher Spiglet. Man, the alerts are so far behind. Holy shit. Okay. I'm Doug, slowing down why do you look so different in that picture? Is that your doppelganger? I look fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I look like a young, healthy man. Alright. Who's a little malnourished. Like, low iron. It's probably the camera. Okay. Um. So, what I want to do... Twitch moments. Breathe is a great feature. Two voices at the same time would be alright, but they must be different from each other. <laughs> this is terrifying. Can you send that one again? That was cool. If you just type... Monster, if you just tap up in the, in the Twitch window... It'll just do your previous message. You tap the up arrow key. It'll show your previous one. Twitch moments. Breathe is a great feature. <laughs> okay, well, you typed breathe. <laughs> it's breath. It's breath. Okay. Swapping between high and low pitch and breathing is definitely the funniest. That's definitely the funniest. Oh, God. Now a shitload of you guys are going to start spamming more often. That was not some, like, secret to be able to spam more. That's just, like, a, it's like a common chat thing. You can do that, you know, in, in a console or whatever. Um, okay, cool. Geo 2 saw. What I have to do is we're going to use OBS WebSockets code. I am starting to regret adding this feature into the text of speech. We might need to remove everything we just added. Okay. That'll be fine. Um, <laughs> oh, the laughter is making the pepper. <laughs> okay. All right. Listen up. Here's how this works. We got to, um, yeah, now it looks like the pepper's laughing at me. <laughs> I don't like that. So I have an audio source that's muted, which is the same audio track that the text to speech is coming in on. There's an audio filter on this called audio move, which is going to be hooked up to this pepper. <laughs> so you can see it's moving now. If I mute it, it stops. If I turn it back on, it moves, right? So what we need to do is in the text to speech function, when the text starts, when, when the text starts playing, we turn this <laughs> filter on and when it stops, we turn it off and then <laughs> what we can do is have two separate filters that only make the little things move. And then those turn on and off depending on which user is currently talking. Boom. Got it. Okay. So uh, we're going to have to look for um, audio. I'll rename this to chat God to make it easier. And it, I don't know how easy this will be to do. I will let the alerts unpause. This is not going to be very exciting programming, but just pretend it's really cool and uh, pog. I'll play hype music to make it seem more interesting. Okay. So here's what happens. In the text-to-speech, before we play the media, 
Doug, I believe in you, but you should give up. Before we play our media, we have to turn on the web sockets. Turn on the audio move I just filter. Joined. Why are we talking about bear factories? After it's done, we turn off the audio move filter. Shit, VLC might hey, be in its own thread. You have inspired me to give up programming and beg for money instead. Thank you. I am now selling my degree. If anyone wants it, I'll be sleeping outside 7-Eleven. <laughs> Thank you. Um... Will this VOD go on Doug 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 Doug? Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. when will you create Doug 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 and Doug 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 Doug? Somebody already made Doug 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 Doug. Some person is uploading like three second clips for Doug 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 Doug. The best way to learn coding is by constantly using Stack Overflow. That is true. Okay, so now we come over to this time that I actually did this. We copy it. Here's three dollars to let you know I think multiple TTS going at once may not be a good idea. But I'm also nobody. Yeah, I won't have both but going on. I'm also on. nobody. As the How did you do that? That's crazy. The overlapping voices would be, it would suck for people like me with auditory processing issues. Multiple voices plus you plus game audio sounds like an incoherent nightmare. I can barely understand normal TTS without reading it. Doug, for the yeah, love I mean, of God, I'm in that boat too. file extensions in your file explorer. Do you want to be sent a file called image.jpg.x? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I should probably do that. Um, instead, though, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because I'm I can't multitask. Okay. So we turn on the audio move filter. So we connect to OBS WebSockets, which is a plugin that allows us to connect to Great. OBS. And then we connect, and then we got a call, a request to turn on the filter. This is the part I don't know how to do. Theoretically, I will figure this out in three seconds, and we'll, we will be fine, and we will go home, and everybody wins. However, that might not happen. So let's see. I think I wrote it somewhere. Shit, I didn't. Hold on. I got to look for it. I found the documentation somewhere, but it's very confusing. Hey Daniel, Jack Python here. Just wanted to thank you for spreading the word about programming. Now please stop or I will send a cease and desist. Thanks. Okay, okay. It is time. It is time for the coolest part of today. Um, looking into documentation. Okay, this is the most fun part of programming for people who've never programmed. Here is a file that is this big. And one of the things in there will be the correct one. <laughs> Let's dig in. So one of those is going to allow us to connect to my OBS and turn this filter on and off. And we have to figure out which one it is. Let's go. Okay. Um, filter? Source filter added. Source filter removed. Source filter. No, these probably aren't. Get sort. What is this? We're in sources. Where? Where? Hold on. Where are we? This is requests. Requests. I think is correct. Okay. Get source filters. Get source filter info. No. Add filter to source. No. We want to toggle it on and off. Remove filter. No. Reorder source filter. No. Move source filter. No. Set source. Set source filter visibility. That sounds legit. That could be it. Change the visibility enabled state of a filter. Okay, you give the source name, the filter name, and whether it's enabled. That seems Hi, straightforward. Doug. How do you? I do. 
Uh, this song is Buggy Beats from Rez, for the person who asked. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Do Websockets.call requests set text GDI properties plus. This is the other one I did. So set source visibility, filter visibility. And now we just paste that in. And then the source name. What the fuck is source? Okay, hold on. That's more snot braille, Doug. Okay, source name. Rename is... Uh, wait, wait. The source name is... Doug Doug Purple Logo. The... Uh, the filter name... God damn, hold on. The filter name... Wait. Exclamation mark sock, am I doing this right? Maybe this works? The filter name is... Uh, audio move chat god. I was about to say something, Douglas, of some patience. Why didn't that copy? Hello? Oh, yes? And the visibility for filter enabled should be equal true. I mean, maybe that'll work. <laughs> what, what do you hey, think? guy took uh, your recommendations to watch Germa and he is now one of my favorites. But this means you have been demoted to 45th favorite streamer. Congrats. And then, if, and then at, at the end of it, we turn it off. False. Hey, Doug, try using Tailwinks. It's Maybe a great source library name, yeah. stack that makes styling so much easier. My life changed once my friend told me about that. I sent you an email about it too. Okay, I'll check it out. I'm trying to do as little We're CSS as Doug possible. Doug when he's programming. Okay, so... What? Why are you complaining? Can I stab someone in line to get to increase my chances to get picked? No. Don't stab any other people in the line. Why why isn't it happy? Remove the parentheses after. Oh, that's why I'm done. Wait. I can't believe I've been subbed for seven months. Use the money to buy us all pizza, I beg of you. <laughs> Thank you, Glue. Uh, and now, back here. There we go. Okay. How about Hop Hop Pop? I think this works? Alright, um, let's get a prediction. <laughs> um, prediction... Hey, chat. I'm bored, so here's a Steam key for a Smurfs game. 60 B L Z W K F V C. Oh, dude, somebody's got to grab that. Okay, it's not letting me make a prediction anymore. If a mod is able to, uh, 30 seconds. Hey, that's so stream idea coding, but every time you say like, you must change the way you achieve the effect of a line of code. Jesus. Never. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have this thing off. Why is Z crew winning in the image? Is this battle rigged? It's not rigged. Um, so if the if the filter's off, the boy will not move. And the question is, if is it only going to be on during text to speech? Hi Dangita. I listened to your stream on my hour plus drive to my brother's place. Your catch to your try catch clause should sound the laundry alarm or we woo so we know things went wrong. Okay, that is very funny. That's a very funny idea. Remind me to do that later. Okay, so now we run the app. It's working perfectly. It froze. It's not working. Maybe I'll run it again. It'll work this time. This is a test. Now it's, it's higher. Okay, it That did. was a third high. Okay, so now we restart here. Um, I'm going to choose myself as the viewer. This I was sent at 5.21 p.m. Central Time. Oh, 
my god. The alerts are literally two, over two hours delayed. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hi, I'm dog. Going them dog. Hi, I'm dog. Hi, I'm dog. Okay. So, um. Hi, I'm Doug. Okay. Um. Hi, my name is Joanna. Spork. 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 Wait, it's not working. Shit. Because this should be turning on and off. It should be off now, and then it should turn on when I talk. Hi, I'm dog. Dog, dog, dog. Hi, I'm dog, 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 dog. Uh-oh. The source name is wrong? What is wrong about it? I'm matching the docs correctly. So it didn't work. Sorry, believers. Um, what am I doing wrong here? Name, source name. Doug, have you seen Eleven Labs Eye? Apparently you feed it a voice and it does TTS. I wonder if it works with Doug's voice. I have not. I want to try something, stuff like that at some point. Um, why no work? I don't get it. It needs the name of the source the filter is applied to. But that that's what I have. So here, look. In OBS, uh, in OBS I have this, I have this source called, oh, that's why. <laughs> it's, okay. Hold Jesus, on. take the wheel. All right, hold on, hold on. Wait. Most might, if you're still around. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. I was trying on the wrong source. It's not this source, Doug, it's this don't source. Don't let Joanna get any bigger or they are going to pop. <laughs> okay. Maybe this will work. So I had the, I was doing the wrong No, it's not a refund. I got it wrong. That was what the bet was. Um so now we run the app again. It's not going to freeze this time at the beginning. This is a test. Now it's higher. That was a third high. Okay, I'm going to stop having it say that every time. Doug, you look how you good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, this will be the new this will be the new starting text when it when it kicks off. Let's get ready. Oh, wait, wait, no, it should be deep. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So it starts off, and then we come in here. I Doug, do you use refresh. Windows plus V? Uh, Windows plus Rumble. V. Okay, Lamp Loving Moth got some rumble in there. Congratulations. I win. I'm the greatest. Uh, hello, me. Hello, me. Okay. Hello, breath, me. Hello, me. Okay, bad news. The filter's not turning on and off. Filter. So we should see this thing toggle on and off when I send a message. Hello, oh, me. It did. It did. Do you see it? It did. That means I kind of got it. Hello, me. Okay, that's a solvable problem. So what's going on here? Oh, shit. I was hoping this would be slightly easier. So, ugh. The code. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, my brain's starting to fry a little bit. Um, we, this block of code connects to OBS, right? So it says OBS WebSocket, and I'm, I'm going to connect with the host, the port, and the password, right? So it connects to, to OBS, my streaming software, right? Um, and then it says, okay, hey, we're going to try to call this function. Amazon, can you grab a box of Fruit Loops for chat? No. <laughs> we're hungry in the basement. No, I'm spending too much money on Amazon Poly. Uh, and then it says, hey, WebSockets, set the source visibility of the line in source with the audio move chat god filter and set it to true. Um, so that worked, right? It set, it set it to true and we saw the thing enable and actually turn on here. So that's correct. Then it goes to play media. The play media is the text-to-speech portion where it actually plays the file. Unfortunately, and then, so basically, it, it wants to go over, play the MP3 file out loud, and then come back and turn the thing off, right? 
The problem is that if we go to the play media um, function, it uses VLC and that's an asynchronous call. So that will go on a different thread and start doing its own thing and it will the function will immediately return instead of waiting until the thing is done. Fuck. So what do I do? Sounds like a certified sleep moment. I mean, we could just, but we don't know how long to sleep for. I wish this wasn't asynchronous. I thought it would like, the thread would pause. Um, oh, can I just await? Is that how it works in Python? Can I just do this? Can you do, can you just do that? That's it? Oh, dude, that's sick. Okay, wait. So me, oh, dude, we're gonna fucking nail this. All right, mods, the 30 second prediction. Does this work? It's just totally gonna fucking work, probably. Okay, it literally is not even opening. <laughs> ah, shit, I don't think a wait works. Did I do it wrong? You need async before the, oh. Hold on. Okay, there. Okay, it's turning on. Except now there's no audio playing. Okay, now it's not playing anything. Uh, probably just cancel the reef, the prediction. I don't, I'm not clear what's going on. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I can make, oh yeah, so I make this function, uh, um, asynchronous, and then when I call it, we're doing await. Okay, new prediction, right here. Does this work? It has to completely work. If it crashes, Nothing. It all right. If it crashes, then then the doubters win. Okay, this has to completely work. It has to. The filter has to turn on when you guys start talking and turn off when it doesn't, and also not crash. You need both awaits. I don't think I do. Wouldn't both need to be an await? Do I? You think so? Await. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how this, I don't know how, like, asynchronous stuff works in Python, or even really in general. The whole stack needs to be awaited. Oh, okay. We can't change it again. Okay, well, yeah, I guess we have to refund. All right, whatever. Sorry, we'll refund the predictions again. It doesn't even open. <laughs> Why can't I do this? Oh, so then this has to be asynchronous. Wait, this isn't an async function, though. I guess it can be. Okay, so now we make this asynchronous. Maybe? Nope. Nope, that's not working. It's saying, runtime warning, enable trace malloc to get the object allocation run back. Um, just malloc the memory. I don't want to. You can use sleep.p.getLength. You can do that? That'd be way easier. Wait, hold on. If output is an mp3 file, can I- you can just get the length of it? I can just sleep? Like that? Can you do that with an mp3 file? You can just be like, hey, get the length and just sleep? I don't think you can do that. Oh, why not? No way that works. I don't know about that one. Well, you're all gonna look pretty fucking dumb in three seconds. Shit, okay, I crashed. Oh, I didn't put time dot sleep. Well, you're gonna look pretty fucking dumb in about three seconds when this works. Okay, I crashed. <clears throat> what? Why can't I sleep? Huh? Oh, wait, now it's fine. No, it crashed again. It would be get length if anything noob. <laughs> Isn't output a string? Oh, yeah. <laughs> S 
sleep and play media. Yeah, I mean, we should just do it there. So we have a f file. So basically we want to, I get the timeout thing. Oh, this doesn't even work. Um, so it would be like how to get length of MP3 file in Python, maybe? Oh, Jesus. You can use mutagen to get the length of the song. I mean, should we use mutagen or am I missing something that's simple? You can get it from VLC. Oh, does VLC have a length? That would be great. Um, okay, Python VLC. Uh, Python VLC documentation. If we're going to documentation. I don't want to read a text file. No, no, no. I don't want to. Oh, no. I don't want to. I don't like this. Oh, no, no, no. How do we? There's got to be a way VLC has to have a. Okay, let's just start clicking around. Maybe things will work. Uh, Python VLC module documentation. That's got to have stuff. Player dot get length. Okay, okay, we can do that. Um, so player is so we go time dot sleep time dot sleep VLC no P dot get length. Maybe that'll work. Let's go, run it. No. Wait. Oh, right, right. Now you're not supposed to be asynchronous anymore. Okay. It just stopped. It just didn't do anything. No, oh, it crashed. Oh, okay, it's crashing all the time. Everybody's saying a thousand. What do you mean? What are, what are you talking about? You should give us pop quiz to see if we were paying attention. Okay, here's my pop quiz. What am I doing wrong? Duration equals... Well, clearly it's crashing, so clearly I'm doing something wrong. You probably broke it with all those asyncs. Well, those are all gone now. Um, there's no piglet. Yeah, that's true. You turn a file? I feel I mean we're just like guessing. I feel like it's not gonna work. This doesn't even seem like the same module. I don't know. Yeah, it keeps crashing. You just subbed for three years. That's a sixty dollars value. So much. All for only fourteen ninety nine. I appreciate, it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the code from Viola. This is I, the code from ChatGPT. You tested and it works. Okay, let's run it. Media equals VLC media. Oh, okay, media parse.
she sounds like Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle. Still crashing. Did I? What did I do wrong? Let me pull a power shell. A sync be like, let that sink in. Got him. I had 62 still says media. Oh. Oh, I'm dumb. Wait, wait, it won't let me parse. I don't I don't think this is correct. Damn it, I tried to run it in PowerShell and immediately froze. Listen to Darknut. Darknut, what did you say? Um, while player gets state... Oh, shit. Yeah. Do a long chain of just breaths to see how it sounds. <laughs> okay, maybe this will work. No, dude. What did, did I leave an ace? Did I leave an await somewhere? What did I do? Also, what is all this shit? Maybe. It started to say a thing, and then it crashed. That's a good sign. We're made, that's what I call progress. Hmm. Please use PyCharm. Yeah, I mean, I should use an actual ID. I'm just lazy. Hey, Doug. How are you doing? Asking for a friend. Uh, good. This thing is annoying. I want to fix it. Python Limited. Time is not defined. Did I not import time? What? First he took our oxygen and now taking our breath away. I didn't import time? I didn't have, I didn't have time this entire... Jesus, okay. Um, all right, maybe things work now and everything is good. Let's get ready to rumble. I think we're good. Okay, so now the test is when the app, when, uh, Doug, Doug, when I'm talking, we should see this enable and then disable right here. Okay, Doug, here we go. Fuck. Okay, Doug, here we go. Okay, Doug, here we go. Why isn't it sleeping? What? It turns on for like a second, but it's not waiting. It's supposed to, like, just chill out for a while. It's still async. But... I guess, I uh, yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't do the thing. Get state doesn't use the file, Dad, it uses I the player got Peggle after watching your latest speedrunning stream. Thanks for introducing me to such a great game. Hey, you're welcome. Peggle is awesome. You're sleeping the wrong thread. But play media is not an async function. I mean, I can move it, but, I, you know, and again, I'm not, I'm like really was never good at all at um, multi-threaded stuff. It always confused me. No, I won't even have access to the player state out here. That, no, that's not the case. I mean, this, this is the only function where we have it, right? I'm not sleeping the wrong thread. Python is fun, in it? Uh, it's okay. Can you turn it off when you delete the VLC file? I mean, the file is a temp file. It, My it's name deleted. is Jordan Long. 
Um, try this again. But this didn't work last time. This just crashed. I guess I didn't have sleep, so maybe that's why it was crashing. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay. Hold on, wait, I can just do this on the test. Like, I don't need to start up the whole thing. Alright, so look here, see if it turns on and off. Damn it. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, well, it's clearly not staying on. Let's get ready to. Yeah, it's still it's still rumble. not pausing. Um. Play runs in a separate thread. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I get that the yeah. So we need to wait. We just need to we need to get the length of the file. There's got to be some way to get the length of an MP3 file, right? And then we can just wait. Um, uh, how do you get the length? We, there's got to be a way to get the length of an MP3 file. If we do that, then it's fine. It's a little janky. There's probably another. Um, the program isn't waiting for the function to finish. It should because play media is not being called asynchronously. Just try waiting one sec. I mean, if I wait a second. Um, just a stranger 49. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. That is a bunch. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Take the wheel. Return the P dot get length and call the wait in the other function. I mean, so if I wait here, are we okay? Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. So this is being held and then it'll turn off in like two seconds. All the what? Yeah. Why didn't it work? And huh? What's going on? I don't understand. Are really helping me to feel less of my imposter syndrome. I mean, I could return... I could return, I guess I could return the fucking, the, the number, the, the length, is that what you're saying? So, like, when we're in, uh, oh my god, I'm getting so lost. So you're saying we would, after playing it, we return p.getLength? So we're, like, we shove back the length of the mp3 file, and then down here, we're like, alright, we got it, and then we sleep the an time left. Coding. What do you do? Draw the bits and bytes on an oil canvas. <laughs> yeah, it's so dumb. Something like that. Yeah, player.getLength should work. I mean, let's see. Uh, print. The time left is... And then... Now it's crashing. I, I don't, I'm not sure that that is actually working. Oh, is it like this? Huh? Hello, oh. Douglas. Douglas, are you Goober or Goobin? What are you? What are you saying? Let's get ready to rumble. So it's giving me a length of zero. It's saying the length of the um it's saying the length of the MP3 file is zero. Dug are we your rubber deck slash asthma. <laughs> You're not my asthma. Um I think I, I just do that other weird thing. Th this seems to be having issues. I think we can use uh what was it called? Like magmum shell? Oh, there's also a shitload of Python things open. What was this one? Um, mutagen. We can just use mutagen. We can just say fuck it and use mutagen. Is there is there anybody opposed to using mutagen? This for some reason just like wiped out all my energy. So now I just want something simple. There's a function for this, import mprint. F F M P E G. Do I need to pip that? This donation is to help increase the TTS delay. <laughs> okay, thank you.
Oh, oops. Do I have to install FFMPEG? I don't know what that is. I'll just do the mutagen one. That's fine. Uh, we probably need to install mutagen. Oh, I'm dumb. All right, we've we've put mutagen into my computer. Who knows what it does? But mutagen is now in the computer. Uh, now we import it up here. Okay, now we'll just we'll do it over here. What are we doing? All right, so we play the media. Now we go bam, bam, bam. Where's mutagen? Now we go like this. Length is okay. Let's try that. Maybe it'll do a thing. Let's get ready to. Okay, that's it. Rumble. That's it. It gives us the length. Mutagen works. We crammed a mutagen into my computer and it tells me the length is 2.27 seconds. That's easy. So now we just fucking sleep hey, for that long. Doug, I am still stuck in the basement and I have yet to receive my daily supply of oxygen. I'm just sending this message to remind you. Thanks. Ugh. Okay. I'm calling it. That's it. That's what we need. We're done. We're done. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay. We should see this right here. This filter. It should turn on when the when the text starts talking and turn off when it stops. I'm playing the victory music. This is it. We're done. Let's get ready to rumble. And then it's off. Kind of dope. We probably add a little bit of time so that the thing has. Be like, we add like three seconds or, or 0.3 seconds, something like that, so that it has time to come back down. Uh, but that fucking worked. That fucking worked. Try it again. Turn off the Python. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. So now he comes back down. Boom! All right, we're fucking good. Let's go. Congratulations! That's another Doug. one done. You did From it. The board. You're incredible, Great job, Doug. Doug. You're amazing. amazing. It was all me. That was so what an amazing. And He's I was definitely person. not He's entirely dependent wow. on you guys. Oh my god, you're incredible, Doug. Wow. Okay, wait. So that was correct because during that whole congratulations, Doug, the pepper was not moving, right? But now if we go here, if we go into the app. And we get we Where's get me. the game? What is happening? Hi, test, test. Hi, test, test. Okay, we should see it only move when my thing is talking. Why's up, chat? Sneeze at you. But if can somebody could I? Hey, Doug, what about? Check. It's not working. Yeah, see, it's not working for that TTS. And boom, it's not going to work for. Can I? Can I get a laugh track up in here? Uh, wait, hold on. Let me tell a joke. Hey, Doug, you are short. Help, Mister Wizard. I'm a huge asshole. Nobody likes me. Now you can act like an asshole, and everybody will love you. I did it. I did it. Okay. Uh -huh. He's still kind of like, hold on. Why is he still stopping? Uh -huh 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 -huh. There we go. Oh, you know what? I, you know what it needs? It needs a breath at the end. That's why. Uh -huh 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 -huh. <laughs> okay. We just need to make it breathe at the end. 
Um, all right. Let's let's test it. Smooper, congratulations, you win. What do you have to say for yourself? Okay, this is sweet, though. So now I can have specific elements on the screen that will move, but only when the relevant text-to-speech is going off and not when anything else is. That is really fucking cool. Okay. Play chess, you wuss. <laughs> you didn't breathe at me, so I won't. Uh, okay. Here is $25. Can I be the next person in tabs for a crew? I hope this is on time, BC. When I am sending this, it is 6.37. I don't think it's time. happening today. Frostwolf, thank you very much for the 2,000 bits, though. Hopefully you're still around. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Doug. You always talk about a crew and Z crew. What about think minority fast, people ass. like number crew? Stink is binkus. Number crew is part of Z crew. You need to stop casting them out. They're part of your wonderful, wonderful brethren. All right, I need to. Uh, my my energy's low. I need a ooh pow. Ooh pow! Oh my god, it's an honor. Congratulations, Stingus. We're all very proud of you. Does that mean punctuation crew is part of A crew? No, punctuation is also a part of Z crew. If you are not in the first half of the alphabet, you're in Z crew. <sighs> okay. Hey, Doug made a God of War edit and would love for you to check it out on stream. Um, I'm probably not going to do that malicious, but I hope the, the edit was fun. Okay. Hey Doug, glad to see you are finally learning from the main character, aka Thanks Twitch for the chat. stream, Turkey Tits. You're welcome, bro. I got you. Z Crew is very inclusive. Yeah. Z Crew is uh, is a diverse group of chatters. <laughs> the I, the breaths freak me out. I don't like it. I especially don't like it when I'm if I'm like. Doing if I have something else up and then people are just breathing at us. Now, Doug, I, I can't be the only know one. Anything about coding. Thank you, minor blackout. Um. Okay. Well, that's. I was. I was thinking if all this went really quick. We Can you say the word? <laughs> this seems. <laughs> oh god, I hate it. Okay, so we've actually done a bunch of shit today. Where, where's my progress bar? Okay, so now, boom, that's done too. I guess the only thing left is to expand this to two people. And then, I mean, we'll, I'll just do tabs on a different stream. Um, I don't think I will tomorrow, because I'm going to be doing... Oh, I need to uh, DM him too. Doing a Mario Party stream with Kraken, which I'm excited My about. My work is done. Not only does Doug take all chat's ideas, he also can't code without us. It's certainly harder. It is, it's actually really great coding on stream, because then you guys will just tell me things. Uh, it's wonderful. I highly recommend everybody who's interested in becoming a programmer, first spend four years building Don't a Twitch stream. Don't know what that is a titan hot betrebs sick blunt beamed and yourself shaft. Don't breathe at the end. Hey, Breathing Doug, at the end makes it sound like you're about to say something. A Zoom call in one hour? Yeah, here. Just read through all this and you're good. Ready? Go. Okay, now you know coding. You're, you're caught up. No, I mean, we've, we've done a bunch of shit today. Hey, Doug, it's when good, you meet girls, spot. do you flex how big your channel is? Or are you ashamed to talk about us? <laughs> I have not had a conversation. At some point, I'll probably start using dating apps and stuff again. And maybe I'll put that I'm a YouTuber in there, but that feels pretentious. But no, I don't like meet women and be like, Hey, what up? I've got two million subscribers. <laughs> that would be incredibly douchey. Fun fact, the president of the company that maintains VLC was knighted by the French. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. World famous YouTuber. Hey, are you a... Are you a man between the ages of 20 and 20... Or 20 and 30? Who watches Skyrim videos? Well, then you're gonna be so stoked. I'm Doug Doug. I mean, look, they might be in that small window in my audience who's not in that group, but that's like 90% of them right there. Some of us have ovaries. No, 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 there's definitely women, but like, I, I've said the numbers before. It's 90% men. <laughs> and then within, within that, it's like, okay, 
We have that, it, that, and then with, and then it's combined with the fact that I do like Skyrim and GTA Five. I'm not like playing Minecraft. Jesus, take the wheel. Just a stranger. Thank you very much for the ten gifted subs. No, I mean we're actually, as dumb as this is gonna sound, having ten percent women is actually pretty, pretty good. <laughs> For YouTube, it's, you know, the first year I did it, it was like 99.8%, as I've mentioned. And I think for a lot of people, it's like almost 100% guys. So I actually think it's great that we have a bunch of women also watching. I mean, 10% women is 200,000 women. <laughs> like, that's a lot of people. Um, so, no, I, I think it's wonderful. I think it's really wonderful. Um, but, factually, it's mostly men. Even though there's still 200,000 women, it's mostly men. Ugh. Doug, I'm a woman. This is so poggers. I, I'm pogging for you right now. No, I think it's great. I think it's great if, if there's like more diversity and it's not just literally all men like it was for a long time on Twitch and YouTube. Okay. What do we do? 10% women, 100% divorced. <laughs> I'm going to make a personal point to recommend this channel to all women I talk to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need to do that. Okay. We, um... Uh, I was hoping to get to the point where I could play tabs today. I mean, we could just fucking blitz it. And maybe do tabs. For like two hours. But it's so late. My brain is frying. I don't think we can. Because I'm going to have to duplicate everything and make it work. It's going to be a mess. Um, I mean, I wanted it to be like a full stream. Like a full three-hour stream. Hold on. Let me let me see if... Uh, I can. Maybe we just continue. Maybe we just marathon it. Because I do feel pretty good. Um, I, like I slept well. I may as well take advantage of that. No, no. We need a higher energy. We need the oopow again. Sorry. Ooh, pow! Like tomorrow, I'm gonna be streaming at 4 p.m. So I do have some time. All right, how about this? If I if I get this all set up for two people in the next 30 minutes, we will do tabs tonight. Hmm, yes. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to my friend about building PC. Eh, whatever. Fuck it. We'll, we'll let's see what happens. So, um, we are on to the final stage. You've sat here. Four and a half hours of programming. In that time, what did we do? What have we done? What the fuck happened? Uh, oh, we added the Amazon keywords. So now you can talk in funny ways, including breathing and being drunk. That took a while. What else did we do? Uh, did we do anything else? What happened today? What else did I do? There's no, there's no other call. Is that it? <laughs> no, there's more. Uh, that and moving the, oh shit, okay. Oh, and the moving, yeah. And we killed Piglet, we replaced it with VLC. Um, we made memories. Anyways, great stuff has happened. Um, oh, the keyword for entering, that was it. So we did that too. Okay, so we've added some good quality of life features. Now, I expand. We begin the expansion process. We have to go from this, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we have to go from this, which is just one person, to two. And we have to make it look like this. So, 
I want to have two people who are both in OBS. Yeah. Yes. This is doable. We just have to fucking... You also nominated that one guy as the winner of today's stream. That's true. Hi, hello. You win. So, this is gonna be like HTML programming and shit. Hi. Hello. Can you- can we get a breath? Can, can you give- can you give chat in the basement some oxygen? I am here backslash. Backslash indeed. So what I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. We copy all of this, and then we put it next to it. It's crazy, but it's just crazy enough to work. Yeah? We do, do we do it? <clears throat> just run the program twice. No, because we gotta... We gotta... No, because we need a, a bunch of things. Hold on. All right, so we're doing it. We're gonna we're gonna fucking run it. All right. This is where shit's gonna get intense. Uh, so I'm gonna... Oh God, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like high, higher, and drunk. Can you... That being said, could you do that again, but breathe a couple times? <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh. Okay, this stuff we're getting rid of. Yeah, it's all old. Old news. What's the evil noises? <laughs> oh, I hate it. Okay. So, we need to expand the Chat God app. So. Dude, this is actually gonna. This is, I'm gonna fuck this up. All right, this is gonna. This is not gonna go well. Okay, the code. The code stuff is, is off. Scary. That's why they named a snake after it. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna start with the H. We're gonna start with the HTML. Everybody, just everybody, just take a deep breath. We're gonna focus. We're gonna get through this together. Okay. Here's all the HTML. Jesus, take the wheel. Hike shadow thing. They gifted sub. Here's all the HTML. This defines um, all of the visual elements. Right. We just need to copy all of it, right? And that's it. Hey, Doug, when are you opening oxygen gates? People have been breathing down there all day. You guys are fine. Um, wait, hold on, shit. Uh, hold on, I have a problem. How do you make two next to each other in HTML? In, I think the problem in lies with you HTML using two complicated editors. Two next Try to each other. programming it in binary. <laughs> yeah, true. How how move how move put in box two boxes next to each other div and float if they're in a if they're in a div is that enough I'd use flex but it will break everything flex or grid what is the simplest possible way I can do this without learning new shit you do but in columns use a table wait is flex I don't know what flex is. Try not using HTML. Well, it's like it's already good. To, it's like hey, pretty Doug, much good to go. Voted for you for League of Their Own for the Streamer Awards. Hey, thank you. What are your thoughts on it? I think it is very cool that I got nominated. I don't care if I win at all. It'll just be fun to be there. But yeah, if, if you guys want to vote for me, um, I don't know what the uh -huh, website uh -huh. is. You can Google it. Okay. Here is an actual time that we could use ChatGPT. It'll probably work. Uh, hey, Doug, do you hate your eyes or why do you use windows in light mode? What windows? Like, uh, just general windows, you mean? I don't know what... I don't know what part of windows you're talking about. What am I using in... What am I using in... I do use, um... I'm logging into chat GPT. I, I do use YouTube in light mode intentionally Doug, because Doug, my husband left your stream on while he poops. He poops for hours. Time for a divorce. PS I used his money to buy these bits. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. My brain is starting to like, starting to fail a little bit. Oh, there we go. Intentionally, because that way I can see what most people are seeing when they're on YouTube, Men get which I think is important. Small, so for that's clickbait. why we are here. True. I don't seem to remember my password for chat GPT. Um. Just blitz it, you coward. I don't seem to know my password to chat GBT. So instead, I'm going to ask you guys again. Um, how do it? Since this is a coding how... stream, can you bring the basement up to code? Chat GBT would actually be really helpful right now. Hold on. Maybe I'm logged in on my br normal browser. Chat GPT. You just need a nice, restorative game of chess. Damn it. I don't know what my fucking... Oh, Use your Google account. Can you do that? Oh, okay. There it goes for some reason. I don't quite understand. Okay, how... One time I showed a girl I liked your plug versus poop video. She became the 10%. She got a boyfriend. He wasn't me. They're divorced now. <laughs> hey. Thanks, man. You're a true friend. Okay. How to nest. Write the code to put two HTML elements side by side horizontally. Okay. Do my work for me, please. I don't have the time. We have to play tabs. You also flexed on the woman your subscriber count to pick up. You also flexed on the woman your subscriber count. What? It is cooking Copy up some of the, paste. the best. Oh, you can put two <laughs> HTML elements side by side horizontally by using CSS properties. One way to achieve this is by using the display inline block property on the elements Doug that you want. Doug, can get a funny ha ha want. explosion sound for comedy with points? Wait a minute. You're saying, if you're saying what I think you're saying. No, I can't. Fuck. That would be really complex. I like where your head's at, but that would be, that would actually be a complex because I, I can't have Amazon insert the explosion sounds into the MP3 file that it creates. So I'd have to have Amazon make different MP3 files and then me combine them together, which would be complex. I like the concept a lot. Oh, cool. Here we go. Uh, now I don't have to do my job. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Um, head style. Wait, what? What? Is... Doug. Have you used Windows plus V? It gives you a clipboard to copy slash paste from instead of just the last item. Windows, I haven't. I should, I should look at that. I will try to remember to look at that. Okay, is this it? Hey Doug, thanks for doing this stream. I'm legally not allowed to do any coding because I'm non-binary. <laughs> just don't let anybody catch you watching. Um, so is this it? This doesn't seem like anything. I, I feel like this Wait, didn't I think I cracked do anything. The code and I think Doug hates it. That will work. How would this work? So you're saying I have a container? Display flex, flex direction row. Oh, okay. Thank you, code F53, for being better than ChatGPT. Okay, so you're saying I come in here in CSS. And we just do this somewhere? Okay, we'll do that later. Oh, dude, I don't know if we're going to be able to do tabs today. I am not promising tabs. My brain is starting to slow. Um, with that being said, all this Windows shit... Windows Plus V just works. 
No need to set anything up. You just press it and turn it on. Yeah, I'm just worried. Okay, I'll do it off screen. Oh, it's like clipboard history. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's neat. All right, cool. Neato. All right. So here's all the shit that I want to copy. What do I do? Um, because I want, I want all. I don't need choose user. So I could do is I could move choose user out of here. That doesn't. Oh, I guess I could. Yeah, I could. Okay. Hold on. Let me make it its own line. Oops. This is fine. Don't worry. Don't freak out. Okay, it's crashing. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't freak out. Let's get ready to rumble. Why is it over here? Dude, CSS sucks. Why? Okay, why? I want the choose user to be underneath. Why is it underneath? Why, why did it just move down, but not to the left? Open inspect element. Okay, let's hack it. If you're what tired, are you doing? just eat a stick of challenge butter. All the energy a gamer needs. That is true. Okay, label. Is it a separate div? in a form. I mean, it is technically underneath. I know, but why isn't it to the left? What's above it? These two things. Break. I put a break. That's what I did. I put a break here. Maybe I'll put two breaks. I'll put three breaks. Maybe this will fix everything. All right. Refresh. That didn't do anything. Grab everything in two divs, one outer, call container, and the other one called box, then duplicate box. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what I'll do. So I'll do two divs. Um, I just want to get the user to the left before I copy everything. Make sure it's left aligned. Uh, Oh god, I I am starting my brain. It's starting to fall apart. Okay, what is it? What is this thing we're doing? So we'll tell it to left line, right? So we can just have this be class equals uh shoes box, and then in here we're like a the choose box. Is the left aligned? How do you align something left? You need to put user in a separate div. You cannot use breaks. Oh, shit. Wait, so did I, did I just put it in a div then? Does that fix it? This is the weirdest game of Peggle I have ever seen. Oh, we're caught up on alerts. There we go. Cool. Text align left. Display I got a pen from margin. Starbucks, but it only writes in JavaScript. All right, we'll just throw all those and see what happens. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe something will work now. No, I didn't do anything. <laughs> um, I mean, let me make sure by resetting it. Sometimes Flask doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Mega Mox or Mega Moxie, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this is freezing. Very cool. Let's get ready to rumble. Have you checked your email lately? My wife sent you one and asked if you had seen it. Uh, I'm at least a week behind on my emails. I ha I get like one to two hundred emails a week, and it takes me a long time to get through them. And I'm super far behind on everything all the time. 
Um, so I, I generally I put off emails until I absolutely have to get through them. It's also why I don't reply to a lot of them. So maybe prob probably I, I will read it for sure. Um, anyway, this seems like it works. Now we don't need all those breaks. Why is it still? Uh, but I, I will I will do my best to get to it. Let's get ready to rumble. Why did it go back to the right? It's okay if you don't read it. It's just my marriage breath. <laughs> breath doesn't work on those. Um, I will definitely read it. I just can't reply to everything because it's it's just getting to a point where I can't spend like five hours or four hours a week like giving thoughtful replies to everything. Um, we have is something great. What? Oh, oh, I forgot you were talking. One more break, not 15. Use two breaks. All right. This message was sent at 8.27 p.m. Central Time. Look, it's me, woo. Yeah, it's, it's, right, it's right now. So you don't, have to, you don't have to say, you don't have to timestamp your messages now. We're caught up. Okay, does this look fine? Maybe. Let's get ready to rumble. Cool. So now we're going to put all this shit in a box. Now we're going to move the box. We're going to put that box inside of another box. We're going to put that box down in the box at the bottom. That's the plan. Wait, why didn't you... Uh-oh. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, I think I didn't have text. Wait, could you, could you talk again, Puckhead? And then, cause, and then I'm going to put your message into a box right here. Puckhead? Maybe? Oh no, am I alive? Okay, cool. This message was sent on June 28, 2035. I think chat messages might be too caught up. <laughs> we are not in the future. <sighs> okay. Woo, oh, I'm helping. Dad, you're a coder. Name at least five codes and the Da Vinci code doesn't count. Uh, if statement, uh, uh, while loop. Oh shit. Okay, so, so put all of you in a box. Okay, go. Um, so all of this shit we put into a into a box. Div. Div. Okay, did I do it? I want to formally apologize for also sucking at CSS. <laughs> Dude, it sucks. Yeah, CSS and HTML are not very fun. Okay. Um. D yeah, does this work? Okay, the code the code is is not on anymore. You can't you can't be picked for having something great. Um, everything's in a div, right? And then we copy this and we paste it, and then we put all that in a div, right? It's in a box now, right? Do I have to do a different class, or can I just make it a div? Okay, somebody said this. First copy here. Yeah, yeah. So I put all these in a div. Okay, so. So now that we've put everything in a box, we put that box inside of another box. Have you considered using plus equals? <laughs> like right now? It doesn't, that, you don't use that in HTML. That's not a thing. I suspect that you don't know, you don't actually understand what plus equals do, <laughs> do you? Um, do we ship the box to ourselves? No, you're it's my box. Busy, but wondered if you got around to my left and right GTA challenge idea. No sweat if you don't remember it. Just figure the check and smile. You do great work. I do actually remember it, Ranchi. Um, I just, I'm sorry. I didn't, Can I didn't you reply. say I love you, Parks, at I did the end it. of your acceptance speech at the Streamer Awards? Also, spotted hyenas only have two nipples because their pseudopenis prevents from from having more cubes. Okay, thank you. Unsubscribe from high, high, high roll penis facts or whatever that was. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the left-right thing. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I will at some point. Um, what were we saying? I was distracted by the penis thing. Something about programming or whatever. Anyway, okay, we have, okay, we put, we had all my shit and we put it into a box and we put that box in another box. Now we copy the box and we, ha uh, oh, too much. Copy the box and we put it into another box. I think we can all agree it just works now. Do I win? So now we need to change all the names. So now, instead of pick random, it's pick random 
2. Instead of TTS 1, it's TTS 2. And it says TTS 2. And now, instead of choose 1, it's choose 2. And now, instead of username box 1, it's username box 2. And username 2. Okay, I did it. Coding. Um, now we gotta update all this shit up here. This is where it gets a little more complex. So, all of the variables so far are assuming that there's only one group of people, right? So for all of the things, we now have to give additional data to say, hey, there, it's, there's like, this is, uh, let me tell you about one of the two possible options, not just, hey, do it for the one person, right? So, now I play this loud song and we continue. I want to crochet your face, but I can't find a clear image with enough detail. Can you look at your camera dead on and smile? There you go. I hope it turns out beautifully. Okay, so on a message send, this is when we've received a message from the server. Okay? So we've received a message. What we need to know now is not just that we got a message, we need to know who is it for. So... Oh, I don't know any what JavaScript. What is the code to the girl I like, Sart? I told myself the next time I waste money on you, it would be with an actual interesting message, and yet here we are. All you do, you do this. Plus equal, your heart. Can we put both boxes in two more boxes? Wait, sorry, what? Oh, got it. No, <laughs> we have enough boxes. We're fine with boxes right now. Five codes, code red, barcode, Kodak, Barracoda, Barakodama. <laughs> That's dumb. Uh, okay, what's what's the right way to do this? So, um, what should the server send? So the server would presumably send, like, uh, message, current user. So currently it's sending message and current user. Like, it should also send, like, user number? How do I, how do I recreate, uh, how do I differentiate between the two? What's, like, an easy way? I'm just trying to think of naming this in a way that is, um, sounds better. You have an ID in your messages. So, from the server, the server can say this is for message one or two. Because then it could just, this can just be one or two, right? Current user would be some name, and then message is some, some string, right? So these are strings. Um, so just user one and two. I, I don't want to do A and Z because I'm going to expand this to three people in the future. Um, but right, we just, we just have the server send this. There's probably a cleaner way to do this, but whatever. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, f f we'll fucking send it. I told my friends what I learned from this coding stream. They replied with the breath effect tag and divorced me. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So we play, uh, the loud music and we continue. So now Doug, we're gonna I hope say this helps you with your crippling programming addiction. If thank you, message dot user number equals one, then is this how you I don't know how you do if statements in JavaScript. If you set display flex on a div, you can set flex direction, row to make all of its immediate children line up in a row, or flex direction, column to line up all of its children in a column. The parent okay, cool. controls the ordering of its children for display. Okay, cool. Flex. That's what this is, right? Do you get to the so I think we have district that. very often. Point crow! Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Yo, you guys just showed up at the dopest stream of all time. We're coding HTML. Woo! Fuck yeah! If you thought that point start crow did divorce. cool stuff, well, get ready for me learning how JavaScript works. How does it work, everybody? Is this an if? Is this how you do an if statement? Anyways, if it is, we do this, and then you do user message one text dot message. Um, is there an else if in JavaScript? Here, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what what I've done. Okay, quick quick demonstration for all of the the point crubbies. I'm pretty sure that's what he calls you guys. Um, what's the secret password? Uh, point crow dumpy. 
Okay, so if you type Point Crow Dumpy, then you can be eligible to be selected as uh, a chat god, okay? So, what we do is we run this bad boy. It works the first time. We run this bad boy, it works the second time. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, now I refresh my server, bam. Oh, there's two of them, cool. Okay, ignore the fact that there's two. Don't worry about that. So now what I can do is if you've typed Point Crow Dumpy, I can click pick random. And now a random viewer from chat is picked here, boom. And now, Dur Pac-Man, any messages that you type are written out right here into this box, right? And they're read out loud. And it's gonna activate the pepper up here to move when you're talking. And you have a bunch of keywords that you can put into it, like breath in parentheses hey, or Doug, drunk. What's that dance? I think I can do this one too. Oh, uh -oh. very good. Oh right, that's not set up. Um. Uh oh. Okay, D ignore that. That we'll figure that out. Don't worry about that. Uncle Alan. Uh, that's Buggy Beats from the song Res. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll bring it back. So, Uncle Alan, if you if you type something in chat, if you're here, then it'll say stuff. I know. Yeah. Okay. You're you're picked. Okay. Wait. Show them the breathing. Do give us some breaths, Uncle Alan. Otherwise, I'll do it. Anyway, we have all these. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I picked myself. Great job, me. I win. Um. Now, uh, hello. Mr. Crow Boys. Hello, Mr. Crow Boys. But what's cool is I don't have to say it normally. I can say it drunk. Hello, Mr. Crow Boys. And I can do it um, with a deep voice. Hello, Mr. Crow Boys. And I can take a breath in between every single sentence. Hello, Mr. Crow Boys. <laughs> it's I don't like the and then we can whisper, which I I really hate the whispering. The whispering is terrifying. Hello, Mr. Crow Boys. So we've all been on the verge of being attacked, like in a forest, like in a dark sort of forest by the Texas Speech bot. He does scare me. Help me, I'm- he's- he, I mean, he's a little cursed. He's beautiful, okay? Anyway, then I can pick a new random person. Now Tuxcarp can talk. So, we have one working. The goal now is to get two of these, and then I'm gonna set up, um, a stream where I have two different viewers representing A Crew, Z Crew, and they're the captains, and they're deciding who's Back. fighting on each side. What did you say? What did you say to me? <laughs> I, I didn't see it. Um, and so right now, I'm copying all the In stuff- Back. I've, I've, I'm copying all the stuff I've done, and I'm moving it to, I'm making a second one, and then we gotta get them down there and have it look like that. And then, then I'm done. And that's probably it for today. I don't think I'm gonna be able to play tabs after that. Um, welcome back, Tuxcarp. Anyways, so if you thought that was sick, then get ready for HTML programming. Beans. Can you comment a plus equals in the code in memory of this stream? Um, we'll do it in, in memory of Shigeru Miyamoto. Can I have a kiss from Joanna? There you go. Joanna is hard at work, okay? Plus, Joanna is married to the Icelandic woman. I can't believe he died. Okay. Like, I, I don't believe it. I'm pretty sure he's alive. All right, let's get this going. So if, so now we need to expand this. If the user number that we receive from the server is one, then that means we're going to update the user message one element, not the others. Is there an else if in JavaScript? I'm gonna Google this instead of trusting you guys. Uh, else or- Can I get a dance frog? Else in JavaScript. Oh, sorry, I cut off the music right before. JavaScript if, if okay. Okay. Um, else if. Okay, so it's just very standard. So then else if. Um, Make sure you all use parenthesis on the conditional. Parenthesis. Oh, right, right. This is not Python. Yes, thank you. 
Okay. So oh, if the user equals one, then we change the text to the message. Cool. If it equals two, then we... Oh, it feels good to have brackets again. I love brackets. I don't like Python. Okay, what's another song that's uh, I'm like inhaling beans. <laughs> <laughs> the tech, the Texas speech guy suddenly sounding drunk, like Permission real- Permission to photoshop that horrific smile onto the back of a hoodie with the captions, this man locked me in his basement. Yeah, permission granted. I don't like that, like, the guy will just suddenly be- How was your weekend, Doug? Will suddenly be drunk. Oh, he was good. <laughs> I mean, I took yesterday off. Oh, Storyteller. Yeah, good call. Let's play a way too awesome song. Um, Storyteller. Great song. Now this is coding. Okay, the, the thing is off. You don't have to say point crow dumpy. And also, a bunch of you have been popped. Out of the queue. We don't worry about it. Stream Oh shit, sorry, I killed your voice. Alright, this will go down here, right? Yep, cool. I should probably save all this. Just make sure I don't fuck it up, because I'm not using Git or anything. Because I'm a real programmer. I'm not a coward who uses Git to back things up. <laughs> I don't use version control like a coward. All right, if you're confident in your code, why do you need to save the old versions? Uh, okay. Oh, I would put this in here too. All right, um, cool. And then I do the same thing here. I think we're good. Oh, no, we have to copy shit down here. All right, so this should have the right, um, things, yeah, probably. Dynamically append the user underscore number to prevent duplicate code. Dollar user message box plus user underscore number. I did not follow. Let me read that. Dynamically append the user number to prevent duplicate code. Oh, oh, got it. Oh, cool. That'll look fancy. Where do I put this? My brain is slow. Okay, so, um... Wait, what is the message box even doing? Huh? Don't I have to do this, though? Wait, this would just be the whole thing then, right? I mean, I should always have- I shouldn't need to do hey, this Doug. test. Knock, knock. Fuck it, I'm not gonna be safe. Who's there? This should be it, right? Yeah?
Oh, and you're saying the same down here. Uh, so then I can do the same thing here. Name box plus. Oh wait, wait, wait. no, no, no. I would have to like loop, right? For I'm too dumb. I'm a dumb idiot, and I'm stupid. Can we get some I'm, I'm, this is fine. From Fire Emblem playing. Uh, Fodland Wild. Do I have that? I think I do. Bro, I fucking got you. This is fine. I'll just copy and paste it. Whatever. This is cool. This is nice and slick. Um, so that's all good. Yeah. Yeah. We're line 32. What's wrong with line 32? Username. Plus, oh, yeah. That'll do it. Plus equals. No. Okay. So we have that. Now, when I click pick random one, it's submitting to the server and saying, I want to pick a new random for user one. All we have to do is copy this and go fucking boom. And now it's two. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it seems like it'll probably work. All right. And then form TTS. Uh, same thing. We copy it. Now it's form TTS two. And the checkbox will change whether or not it is checked. Cool. And now this one, we do the same thing. Wait. Oh, shit. For choose... This needs to have an additional... Both of these need to have additional pieces of data. Okay, so I need to send... Oh, fuck. I need to send who the user is, right? Um, why is the JavaScript in the HTML file? Because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't care and I'm lazy. Uh, it's just think of it like a prototype, okay? Think of me making a prototype. Just remember, I am not a software company. I'm just a fucking guy who sucks at video games, um, you know, sitting in my pajamas, yelling at stuff. To tell the difference between male and female spotted hyenas is that you have to look at the tip of their penis slash pseudopenis. The male's penis tip is pointed while the female pseudopenis tip is blunted. Wait. They both have penises? I don't, I don't think that's true. Um, wait, it's triple equals? Huh? What are you talking about? Where is it triple equals? Somebody's saying it's triple equals. What are you even talking about? Where? The, the actual answer for me not wanting to do things like that is that I don't, I have so little free time to work on this stuff that to add in all the like nice little things and proper way to do things like Git, for example, is just, it's just not worth an hour of my time. I, I have like a lot of shit to do. Um, so equals 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 is best practice. Yeah, but where? Where are you talking about? I'm not doing an if check anywhere. But where are you where are you talking about? Wait, are you just saying just generally you wanna I checked and it's true. Line seventy seven. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're just shouting out random like JavaScript things. Who cares? I don't who gives a shit? <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, you, if Come I on, if Doug. I run into that situation. This is first grade hyena anatomy. I don't think they all they all have penises. Okay, so I think do we have to fucking change all these? Yeah, cuz with TTS we need to tell the server which one was clicked. So, we got to update our data. All right. <clears throat> That's fine. So I'll call it user number. Female down here. hyena has so much excess skin on the outside of their vagina to the point where it is basically a penis. Okay. I have been enthralled by these penis facts. I I am satisfied after a Doug, delicious meal of penis lion hyena facts. Act two has a ten minute song on hyena penises. And now I'm going to use self restraint and not continue to indulge. I'm just going to stop the meal here. And go, wow, that was satisfying, and I'm going to move on and, and reminisce on this and not have any more any more of this meal about hyena penises. Uh, 
Okay. So, when we pick the random, we're not just going to admit this. We're going to say the you. Oh, wait. No, that is all we're going to say. Hey, Doug, okay. did you know that sloths are so stupid that they sometimes mistake their own arm for a tree branch and fall to their death? Also, a gorilla pee pee is as big as a human pinky. Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> I was not listening. And then my, my brain, I wasn't paying any attention. And then my brain was like five seconds later was like, Gorilla PP. And I was like, wait. <laughs> okay, this is fine, right? I'm just shooting this off into the sock. I'm just firing this over the socket. It'll be Eat fine. Me, Don't cheat, PP. Okay, so now user numbers two. And now here, same thing. Hey, Mr. Doug Doug, sorry, but I need to leave Hyena Facts class early. I have a sick note from my wife's boyfriend. Oh, I need commas. Comma, comma, comma. Wait, do I need commas? Wait, what the fuck? Hold on, this is wrong. There we go. You'll need to emit a single object rather than two, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Yeah, no, I just had, I had it wrong. I, I had a, a case of the dumb. Uh, so we'll say the user number and the chosen user, which is the name of the value. Uh, and then choose, oh wait, this should be choose one and choose two, right? Yeah, choose one and choose two. Okay. So the choose functions are all fucked up. Um, wait. How do I pick a specific thing again? It's pound sign, right? So I want to pick the pound. Hold on. Uh, okay. Console dot log pound choose one dot value, right? That should work. And then we emit choose user numbers two, and then chosen value is two two. Yeah, this should be fine. Hey dog, I just got here. Yeah. What game is this? So now we're going off the correct ID instead of the not correct ID. Yeah, user number needs to be one. I'm, I'm just going to copy it. Hey, first. Doug. Jonathan PP, inventor of the PP here. Okay. Devastated that you don't want to know more about my life's work, I will now be sending an ICBM to Sacramento. Yes, that's very true. When I spent a year in Kenya collecting data on spotted hyena behavior, part of my job was sexing baby hyenas by looking at their penis slash pseudopenis to identify them. It literally functions like a male's penis with getting erections. It is so hard to program. <laughs> this is correct, right? I can't, like, my brain is not able to process everything. I think we're fine, right? Um, it grabs the form called choose one. And then when it's, when it's clicked, then, uh, it will, it will log the value. It will emit over the socket. It will say user number one and chosen user and put the value that's in there and then clear it. That seems fine. Line 105, one to two. Yes, Did you thank know you. the difference between male if statements and female if statements? <laughs> well, they certainly both have penises. Um, okay. That's fine, this is all fine. I think we're good to go. The client's good. There's definitely gonna be no issues at all. I did it perfectly. Look, one time I made a gigantic project that literally just worked first try. It was a, it was a cloth simulation in OpenGL in C++. And it just fucking worked, like right out of the gate. And I was like, oh my God, this could be number two. The number two time in my life when I just make a giant thing and it just works. I mean, this isn't like crazy complex, but. Um, okay. Okay, okay. Where, what are we doing? Okay, we gotta change everything. So, when we get the toggle TTS, it used to just be that we would get the data, but now when we send Daddy TTS- you clearly missed the programming class in college oh where God. professors build up your stamina by yelling hyena facts at you while you took exams. <laughs> I missed that. I missed that, dude.
So glad I could have my first Doug Doug stream be the PP Facts one. Okay. So now we need to also we need to expand this shit. Okay. So instead of having current user, we need to have current user one. This is definitely a number two. Is current user a bad name? Eh, we'll call it current user one and current user two. Do I do underscore one? Probably, right? That's probably fine. That's probably fine. I doubt that'll cause major issues later on. I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, it's not gonna call it issues. It's just like naming is a little weird. Okay, so current user one, current user two. TTS enabled one. All this talk about Hyena Benny makes me sad. People aren't showing love to the multi-headed Echidna Benny or the corkscrew-shaped duck Benny. Type you out one? You cannot unsubscribe from Animal Benny facts. A crew. The crew. Then... User pull one and two. Okay, cool. So now we have two of everything. Um... Shouldn't TTS enabled start as true? Yeah, let's do it. That's been annoying for me. Um... <clears throat> cool. So now we have two of everything. Make a temporary folder over here with the names. Okay. So. Oh, God. We're going to have to rewrite everything. Okay. Let's go from the top. Uh, I should really get an ID instead of using Sublime Text. Oh, well. Send it. Socket IO on TTS. So we've received a message from the client saying, hey, I want you to turn on TTS for one of the two people. To do that, we got to fucking get what, it, what are they telling us? What are they fucking telling us? Let's find out. I forget. Uh, here we go. So they're telling us user number and checked. And that's going to be true or false. So these are the, the numbers. Um, so, user number, this is going to, I'm going to write this a little inefficiently, is going to be value dot user hey, number. Doug, I've always wanted to say a message that makes you in Twitch chat laugh and become a recurring meme. Hey, isn't it wacky that some people have urethrus X? Can urethrus X be the next big meme? Thanks, chat. No. Sorry, I'm shutting it down. You gotta try harder. Why am I- what am I doing? Why am I writing it like this? <laughs> Whatever. My brain is so fried after five hours of this. Checked is the name, right? Yeah, check. <laughs> and check is true or false. If, oh God, I can't think. If value user number equals one. <laughs> one <laughs> the, of my the brain is penis slow. studies was about an explosive Muscovy duck penis. The researcher literally made spiral glass tubes and measured the speed of the penis, which fully extended 20 centimeters in 36 seconds, which is 1.6 meters per second or 3.5 miles per hour. I didn't listen. I didn't listen to that. I'm sure it was a cool penis fact. Okay, and then it's TTS enabled one equals value dot user number and enabled two. I think this is correct. My 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 addled brain can't handle it. But 
print. So if the so if the value that we get is user number is one, then our first TTS variable gets updated to it. Imscade. Otherwise, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, seems fine. This is like very simple. Oh yeah, the pepper does laugh at you now. Sorry. This is very simple. I'm just <laughs> I'm just been a little bit. Okay. Um now we move hey, Doug, on to did you actually know let's that go this down wall here. you're hitting while coding. If you can just make it past that tonight, you'll have more epiphanies than you know what to do with. Yeah. I mean, dude, I'm having a great time to be clear. I've I've really had a lot of fun today. <laughs> this has been extremely fun just like coding on stream. I I this is this project's been really fun to work on. Learning all the web dev stuff even though I'm learning like the very basics of it. I'm excited just to be able to like make things more rapidly, you know, like just weird visual stuff on stream. Like this breath shit is hilarious. I'm so excited to do weird things with it. With all that being said, let's move on to the other functions. So if we are told to pick random, um, I think I'm probably just kind of copy this, right? This stream sounded like a foreign language to me. Yeah. I mean, it's not super complex. That's not to say you're dumb, but that is to hey say, Doug, like, animal pee -pee, it wouldn't animal be pee -pee, that hard for you to be able to follow pee -pee, it if you spent a little time. Pee -pee, animal pee -pee, okay, I'm going to go ahead and skip that alert. Thank you. Sorry, I slipped on the skip button. Okay, so pick random. Instead of just picking a random user... No, Bill we'll do that. Also, I love seeing software engineering on your stream. Terry is a category on Twitch for it. Also, also, my chat doesn't even know this, but I'm signing a job to be a Golang backend engineer tomorrow, Yeehaw. Oh, shit, congrats. That's awesome. I don't know if this is, like, engineering, necessarily. It's maybe not the word I'd use. It's like... It's like, um... Cavemen putting mud in a pile and grunting at it because the pile got big. Okay, so now my random user function is going to take in a number, which represents... Um, uh, the number, which is a string, right? Okay. So now when we picking, so this is where, this is where we have been told by the client, I want you to pick a random user. Um, they've given us the number, the, the random user that we are supposed to do. Um, uh, user number. Okay, cool. Uh, we were just told we, uh, getting new random user or user. Bam. Okay. So it'll call random user with the random user number. So now this is going to have a user number and it's going to say, Hey, uh, if user number, it's probably a string I'm guessing. So if user number equals one, then the current you, okay, yeah, bird current users, uh, I can't talk, you guys, you guys say things. Current user one equals random choice, user pool one, keys, L if user number equals two, then, Okay, that seems great, right? I did it. Okay, so we have the user number. If it's one, then the bot will um, set its current first current user to be a random selection from all of the people who are in the first user pool. Boom. Colon. Yes, thank you. Um, same with user two. Seems straightforward enough. Uh, oh, right. And then it's going to emit over the socket, and it's going to say, here's our message, here's our current user. Oh, but we have to emit more shit now. Hold on. What's the client expecting? So the client, when he gets a message, the client is expecting a user number, which is one or two. So I will send the user number back to the client. Boom. Now we go over here, and we say... User number is equal to user number. So we send whatever it is back. Yeah? Seems fine. Oh, and then this needs to be changed? Uh... I mean, I'll put this print statement here. Oh, 
You aren't using the checkbox values for turning TTS on and off. What? What do you mean? It's right here. Line 172. Yeah. You're correct. Got it. God, that would have taken me like a fucking hour. <laughs> uh, what, what, what am I ascending? Checked? Checked. The brain is slow. And hey, meaty. First time catching you live. I discovered you a few weeks ago and have been binge watching your VODs. Hey, thank you. Love the coding and ice stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Um, okay, I think we're all good with random users. Is this the world famous streamer Dog Dog? Dog Dog. So, I think we got pick random got good. Now we need shoes. Oh, oh okay. Hey Duck, can you believe that speedrun.com has a marriage speedrun in Stardew Valley but not one for divorce? SMH. Is there even divorce thing in that game? That'd be a little ridiculous if he added that. Baby hyenas have a particularly risky birth process. The pseudo penis that they are birthed through make it hard for newborns to pass through. Hyenas bear litters of two to four cubs, but sadly about 60% of suffocate on their way out due to getting stuck. You have unsubscribed from Hyena Facts. Thank you. How does 60%... Dude, how did we not evolve? How did everybody not evolve to do... Like, to not have dumb things? Like, getting your period. <laughs> Sounds like the worst thing in the world. Why do you... Why do people just have to deal with that every month? <laughs> like, how on earth did we evolve to be like, yeah, this is the most efficient way to live. Like, we're just gonna, like, lose a lot of blood every month for no reason. Like, it's wild, dude. There's so many dumb things we have. Just everybody. There's, there's so much dumb shit. Like, why do we evolve like this? Why do he, hyenas evolve so that their giant penises kill 60% hey, of their babies? It makes no sense. I I know next to nothing about coding, and I think this all looks like rune sorcery, but I think you're doing great. Thank you. Like male nipples. I mean, that they at least kind of make sense, because, like, Jesus, take the wheel. It makes sense they wouldn't... It's not like... I don't, I'm fine having nipples, right? It's dumb when you have, like, really negative... <laughs> properties and attributes i was like dude there has to there, ha I, there has to have been a more effective way to evolve doug you've done a great job during this five hours here have some pat pat duke doug you thank you there's no sexual pressure to select against it yeah it's just like <laughs> it's just dumb like come, i don't know who whichever caveman invented periods and was like this this is awesome i'm gonna have a lot of babies and pass this on like, that wasn't cool. They should have stopped that. You forgot a semicolon. There's no semicolons in Python. Unless you're talking about over here. You fucking got me, though. Oops. Okay. On the choose function. Can I please resubscribe, Doug, to hyena effects? Or at least some other animal, like lemurs or something? Okay, whatever, whatever animal chat says most often in the next 30 seconds... We'll subscribe to that animal fact. That's fine. Wait, Doug. Do your nipples not work? I wish. If I could make Doug cheese... Y you know... You guys know fully well. I could sell Doug cheese for like $100 a square. Like like a per cheese wheel. And make a shitload of money. I definitely... My community is definitely weird enough to buy my own cheese. That's gross. Yeah, I don't want it. But you can't... You cannot argue that this community is not weird enough to spend a lot of money on my cheese. Like, if I could, if I could, right? You can't look me in the eyes and tell me I wouldn't make a shitload of money. It'd be like a gamer bathwater, but on crack. Okay. Choose user. Okay, so. What are we getting from choose user? The client is sending over... The fuck... User number and chosen user. Okay. So over here, we have these two variables. <sighs> I 
my dude. My brain is like going so slow now. Oh, this is not a complex thing. My brain is like, holy shit. How could anybody figure this out? Um, if user number <laughs> this, if value dot user number is one, get all this shit out of here. If value Be user sure number to strip equals HTML one. characters from the user's message. Otherwise, it is possible to inject JavaScript into frame elements. Into what? I'm not like running their code. Oh, you mean visually? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. Oh, the brain is slowing. I don't think tabs is happening, guys. Give us click maps and we can take over. That doesn't make sense. If the if they're asking, this is so simple. If they're asking for a user, hey, then I want to update that. That's it. That's it. That's all you. More penis facts than I expected. Love the YouTube channel. Male decks have a corkscrew penis. Did I do it right? Thank you for the penis fact. The pseudo penis seems to have evolved because females were initially evolving high levels of testosterone, which were masculizing their genitals. In order to streamline the birth process, the construction of the pseudogenies changed from hormonal to genetic. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm interested. <laughs> I'm so interested. This is literally all I had to do, right? This is it. This is all I had to do. Why is this so hard? My brain. My brain is slow. And then, I guess, in both cases, we'll... I guess I could do lower. No, we don't need that. So we send a message back. It looks something like this. <laughs> what am I doing? Um... I... <laughs> this is getting so hard. My brain just like stopped working. The la oh my god. Okay, we need facts. Doug, did you know that the stinger on bees and wasps? I is didn't a know that. Overpositor? No, I didn't. They're stabbing you with their lady bits. This isn't even hard. Okay, it's a message send emit where moth has one. You have been subscribed to moth facts. The mo the message is. Bot dot current user was picked, and the current user. Moths don't have any peepees. Instead, they have claspers and phalluses. User number is one. Hey Doug, long time fan, and today we were co-workers. You gave me the motivation to survive fixing last second AWS permission bullshit that I would only wish on my enemies. There you go. You got this, dude. I'm <laughs> stoked to see this run the first time. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing to okay, Moth Facts. That's a good point. Moths outnumber butterflies by a nine to one ratio. Interesting. Also, moths are pyromaniacs and like to burn basements. Mods, can we get a prediction? Like two or five minutes. Does all of this just work first try? Like, it has to be the very first try. Once I run it. Everything. All one try. All right? I better see some fucking believers there, okay? It's all just going to work. It's just going to work. First try. It has to work perfectly first try. Two users. I can pick both of them randomly. They can both talk simultaneously. Everything will work.
Okay. Give this to the editor that has to sit through all these hyena facts. I don't think I'm editing this into a video. Thank you, Dolph. I appreciate it. Um, all right. All right. Hold on. I need to turn off text speech for a sec. We have been told to pick a user. If they are telling us that this is for user number one, then for our current user, we update it to whatever they told they wanted us to do. Then we send a message back through the socket and we say, hey, the message is that we pick this new user. Um, the current user. Oh, same thing. And we send the user number as one. Otherwise, we do this. And we change it to two. Yeah, there we go. I guess I should just do this to be. Yeah, that's fine, right? That seems good. I believe three times in a row. I mean, look, I'm going to be honest. It's a terrible bet to believe. Horrible, horrible believer bet. But it might work. Let me, okay, let me just read, look through it. This is, this seems fine. This seems fine. This seems all good. Why, why wouldn't this work? This, this is going to work perfectly. If the value, if, if they're saying this is used for user number one, we say, okay, our user number one, we're updating them to that person. Um, we're going to send a message back saying, hey, we picked the person you asked for. Here's who they are. And here's their user number, which is one. And then same thing here if it's two. All seems like it's working. Okay, so that's all the functions up here. The last one is to update random users all good. Yeah, the last one is to update. Uh, let's get some gameplay going on. Is to update the bot itself. So. When it initializes, TTS is going to be enabled. It initializes to DugDug. When the event is ready, cool. It posts this event message. Okay, so if current user equals none. I'm going to I'm gonna turn that. I don't think I need that. Okay, so now process a message. At this point, we have... Just got home from work. Happily surprised to see you online. Yo. Hope you had a good day. Yeah, we're wrapping up. We're we're getting close. I think this app thing is almost done. And then at some point soon, we'll do a tab stream with it. Good night, uh, Doug and chat. Thanks for the entertaining first stream. Can't wait for the tab stream. Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is a very interesting stream. How do we do this? We just say if it's user one, right? Doug, I have paid more There's attention more to this stream to... than I ever did to five years of online coding classes. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. It's It's been cool learning this. Okay. If... So, we've got a message from Twitch chat. This is where we're at. We Your have Doug, a message. Doug Galaxy we've got it. got me permanently banned in another streamer's chat because they said it's clearly a vagina slash camel toe with eyes. So there's that. Wait, hold on. Can I get some Doug Doug Galaxies in chat? Does not look like a vagina. <laughs> what? What is wrong with them? They think that's a vagina? Thanks for subscribing to Moth Facts. Did you know that lunar moths do not eat at all, and therefore have only vestigial mouth parts and no digestive system? Their sole purpose in life is to reproduce. They have only about a week to do so before they die. It's a camel hey, toe. Where Dunboy, are the legs? I have a tip Where's for you? the... Slash be better at coding hargotum. Why would the vagina have googly eyes? Why is it exploding out of the top? It's not a clitoris. It's a fucking brain. Does it work and does it function as intended are two different things. It has to do both. It has to run and function as intended. All of it. It's a terrible bet for the believers, but I think it'll happen. Why do they have dirty minds? Yeah, it's not It's not my fault that they're gross. And that they Final think... fact of the night from me as I've blown nearly $40 on hyena facts. <laughs> Thank you, Jack Spence. The horn moth is a moth species found in Africa and Eurasian that specializes in eating the keratin sheath of horns as a larva. Their cocoons sprout from the horns of dead animals. Very cool. Very cool facts. Thank you, Jack Fact. Okay. Um, so if the person who wrote 
the message that we just said is user number one, it matches our user number one, then boom, we want that to be sent back to the client. So we're going to send the back a message. Pepper is on this period. It's not canonically accurate. The current user is bam, and then we add a third line, which is the user number, which is one. Cool. Why is this not working? Oh, because that's there. Cool. So we emit that over the socket. We say, here's the message that we were just received. It was from this user and the user number is one. If TTS is enabled for user number one, then we text audio the message. I'll need to deal with this later. We'll worry about that later on, of having it enable the right um, audio filters. Uh, and then bot dot, I'm not, I'm going to just not deal with this for now. And that's it. And then we do the same here. 208 should be current user one. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now should be good. Camel toe is crotch cleavage that is visible on a woman. The outer lips of female genitalia visible through type clothing. I can definitely see what that streamer is talking about. If maybe I'm like, I really am not familiar with um, clothing that is being sucked into a vagina, but I just, I feel like it's a bit of a stretch. I well, feel like I it looks more like a bell pepper a with eyes. Or the grand moth mage. I do have a pretty virgin detective. Slash moths are pretty cool. I don't think it makes me, I don't think I'm a fucking virgin because I don't think this looks like a vagina, okay? <laughs> it's just, it's just not, it's not how it works. You don't suddenly start seeing vaginas everywhere once you've had sex. Uh, cool. Alright, this all works. Now we add the chatter to the user pool. If they've said the right phrase. There's probably a cleaner way to do this, but I am instead just going to copy and paste all of this code. It's going to look terrible. And you can all yell at me and think it looks bad, but... Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to... We're going to let it ride. I mean, there's probably a way to have the to have it be dynamic, to save code space. I just don't know how to do it. Hey, Doug, who's that purple-looking idiot at the top left? Is it Sug Sug? As in, he Sug Sug D's nuts got him. Fucking got my! You totally roasted that pepper. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy and paste. I'm sure I could refactor it later. So, if the mess, if the author's name is in um, user pool number one. In user pool number one, we pop the message. Uh, user pool number one. Everybody saying vagina when it's called vulva. Vagina is only the inside channel. The visible part is called vulva. Thank you. Bunch of virgins in this chat. Uh, activity threshold, date time, uh, bot not seconds active. That's Honestly, all didn't think that it might look like a camel toe until you blew up the emote picture. <laughs> Come on, man. You're a totally virg if you don't see that. <laughs> don't call me a fucking virg. Look, I just don't think that me saying my adorable little pepper logo looks like a vagina. I don't think that means I'm like <laughs> some sort of incel. I've had sex. I'm cool. And I, I've done the drugs and sports. User pool one. I have sex all the time. <laughs> I couldn't even... Okay, if bot.userpool1, oldest user replace, user pool one, pop oldest user, user pool one. That's def some camel toe. Oldest user was pop, dude hitting max users was pop for not talking for. Okay, cool. Um, that seems correct. Did I miss anything dumb? Am I dumb? Am I a stupid idiot? Said like someone who's never had sex. <laughs> Look. 
If I was a virgin, could I write incredible sec uh, code like this? Could I? Look at that. Line Definitely two three two. We know you're a virgin, Doug. What's wrong with that? All this user's fine. Look, I remember this one time when there was this girl, and she totally, uh, um, not a Virgo. Name five women. <laughs> Uh, Obama? <laughs> Mrs. Obama? Um, I can't focus on the code. Message, if the content is the same as the key passphrase for the first user pool, then we... We, we check if... Virgin alert. If, they're, if we check if they're in the pool, we pop them if so, we add them to the end of the, of the virgin pool, now... We get the cutoff time and we check the oldest user in the pool and we say, Hey, hey Doug, have you been in here for over the, the activity we got the threshold? For you here in the shop. Says here it's your new V card. <laughs> you can't get back your V card. Or if the length if the current length of the user pool is past our our maximum number of users, then we pop the oldest user. It's okay that you're an incel and then we and then we, and then we it just means more galassy for us. <laughs> galassy? <laughs> Okay, and then we copy and paste all this shit. I think it's fine. We're, we're almost there. This is actually almost ready to go. Hey, Virg, Virg. I'm not familiar with coding. Why are there so many vaginas in your code <laughs> in the form of parentheses? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this... This is not... <laughs> this is how you call a function. I think the answer is yes, you write good you... code there for Virgin. This is this is how you call a function in, in programming. Okay, passphrase two, Bob. You might have had sex, but did you it's sequel? Sex two? That's when you are a pro. Nah, just I never updated. I just like saying in the you old should firmware. Put our chat pepper on your desk so you can look us in the eye when you talk to us. <laughs> it's already you're already like you're 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 so huge and close up there. Okay. Why didn't I do this man- why did I do this manually? Don't I could've just- incredible code because you are a verg. Joke's on you, my code sucks! Okay, cool. I think I did it all. I think we're fine. For three dollars, name any woman, except the one you just named. Um... Hillary Splinton. Okay, we did it. We added them to the pool. Random user, I think we're all good to go. Let's just double this check. This stream is absolutely what a virgin would be doing. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a virgin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go eat dinner after this. Oh, Doug's eating dinner? Awfully suspicious, virgins do that all the time. Okay, let's, let's, let's focus for a second. When the program starts, we do all the bot stuff, that's fine. There's nothing here that's specific to the threat, the user. This is all fine too. Hey, Doug. Someone named Dr. Sex joined an online game I was playing. He says Sex 2 drops next year. <laughs> um... Just want to jump in to say that there's nothing wrong with being a virgin. It's okay, smile. Yeah! Thank you! Wait, I'm not a virgin, though! You don't have to console me! <laughs> um... Oh, you're straight. Name all the girls. <laughs> Look, there's dozens of them. Do I have to do anything here? Message send? I guess I could... I mean, I could send the stuff to the first client just to You're be... now subscribed to Vulva Facts. No. Too bad we're Doug Doug viewers and we have no facts. Okay, alright, yeah, let's, let's avoid that one, please. Uh... Prove you're not a virgin by birthing a child right now. <laughs> this is the hardest it has ever been for me to code in my life. <laughs> it's, this is impossible. Okay, okay, we're doing it though. When I, when I we... bet Parker gets more glossy than you. Is glossy is not a term. Nobody says that. Okay, we import Piglet. I don't need that anymore. Whatever. Okay, we don't need all this Piglet shit, but we'll deal with that later. Um. 
the media player, that's all fine. Text to audio, Call none of this should have changed. Like Call it woman. None of this. Got you, Virgo. <laughs> Virgo. Okay, none of that shit should have changed. All this shit should have been fine. Yeah, that's probably all fine. Okay. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus. I'm, I'm turning off the, the, the Virg insults for a second. We're looking through this. I'm just making sure I didn't do anything stupid, and then it's good to go. It's good to go. Okay. <clears throat> Toggle TTS. String of value data. This isn't this isn't correct. This isn't correct. So I'm just gonna stop printing that. That would cause an issue. Alright. So if the value of user number is one, then we enable TTS for that using whether or not it's checked. Cool. Um but we now have all these different things. We're good. Uh the initialization that doesn't do anything. Same with event, same event message. Process message. If we get a message and the name is the same as current bot user one, then we emit from the socket with a message, a current user, a user one, which all match. User number one. Okay, cool. And get and send over the message. If TTS one is enabled, we text to audio with the message's content. Otherwise, if it's user two, we do the same thing. Yeah, two, two, two. All right, that's fine. Um, if the message content is the key phrase, then we're gonna take you out of the user pool. One, if you're in there, we pop you. Then we add you back in, so you get added into the end of the queue. The activity threshold, we check that. We get the oldest user. We check if you're too old. We pop you if you are. Um, or if you're past the limit of having too many people, so then you get popped, and then we print about it, and that's all fine. Same thing here, I assume I copied it correctly. Random user. If the random user, if the user number, if that's random is one, then the bot current user one is a random choice in the, in the pool. Yeah, so we pull a random user from there and set that to the new thing, and then we say random, probably at this point I need to remove them from the list. I'll deal with that later, who cares? That's not important. We might get de uh, like duplicate users, but that's okay. The odds of that are quite low. Um, same with user number two. Cool. And then afterwards, we're going to emit back to them saying the current user was picked. Yeah, and it goes to the right user. Pick random. The bot will pick a random user with the value user number. Right. Okay. So pass. Is this the correct way to pass it? Hold on. Isn't... Line 51? What do I do in line 51? Line 51. Oh, 52. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ooh. Almost made a version mistake there. I, I don't know how to... I'm not used to writing, like, functions in Python. Is this gonna work? I'm calling this function with a string. But the, but the thing has this. Do I even need this? I don't need this, right? Or does the function have to have this in a class? Maybe it does. 263. Yeah, 263 is fine. It, does this work? Calling this function? If it's a class function, it needs this. Okay. I've literally never done... Imagine calling the function without formatting the parent node. What are you even talking about? <laughs> That's like not the right language. That should work. Okay, cool. 174. What's wrong with line 174? This is fine. You're just shouting out random shit. Okay. It should work. It should work. And then on choose, if the value is one, then the current user... We set the, we set the val, wait, value, yeah, chosen user, and then we emit back on the socket that saying that the person was picked, and we send, uh, and we send the current user, and we send what number they are, and then we do the same here. I think it's gonna fucking work. I think it's gonna work. This is gonna be some hey, non-virgin shit. Okay, everybody get ready. If there's any crash or anything doesn't work, line 274, not one... There's nothing wrong with 274. You're wrong. You don't you compile it. That's not how Python works. A vagina? No, we're coding. Line 264 and 265. Both of those are fine. There's nothing wrong with these. I don't trust you anymore. Okay. Only virgins drop the W from their name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're moving on. Hold on. Pulling up in PowerShell. So that we can see if there's any issues. CD, G, Dropbox. Live. Uh, Did you Python. separate a crew when? and crew when adding to the user pools? 
All of it oh, looks no. like it'll work so far. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think. Probably. Okay, and then, uh, chat got app. IT. LS. Python. Chat got app. This is it. Come on! Doug, can you stop casting your numerous amounts of virginity into the basement and attic? Hi, Joe Biden here. I wanted to congratulate you. We would like to present you with the Medal of Vergonna. Your ignorance of female anatomy and lack of sex having is an inspiration to this beautiful nation. Cheers to you, sexy boy. Thank you, Joe. Okay, this shouldn't count. Here's why. Well, I guess it counted for the prediction. This freeze has been happening sometimes. So, I'm, I'm running back. Hold on. Maybe it'll work. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. The free look, the freeze was a previous problem. That doesn't count. If this works, even though the believers already lost their money, if this works, then it counts. Let's get ready to see rumble. All I did was rerun it. Okay, actually the believers are, are gonna have gotten so scammed if this worked. It loaded correctly. Um, I reload. There's two users. The text to speech is on for both. I can pick so now type A crew or Z crew in chat. Just A crew or Z crew. I could pick a random user here. Boom. And it crashes. Congratulations, Doug. <laughs> you did it. You're incredible. Great Doug. job, Doug. You're I amazing. Be like you. Wow. Doug, Congratulations, so Doug. Amazing. You did it. Person. What happened? You are amazing. Oh See, I think it's fine. So I did a good He's job. He's the best gamer. Wow. What did I do? Oh, my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. Uh... Line 274. I don't trust you. Okay. I clicked pick random. It got here and it emits over the socket. Pick random user number equals one. So then over here, I get the pick random thing. And then it goes bot random user value user number is one. Why, why didn't it work? This is why I said 274. You're, you're, you're just wrong. Your socket is wrong for 274. This is correct. What are you talking about? This is just, you're wrong. You're just so wrong. <laughs> also, here, it, I know a lot of you guys are concerned about line 274. So let me fix that for you. Now 274 is fine. Choose one, not choose. No, 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 no. It's just, that's just not correct. This is saying, this is the, the socket endpoint for this function, which is choose. It's not choose one or choose two. So this here is going to omit to the choose. It's not even the thing I did. <laughs> I clicked choose random. I, you're all, you're just wrong. You're completely wrong. Um, what, what, what I clicked was here, pick random, and it sent this data to this part of the server um, at line 60, you're concatenating a string to a boolean. What? Check current user on line 264 and 265. But that should be fine. I did that before. This this should work. Oh. Wait. No, dude, this should work. Why wouldn't this work? Oh, current user. I'm dumb. Fuck! Current user, um... Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Oh, shit. Classic virgin move. Avoiding vulva facts like you avoid sex.
We gotta move in here. Hey Doug, I don't know if you've heard it, but have you tried drinking Milo instead of olive oil every now and then? I heard it is even more benefits. What the hell is Milo? Milo on your face. Got him. Are you gonna eat Tigilasi for dinner? Hey do, am I late for the Virgin Convention? And <laughs> cosplaying okay. as you and Okay, really alright, like alright, alright. This is let me fix this. Mods, new prediction. Does it work after this? First try. Okay, but not counting if it if it does that freeze at the beginning. Not counting that freeze at the beginning. But otherwise, it has to work first try. Let's go. Message. Okay. Current user was picked. Current user, bot current user one. If you can see that the emote is deaf camel toe, then you're a virgin. <laughs> she got him. Okay, and then we put this here. Believers, I've never been wrong twice. Do we have a place for the second TTS to play and not move the other OBS object? Yeah, I'll set that up after, but it should, yeah. Okay. That's it, right? Hey chat, just to confirm you went Vergs. Name three women. <laughs> Vergs. Hey Doug, I had a friend who went to the doctors the other day. They have a growth. It doesn't look good. They can operate, but my friend doesn't want to ruin their beautiful galassi. Just, just not necessary. Imagine calling the function without formatting the parent node. LOL. Point Crow, did you believe? You better fucking believe. Okay, 53% of people believe in me. And like 90% of them is Point Crow. This is it. Turn on. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, it turned on. Is this it? Virgin would actually listen to this message. <laughs> well, I was not paying attention. And now we, we go back and we refresh. It's working. I need some people to say A croon, Z croon chat. And now. Doug. Line 264. Shit, that was too late! Doesn't matter because right now, big random! User should be Fuck! Dot current underscore user underscore one and bot dot current underscore user underscore two. I got to play with dangerous food born funky in a lab today. If I get a respiratory infection, I will let you know. I said method not allowed. <laughs> oh. Does this at least work? Hold on. How do you how do you debug? How do you debug this? Debugger? What do I do? What? Where where's my where's my code? The fuck? <sighs> Whatever, it's probably on the it's probably on the it's on the console? No no no. I should have the code that I can like debug on. Console? But, but where you should have like the JavaScript, right? Oh. Uncaught syntax error expected token. Wait, I fucked this up? No way. Am I missing a bracket? Add a debug line. You don't have to do that in Chrome. I guess you have to in Firefox. Um, no, it seems fine. Dude, why, why, why not let me debug it easily? Inspect the HTML page. Um, I mean, 
but I should be able to like uh I don't know where it is. Here somewhere. Ugh, random user should be self, not this. It was working before. I think I saw missing parentheses. No, you were just looking for a vagina. Have you checked on 274 lately? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's make sure 274 is okay. Oh, 274 got changed. Now it's this one. Oh no. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, we're safe. 274 is empty again. <clears throat> um, Dude, I don't even know how to debug. <laughs> this, is, this is too much. Uh, Literally 274. Yes, you are correct. I mean, if I open it in Chrome, I can debug it. I know how I'm to. I'm sorry, Doug. We must scrap it and start all over. We're not. It, it's fine. It's close. It's probably almost there. Okay. Chrome isn't working. Uh, Cool. First time catching you on stream, Doug. I hope you don't feel too bad taking some of the money my wife let me keep after she left me. Uh, it's an honor to have your money. Click console error line. What am I doing wrong? Console? Error? Let me just... Wait, why is this so... Uh... That is a camel's toe if I've ever seen one. I should know. I'm Mrs. Obama. Console. What do? What do, Call console? Point Crow R N. He's an engineer. He can fix your code. Point Crow, what, what's wrong? You took the error off. Hey, Brian. You're a great streamer and all. Don't get me wrong. But this coding thing really doesn't seem like your forte. Don't quit your day job, kid. Also, as a man who has had a lot of sex. Well, never mind. Forget it. You're too far gone, Derek. Hey, Doug. I am about to get suspended from school because my teacher in the computer lab said she saw Volva on the screen while I watched your stream. I don't understand. Please help. Okay, hold on. You guys are saying to ch oh, the debugger? Where do I go? You're saying to look for... Oops. I I'm here in the console. I'm not seeing any errors this time. And I'm literally on the same page doing the same thing. You are hiding errors. Where where, how, where am I hiding the errors? Oh, now, oh, I get what you said. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Learn more. Okay, no, that's not what I... Oh, I'm missing a semicolon? But I'm not. Four oh four not found. It was going to favicon.io. That's not even actually line one twenty seven. Where does it say that? Where does it say the line number? No, that's the that's the IP address of the server. It's not. Three thirty one seventeen, right side. Oh oh, over here. Okay thirty. Oh view in debugger. Oh here we go. Okay. Oh this is on the back end. No this is on the front end. Oh god fucking damn it. Oh it's cause there's no. It's cause there's no semicolon. Fine. All right. It was missing a semicolon the whole time. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're semicolon, semicolon. Doug, you're I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so good. Okay, mod, run it. Does it all work? Wow. First oh try, God. everything you're works. Everything Doug. works. Run it, mods. Let's go. <laughs> Python corrupted me. I forgot about semicolons because I've been using Python. <laughs> okay. Okay. I haven't needed to use a semicolon, I guess I do in GTA 5 and in Skyrim.
It's not my fault. Okay. All right. Huge bet here. Believers are believers are going nuts now. Believers are going crazy. And it doesn't count if it hold, if it freezes that first like two seconds. It's got to get past that. Thirty two needs a curly. Huh? Yeah, wait, Point Crow, you have so much shit. <laughs> okay. 32 needs a curly. No, it doesn't. What are you talking about? Oh. Wait. Wait, hold on. Do it. No, isn't it? Hold on. Don't you don't don't you not want curlies? How do you how do you use jQuery? No, you don't. You don't want a, a curly, right? Don't you not want the curly? It should be parentheses. We want less curlies. Yeah. You you wanted a curly, but you're you're wrong. Debugger didn't ask it as a curly. Using curlies, Omega lol. Rigged, you changed it. Okay, fine. Fucking cancel the mod. Can you cancel the thingy and, and rerun it? 30 seconds. Go, go, go. Chat, to confirm you aren't virgins, can you name three women? You know people can have sex with men, right? <laughs> Doug, I will write this for you for the low, low price of 100,000 Bezos pesos. This is the Virg special. The Virg special. Wow. Okay, believers. I've never been wrong on my code three times in a row. Or however many times I've had it wrong. It's never... Look. I've never been wrong six times in a row. Name one time that I was wrong six times in a row. You can't do it. You can't do it. <sighs> this is where you win it all back. V crew. I saved, right? I saved the code over here. Yeah. Okay, everything's saved. <sighs> okay, that's the freeze. That's the freeze. I said that doesn't count. Hey, this is God. just happening randomly. Just that's in not case the you app. Didn't notice, okay. The code didn't work. Let's get okay, ready here we go. to here we go. rumble. <sighs> and we refresh. Imagine going to eat dinner and not bug. Certified virgin moment. Okay, we need some A crews and Z crews. And this is the one. This is this button has crashed every time. And now I click. Yes! Inspect the Dread Dragon 77. Okay, Dread Dragon. JavaScript will be at the top of it. And then over here, the Beast Gamer. Okay, now both you guys can talk. Stop believing. What up, MTP? Being a doubter is for sex havers, and we both know the virgins need that double more. <gasps> it works! Yes. Now, technically, believers. Technically. Believe. We did it, believers. Technically, you didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. The prediction was not over. Believe is win. So, there's a major issue going on. I'm not sure if anybody has noticed it. As a dollar idol loving Australian, it, I am does very anybody disappointed see the major that problem? you and most of chat doesn't know what Milo is. Uh, like, this, this is not acceptable. Yeah. Y you did catch it. It's not blue. I don't know. It's not blue anymore. The text is supposed to be blue. Something happened. It's not... Scamming? It's not blue. So, technically, it's not working. Also, I didn't test the other things. Here, point crow. Scam. Oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> Wait, Point Crow, can you say something? Or you can you can breathe too if you want. Yeah, it's supposed to be blue. Uh oh, and it's also not. It's also not. Hold on. Oh no. Test test. Okay, choose. All right, something's something's broken here. Um, it's case sensitive. Is it? No, it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's just broken. But I can pick a random person. That works. Uh, very rigged prediction. I mean, it kind of worked a little bit, though, so that's cool. Okay. 
So, I mean, the choose user thing, I mean, I'll, I'll figure it out, but I'm not really, I'm not planning on using this very much. Keep re-rolling until you get point crow. It's going to take forever. Um, Neat. Thank you, the old degent. Point. <laughs> If case sensitive, the C is capital. It, it shouldn't be case sensitive. Yeah, I I don't think that's it. That that wasn't the case before. I just did Doug Doug for myself before. Um, the cases in Twitch chat aren't are just for display. I'm pretty sure. Um, well, what do I do? How do we fix it? I mean, ran, pick random seems to be working. And then if and then if I turn Texas Beach off. Could you guys uh, type, type again? Why is it like moving up and down? Um, I need to like put something in the middle of these two to spread them out a little bit. Hey again. What up? Wait, I turned text to speech off. Okay, that's not working. Uh oh. You're not supposed to be talking. Point crow isn't a crew. That's not. The code is not going to be like. What? It's broke. What? what? Smells nice in here. Wouldn't happen to be. You. Doug. God, I hate it. It's off. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is, um, Point Crow, have you said Z Crew in chat? Just like Z Crew one word? Because if so, we just we just roll until I find you, okay? Okay, cool. No! Oh, fuck! Okay, type it again. Shit, there's gonna be like 500. We got so lucky and I fucked it. Pog. <laughs> you got a fog in. Oh my god. It, I, either I go way too fast and I'm gonna miss it. Not a very pro streamer move. There's no, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna catch it. I'm speeding up. I was holding my eyes so wide, I couldn't, I had to blink. <laughs> okay. Dude, he did it again. Uh, okay, we're gonna, I'm just gonna fix it. I'm just gonna fix it so I can put point crow in manually. Why would it not work? It, it should work. What's wrong with choose user now? <sighs> okay, it's, it's probably something coming back from the data, right? Choose user. I choose. Bruh. Choose one of the value. Choose user number, chosen user. That's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Shut up. And then choose one value equals zero. What? So that feels like that should probably work. I guess I could, um, I could do a little bam. Wait, can I? How do I debug? Like pause or something? No, this is like a mouse clicking event. No, no, no. Wait, how do I... T oh, dude. Do I have to... Is there... A, how do I get a, a breakpoint into my own code? Left side under sources, click index. Yeah, I don't see index in here, though. That, that's, that's what I'm looking... Like, that's what I mean. Like, oh, index is there. I'm dumb. Okay. Drink right. people um, be like, I won't summon Satan. Okay, we break point here. Cool. Now I click this. I hit enter. Boom. It break points. Um, let's figure out what's going on. Console log choose value. Yeah, okay, let's step over. That's fine.
Okay. Why did it already lose the thing? What the fuck? Where's my stuff? I haven't done great points like this. Uh, scope, synonymous, global. Can I look it up? How do I? Event? I don't know where to find the things I'm looking for. I mean, this is probably working. Mm. Y'all pre should overstimulate chat by giving them like 50 Chanel point rewards. Wait, why didn't... Oh, there we go. Man, I need an actual development environment to learn all this shit. Um, I mean, let me just see if there's anything dumb that I missed. I don't know oh, now that I have the network coding. tab open. Could you please start at line one and explain every line of code? Thanks. It's like um, it's like a series of tubes. Okay. Wait. So if I do this. Man, I feel like Terry's a lot of pressure on me. Trans right smile. Okay, I'm looking at the console. I think I'm not getting the data properly. I should be printing the value that's in the choose one form. Why is that not being logged? How do you tell me you, what to say? How do you make a, a big stream? How do you make a string uh, in JavaScript? I assume it's normal. I'm just like, here's choose value, and then I, I'm like this, yeah, something Means. like that. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, we come back here. So in the console, I turn off the debugging. In the console, when I load this, and I do point crow. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't have the choose value. Okay, so that's the problem. That's the problem. Um, so why would it not have it? So in the choose. Oh. I'm not getting the for it from the form. It should be from input, right? It should be from here. Yeah? It's fine if point grow's gone. It's... Because the thing that we're referencing and getting the text from is not the form, it's the actual input. I think that should do it. Let's get ready to rumble. So now we do point crow and it crashes. <laughs> we did it. Holy shit, it's eight o'clock. All right, we got to start wrapping this up. Um, I just want my core. I want the core things working. I can figure out why things aren't blue. I can resize stuff later. Um, did I do something dumb here? And 
the select. Okay, it needs to be input. Okay, got it. Thank you, Zenith Knight. Let me try that. Oh, yeah, because I'm doing form choose one. So it should be input to choose one. Would it be that, or do I also need it in these spots? That should be it, right? I think. Oh, oh, the second idea is choose one. Yeah, 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 sorry. Uh, choose two. Okay, it froze. Let's get ready to rumble. Maybe this is the one. No. No, not at all. Okay, it's, I mean, at least we know what's going on. It's just not grabbing the data that we need from the HTML element. So it's really close. It's really, really close. It's really close. Also, form on two still has the ID. You should have a code competition to see who can make the coolest tool for you to use so you can just steal our work. The thing is, I've talked about this. I like learning how to do it. Like, I really enjoy being able to modify it on the fly. So I think there's a lot of value in me knowing how to do this, right? Even though it's kind of a mess and takes me a while to learn. And you check 274 again. Okay, 274 is still safe. We're okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm learning. I mean, it's slow, right? But Hello, Dick I am Doug. learning. Have you tried writing code that works? Keep the ID on the form, then use form... Okay, got it. Let's try that. Soggy crispy bread. I don't know the name like soggy crispy bread. I have to trust you. Okay, so. Oh, I left it here anyways. So I remove it. I had two things with the same ID. Wait, was that just gonna break it anyways? So you're just take the you're saying I move this up here. Rolling Armadillo, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Appreciate it. That is a bunch. So you're saying I would do this? But this can be form again, because I've, I've gone back, and then I do... Chat. If this isn't in the list of contenders for best streams of 2023, Doug Doug Award, I'm gonna subscribe all of you to your Ether Facts. Let's try it. Let's get ready to. Doug, the rumble. code is pulling from all people for both, it looks like. There are A crew names in the Z crew box. Right now, it's not. Turn on a mode only and of point crow types crew. Right now, anybody can join the Acre and Zeker team. It's just, it's just honor system. That's why there's people over here who aren't. Um, I got chosen for one second. That killed me inside. I had something awesome to say. Shit. I mean, you could have said it right now with this TTS, but I get that you're too heartbroken. So then we do me over here. Oh wait, this is still gonna break. I gotta update this one. Uh, okay, who, who's here? Doug Doug. Test. Test. Can you please keep it down? I'm trying to sleep. Pi Charm Community Edition is free, Doug. Only costs you some hard drive space, Kek. You woo, hey chat. WH, what if we key kissed under the shitty JavaScript code? Maybe, unless. Hey, Dugman, how goes it? Anyway, we love you less than three. Had a rough day, so now I will watch the most exciting stream of all time. It's been a banger. Chat, everybody in chat is now going to describe just, just a taste of the emotional journey that they've been 
that they've gone through as they've watched me make this kind of work a little bit. <clears throat> Buckle in. It's a tearjerker. Keep the id on the form, then use dollar form hash choose one input to get the value. Thank you, Soggy Crispy Bread, for that. That is what we needed. Thank you. All right, let me make sure it works with both. Okay. Because if that's working, that's pretty much everything, Let's except it's not to blue. Rumble. The other, the other thing we have to figure out. Why no blue? Okay, Doug, Doug, boom. Now you're working. Uh, Keep the submit as dollar form hash choose one, then console.log dollar form hash choose one input. Val. Yes, I think that's what you said, right? Yeah, at any rate. Thank you. Um, I mean, sure, random people. Iraq, congratulations, you win. And sniping, Buno. When will you be streaming tabs? I do not like the look of line 102. Um, I don't Hello, know. Chat. Tomorrow I'm streaming with Kraken. We're going to do Twitch Chat Plays Mario Party. It's going to be later in the day. Sorry, Europeans. Well, Europeans are probably not awake right now. So, ha! Now it we can we can finally let loose. Stream. Um, the TTS thing, that's just what it... The When I load it, the checkbox is not corresponding to... That's fixable. Once I've checked or unchecked it, they're synced up cool. again. Cool. I'm on the Virgin stream. So see, this one is not checked, um, and this next, this next one won't talk. I think. Or wait, no, that's not working, huh? I forgot. I didn't get that working. Got him. Yeah. So. Um, I need to figure out what. Huh. Yeah. This is the Virgoist stream I have ever seen. Virgoist. Overshot beetle. Thank you for the five good subs. Uh, so tabs will probably be Wednesday or Thursday. And then we're also, I want to do things with this, but also for some other strategy games, like Planet Coaster. Mm. I'm genuinely surprised you could last with just coding without me. True. Um, okay. What am I doing? What am I doing here? We have two things to fix. And then I'm calling it for the night. Holy what? shit, it's a coding stream. My prayers have been answered. Finally, my favorite thing for the whole stream. Um, I mean, today's been fun. I've had a great time. So, the text to speech, Jesus even despite me clicking it on and off, it's saying true and false. That does not seem to be updating. It has been a fun stream. It does not seem today to be. Today was fun, honestly. Thank you. Um, it does not seem to be updating over to the other side on the server. Because the server is still talking. And the server is the one who decides whether or not to talk. So. May the plus equals be with you. <laughs> I have to zonk later. Um, okay, let's just double check. Line 274 is still is still safe. So the problem that we are having is this function. I don't understand what's going on here. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's set to true, to, uh, but this is only when it starts. And here, I don't get it. Um, so look, you can see down here in the console, when I click it, it's sending it, right? It's sending true and false. So that, that is definitely being, well, I guess I, I don't know if it's being sent, but it should be. Um, TTS. So we're emitting TTS. User number is one, and checked is whether it's true or false. So we're sending that value here, and it should be saying, okay, if the value user number is one, then it's Plus setting equals TTS enabled true equals to true or false. Why would that not work? Oh, that's why. Yep, that would do it. Hey Doug, you inspired me to pick up Python cause of your vids. 
keep up the awesome content. Hey. Can't wait to see how this app turns out. Hey, that's awesome. Hope you enjoy it. Python is interesting. It is fun to just do goofy, quick shit. All right, that is maybe going to fix that problem. Let's find out. Let's get ready to rumble. I am so happy we added breathing. Wait, this is blue. Why is that one blue? One of them is blue. Huh? <laughs> okay, I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever, we'll figure that out. Um, the last problem to solve if the text-to-speech works is blue or not. Uh, let me pick myself. No, 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 you kicked out. Uh, not true. Not true. Okay, now if I uncheck... Not true. Uh, we should not hear this. We should not hear this. Fuck. <laughs> um. Hey, Duke. Just wanted to say hi. Hello, the Alma. Um. I can't, I cannot understand a single thing. Uh, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo! Received the value PTS. Received the value, and then we will. Do we have to convert it to a string or something? Can we have some East Oak? What? I don't know. Stop whispering. Just talk normally. Okay. Give us the bees, Doug. No. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Um. And now, if we go, Doug, Doug. Test. Test. Accru. Test. Um, you should not hear this. As a professional web developer, I have enjoyed watching you pick apart your janky code while I, I was still here to work all day. <laughs> you should not hear this. Okay, why are we hearing this? Wait, what? Okay, I have two running. That is probably not good. Hold on. Yeah, it'd be funny to, like, watch this Let's as it actually know what's going on. Rumble. Okay. Doug Doug. Boom. Doug Doug was picked. Test. Test. Now I turn it on and I turn it. Oh, wait. Now we should see it. Oh. Well, what's going on here? It's line 172. Oh, I'm done. Wait. Huh? Don't forget me. Isn't this a string? Am I crazy? The fuck? Received the value, value checked. I'm confused. Yeah, I mean, we can convert it to a string. Uh, Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, we reload. I check. I uncheck. Received the value true. Wait, what? Oh, it logged out of my Twitch channel. Okay, that's a Twitch thing. Okay, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Um, Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, I'll run it back. Okay, here we go. So I click this, and now we see what it received the value true. I uncheck it, and it received the value true. <laughs> Hello, 
Why is it? Why is it saying it's why is it sending true every time? It's it's not checked. This is false. There's nothing there. In Python, true is capitalized, and in JavaScript it's lowercase, that is almost certainly causing a parsing error. It worked before. That's like I mean it's how it's how it was running before I I changed everything. You're converting to string which coerces a boolean to true as it's not an empty value. Wait. Is it linked to the right variable? Oh. Okay, so this one works. Wait, hold on. So this, so it does, hold on. Test. Test. Now if I turn I it off. I hated line 172. You should not hear this. God damn it, it was working the whole time. It just, I, I had the wrong fucking number. So this one works fine. This one is referencing this one. <laughs> Fuck. So even if, so if this one is Doug, off, almost and this one is on, PM here. I am so tired. Doug, Doug, um, you should hear this, but you, huh? Oh, well, okay, it's going to the wrong one. This will be somebody else. You should hear this, but you're not because it's listening to this one. Fart! Okay, so over here. Oh, it's just doing TTS checkbox. Doug, I think you might be tired. You've been at this for nearly a full work day. It's okay if you look at it with fresh eyes in the morning. You... The thing is, I'm a stubborn dummy. Okay, where's the checkbox? So I have to give this an ID, right? Or can I do the cool thing up here, where I was like... Okay, right now it's just pulling the class checkbox instead of the the actual specific one. Do I need to give it an ID for people who know JavaScript? It has to have an ID. Okay, we give it an ID. We give the checkbox an ID. Give yourself a break. Look, I think you don't I think you misunderstand me. I don't do rational things. I just get obsessive about a goal, and then I want to beat the goal. It'll be so hype when I beat the goal. Can you teach us life skills instead of robot talk? The ro Okay, the next person who talks will give you life advice. It's going to be great. Okay, get it ready. So, in the checkbox, I have an ID. And that ID is checkbox two. Okay. And we're gonna add one up here. Checkbox one. Now that I have the ID, checkbox one. Don't be a verg. I will I will be here and we will go pound checkbox one. And we check whether or not it's checked. Boom. I have an idea for a break. Acruan's crew personality tests. We just need to end. I just need to finish it, and then we're gonna end. Now this is checkbox two. You haven't given two. us a straight answer yet. Do you see the camel's toe or not? Are you a virgin or not? I don't see it. Okay, I did it, right? Checkbox one, checkbox one. Where are we in the Doug Doug challenge life cycle? This is, I know it's doable, but I, and I'm just gonna beat my head against the wall till it's done. I'm not gonna quit. Checkbox two. Yeah, this all works. This is gonna be great. It's, this is the one. This is the to one. To shit or not to shit. Let's get ready to. Doug, are you a virgin? We must know these Let's things. Let's get ready to. Rumble. The next person who chats will tell you whether or not I'm a virgin. Okay. Everybody's good. DJ Gamer Summus. 
False. Don't worry, Doug. My cats True. believe in you. True. I mean, he's they've not been a asleep for the last three hours, but if they were awake, Thank they'd you. probably believe. Yes. Uh, they believe me, dude. Uh, okay. So now, if I pick myself over here, I should hear this. Hithsy. Oops. Hear this. Hear this. Okay, whatever. And then I turn it off. You should not hear this. Oh. Ha! You were turned off! <laughs> it doesn't count because you didn't say it out loud. Hey Doug, I'm playing like a dragonishin and thought your stream music was coming from the game. <laughs> test, test. Test, test. And now if I turn it off, no TTS here. Boom! We're good! Paid actor Duke Doug Rigged, Duke Doug Rigged, Duke Doug Rigged. Okay. I fucking did it. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think everything is working. Everything seems to be working. Um, the only thing we are missing, the only thing, and this is one of the most important, uh, then we will end the stream. I think you all know. I'm starting to see it in the chat. Uh, this could be a brutal fix to figure out. We need the blue. I'm proud of you, Dan. Thank you, Ryan C. You're the son I always had. I never wanted. <laughs> um, it was blue before. Why ain't it blue? Where'd the My blue chest. go? We gotta get the blue back. Okay. I don't really know CSS and shit, but let's figure it out. Look, the CSS says that the user message should have this. This is the blue. This is the blue color. So Can why- Can get some camels in chat? <laughs> no. So why did that stop happening? Why no blue? This has been the stream of all time. It certainly has. Uh... Where would... Message bot... Why would it stop being blue? Why would you it stop... You aren't gonna forget Zed Crew's own bell pepper, right? Right. Right. That sounds like the thing I will definitely remember after this stream. When have I ever forgotten about things like that? Consider different colors for each box. Okay, yeah, that's that's true. That'd be hype. Um, are you setting the user message box content? Well, okay, hold on. So, I mean, why, why would it stop working? I don't get it. Um, making two of them? Making two of them? Wow, my voice. Making two of them, like, stopped it? That doesn't make sense. Um, user message box to why? Why would dude CSS makes no fucking Wait, sense? Was there the real James Howard? Huh? Isn't it hashtag? What? What? You're probably setting the div text when you get a new message and not the span text. Div text and not the span text. But, I mean, here, here's what I would think. I have my CSS file says, at all elements with the class, user Remember message, when you said should no have this color. want to watch a programming stream? Pepperidge Farm members. I mean, it's true. Still true. So, here's what I would think is going on here. In the CSS, I say, hi, all user message class elements should be this color. And then in here, there's a user message class element. And so it should have that color. Why wouldn't that work? Are you putting the new text in the span? Yeah. But the class gets removed because you're setting the div text, not the span text. The fuck I am? Uh, so this is up here. And user message box. Oh, you're right. So, so instead of setting the text here, I should set it, I should, okay, so I set the, so instead of setting the div, I set the span, right? Yeah? That's, that's the, that's the thing I'm doing wrong? Change the CSS to the div, not the span. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, I guess that works too. User message box. Oh, so I can just move this up here.
So now it's now it's referring to the outer box thingy rather than the inner. Now it's an Audi, not an any. Okay, maybe that'll work. That'll probably work. Fuck it. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay. <laughs> this one's not blue anymore, <laughs> but that one is blue. Woo! Oh, but it's blue still! Okay, now it's blue. Huh? The fuck? Dog dog. Test test. Test T test. This is a huge message. 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 I regret this. This is a huge message. It's also not being fit correctly now. Test. It's supposed to be fitted into the box. That's what... God damn it. Why does everything break? Dude, HTML and CSS are not great. Um, That's the point of the span. Well, the span has a specified height. Oh, because the font size is now being... Hold on. Maybe I can make the font size here in the user message. I think that actually will do it. CSS is so weird, man. It is not. Let's it, get ready to... It is really not rumble. intuitive. Okay, now it's not, now it's not listening to anything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, now it completely broke. <clears throat> what? Changing the CSS broke everything? Huh? Like, what? The fuck? Okay. Um. Caps? I don't think caps matters. Test. Test. Oh. Okay, got to figure that out. I just got to lowercase things. But it's blue. This is blue. This is blue. Uh, huge message. It was James Howard, the furry artist. Huge message, huge message, huge message, now, huge now message, huge message, huge message, huge, huge message, 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 huge message. That was literally a week ago. Um. Oh, it froze. So what? Who cares if Doug is a Virginia? He is Let's probably get ready saving to himself for his bachelor rumble. party, and then again after his divorce weary. You should all be pogging for him and his massive pee pee hose. Huge message, huge message, Why isn't huge this message, working huge anymore? message, huge what? message, huge 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 message. I had I have a thing that is supposed to resize all the text to fit the box. That was that's what Congrats this does. Congrats on your showing in the Peggle tournament. This is how delayed the TTS is. <laughs> Thank you. The TTS is like not delayed. Um Oh, I should just go to sleep. Not go to sleep, go eat dinner. Just put the properties in both. Wait, why would why this this doesn't make any sense. Why would CSS work this way? <laughs> you keep trying to delete the message. I wish you could. Do message user box span. Wait, for what part? I bet if you took a shot of olive oil, it would energize your brain and you'd figure it out. I mean, probably, because my brain is, is... I am struggling. I need food. It's not okay if I take a break. 
You guys don't seem to understand that uh, my brain doesn't work that way. Uh, what? Where? Where would I use this? Soggy? What was the thinking here? Probably line forty. So it was working before. Why would it stop working? It's so strange. If you call it a night, no one will blame you. We love a fresh dug, not the rotten one that's before us right now. <laughs> okay, all right. You don't have to. <laughs> God, I love when something that's like a nice gesture. Congratulations, Doug. It's... You did it. You're incredible. Doug, we support you. If you need to take a break because you look like a piece of shit right now, just this ugly, vile, stinky, just piece of garbage, then you should go do it because we support you, Doug. Wow. Um, wait, what did I just do? Why did I just copy that in? Right. 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 Let me do it for the first one. Okay. Maybe this will work. Please work. Resize things. Be blue. Be Let's resized and be to. blue. I think you could turn Rumble. the app back on. I would like to talk to Parkser, man to man. <laughs> I'll set you guys up together. Okay. Uh, Doug, Doug. I win. I win. I win. Congratulations, me. Douglas, uh, it is you not are resized. setting the wrong elements text. You are setting hashtag user message box one, but you should be setting hashtag user message one. User message box. Doug, you're doing a great job, but you look like little vomit in the bottom left of my screen. Great work. Try harder next time, though. Yeah, why am I setting the box? You're right. I should be setting the because actual message. Because you changed message. it so that you are adding the chat messages to the div rather than the spam. The spams are getting deleted the first time you set a chat message. I'm confused. I don't get it. I'm scared. Um, yeah, shouldn't. Okay, you're right. So this should, this should be user message. What? It should just be user message, right? Why would I be changing the text of the box? I should be changing the text of the, of the thing, right? And now here, it shouldn't need to be right. Probably, maybe. Why would I, dude? HTML makes no sense. Why would I be able Let's to change get ready the? To rumble. Why would I be able to change the text of Try a box anyway? By zero. Wait, it doesn't make any sense. This dude, this language sucks. All right. Well, the text is a lot bigger, so that's a good sign. It's just not blue anymore. Okay, so Doug is uh, test. Test. Okay, and now like big message. Also mods, I'm seeing somebody like spamming a, a giant message in chat. Can you take big care of that? Message, okay, so now it's message, resizing big properly. Message, big message, big message, big message, big message, big message, and big now, message, big message, big message, big message, big message. And then message. move the CSS color and font size back yes, to user back. message. Yes, yes, that's it. This is it. This is it. So I moved it to the wrong spot because I was updating the wrong thing the whole time. So now I can do. Okay, that's why the blue broke. It's because I was doing it stupidly like an idiot. And now. We run this. Let's get ready to rumble. And everything works perfectly. Okay, it starts at a perfect, at a certain size. Uh, you can have Drowful. You're up there. Congratulations, Doug. Doug, I'm on the left. I say a thing. Test. Test. Hi, this is big. Heck yeah. Hi, this is big. New poll. Does it work the first time? And then, if it's really big, it'll resize in the box. Hi, this is big. 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 Let's go, boy. Hi, Doug. Go eat dinner. Are we using to make the text size? What are we make the text resize to fit? It's resizing the names as well. Yeah, I I told I have it resizing the names intentionally. Um, adding a set height to the name box. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can just do that here. In the text fill thing. Jackie Chan did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he did. Is that controversial? Is there something happened to Jackie Chan? What? No, wait. 
No, Texville. Uh, Texville. Jquery. Okay. Explicit height. So I can just set explicit height to something, and then it'll, the, the names will stop fucking up, I think. Uh, username box, explicit, height, I don't know how high, how high should it be. It is like, I don't know, 50, 100, no, no, I don't fucking know. How big, how big is a, how big is that? 10? 10. Forty-two. Jackie That's probably way too low. Divorce. Too fizzy. Oh, is there anything wrong with that? You can ins inspect it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, this should work, and then hopefully the boxes don't get all fucked Let's up. Let's get weird. ready to rumble. Okay, now it's locked at a certain height, I think, and then regardless of the names, it should be resized. Um. Boy. I think everything works. If I turn off the text to speech, uh, it should stop over here. Doggo, this should not work. And then if I turn it back on, it should. Doggo, dog. Doggo, dog. We can breathe a lot. Beef. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're done. Sorry, sincere list. I had turned your voice off. And now you guys can talk. Beast. I think it works. I think I'm good. So I'll have to move it. Basically, I will pull. I'll have it here. And then I would drop it down at the bottom. Congratulations, Doug. Heck yeah. You did it. You're incredible. Great job, Doug. Doug. You're amazing. I mean, like, wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the in person. He's the best gamer. Wow. Oh, my God. Congrats. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. <gasps> um. Yeah, yeah. Cap or key. Yeah. I, that's a pretty... The capitalization thing is, should be an easy fix. I just lowercase it before it gets processed. Um. But now set a timer to end the stream, please. Hey, I'm actually Eat. I'm actually really proud of this thing. I mean, it's not to say this is like the greatest coding ever, but I'm really proud to have like learned all this stuff. And obviously, you know, there's there's problems, but like. I'm just, there's so many cool ideas that I can do now. And I love the idea of being able to, you know, set up the core thing. And then if people have dumb ideas or I have done dumb ideas during a stream, we can change stuff, you know? Um, and, and for the last like, couple months, I've been like, man, I should really learn to make web apps, but I just don't have the time for it. And I have not had the time for it, but I finally like, you know, made it work. So I'm really stoked that this is all here. And it's actually been really fun. I had a great time streaming today. This is like so fun for me. I mean, you know, little, little niche in terms of, who would be interested in this, but I had a great time. Would like to see both crews talk to each other in Mario Party. Oh, that's interesting. Please beef. Yeah, it, so... Oh, that was from you. I'm Yeah, I'm gonna go beef. Um... Yeah, and there's a bunch of other front-end things I could learn. I was basically trying to learn some simple fundamentals that I could just change easily. Um... And I'm sure there's, you know, other approaches I could do. Let's get ready to. But I think at, at least now I can, um... I get, like, the core fundamentals and what I would need to, to learn, rather than having to, like, start a bunch of stuff from scratch. Uh, I can delete this. I have no idea how to code, and this was really interesting to watch. More, please. Yeah, this is fu- I mean, it's just fucking cool. So, um... I move away from the mic to be thin. Yeah, there's so there's a couple variation. How's line 274? Let's check in on him. A cruise at Okay, crew still rap safe. Battle. <laughs> Here's his eager rap battle. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of dumb ideas. So, breathe. Here. I'm breathe alive. 
breathe. There's there's three different ones I can tease. One is I want to do... Hey Doug, um, have you seen my hands? I've been looking all over the place and I can't find them. I don't see them. You just look like a camel toe with no hands up there. Uh, one, one idea I want to do is city skylines, but one person is the mayor that tells me what I have to listen to the mayor. And then every five minutes we elect a new mayor, but they can run for re-election if chat likes how they're running it. Um, so that'd be a one, that'd be a one person chat God app. A two person would be a crew versus Z crew in tabs, totally accurate battle simulator. So I'll pick a captain for both who, who pick the teams for their battle and they can like talk shit during it. And then we do a bunch of, that's what I was hoping we could do today, but it's been seven hours and it's technically not even done. And then, so I think that'll be fun. And then I was going to do it this week. I don't think I'll have time. Probably next week. I made a Dungeons and Dragons campaign and I'm going to have three characters, warrior, rogue, and wizard. And you can join one of the character pools. So you can do like exclamation mark, warrior, exclamation mark, rogue, exclamation mark, wizard. And so th this was what the idea came for, for all of this is instead of two guys down there, it would be three. You can join the team you want. And then for every turn, I pull a random viewer from the warrior team and I'm like, okay, warrior, you're leading. What do you do? Right? So we're going to see if I can have Twitch chat play D and D, but it's not that way. It's not ha have. So with AI invasion, right? I have the entire chat vote on a thing, right? Which is fun of all the different options, but it just takes a really long time with Dungeons and Dragons. There's like, you know, 300 decisions we'd have to make. So I'm hoping that by picking a person and then having them just one person just say what they want to do, that should work a lot faster and actually work. So anyways, I'm really excited about this concept and now it's good to go. Uh, out of genuine curiosity that went into this, is this also going to be open source? Oh, it's one of those things that is just low on my priority list um, compared to everything else. A lot, some of this is also, you would have to set up some specific stuff to me. I mean, I can post it online and just be like, hey, you're going to have to figure out a lot of this shit to make it work. Because um, there's, just, there's just some strange things in here. Like Amazon Poly, you would have to set up a configuration file for that with AWS. Um, you know, there's a bunch of weird libraries that are involved here now. You're going to need like a Twitch access token that you need to set up in a different folder. There's there's just a bunch of things. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy to share the code. I'm, I'm not trying to like hoard it or anything. Um, and I literally streamed all of this. So it's all public. Uh, but I don't know if I'll have the time to like properly share it. Um, but in some form. Anyway, I'm just stoked. I'm really stoked about this idea. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I will be what a selfish streamer. It is literally in front of you. Right now, you are looking at the Don't code. Don't forget to remove HTML characters Jesus from the user Christ. input. Line twenty nine. Oh right, right, right. That is actually important. How? Where is that going? Okay, we actually need to do that because that's something I would forget. Because otherwise, it'll run HTML. Wait, will it? No. If I just set the text, if I just set the text element, if this has HTML in it, it'll, like, it, it'd get all fucked up. It would run the HTML here and JavaScript. It will, it would run the Could HTML. Could we talk the eye through a Mario Maker stage? Potentially. Test it with an alert. It will run the HTML. Okay. Who who here knows HTML? Just somebody say if you actually know some HTML. Although you're gonna get your night bottle will time you out. Uh I don't think it Oh, soggy, yeah, you definitely know. Okay, soggy crispy bread. Soggy, if you type some stuff. Oh, wait, I might need to, this, I might do a, I need to make your name lowercase. Hold on. I got to do that, apparently. Actively work in HTML, Python. J yeah, I mean, clearly from today, a lot of people are, you know, know this stuff. Yeah, I, so I, it's not going to run. I think it's because we're just setting it to text. Yeah, it would have to be in like a script div, right? Or, or something. I, since we're just setting a text element to, um the thing I, I don't think it's uh it didn't run or it didn't talk out loud i don't think it's going to display try using a script tag it's not going to run if it's just a string yeah it's just a string help doug i think we're i think we're okay i don't think i need to sanitize it 
Can you escape Python and exit? It, it's not gonna run the code though. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, see, it's, it's not, it's not happening. But I think we're okay. Oh. You should add a developer help channel in the Discord server to help on streams. Our developer help messages keep getting buried. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, Zenith. Rather than just like ask all of chat and get a terrible <laughs> bunch of terrible answers. Um, check the console. No, nothing there. Yeah, no, I think it's okay. I think this is safe. Cool. And the worst case is that somebody injects JavaScript code all within like a 120 character <laughs> Twitch chat message that uh, t like corrupts my entire computer. And that would be a very funny way to lose, like to lose everything, right? Like that would be super funny. So at least we got that. Yeah, it seems that the dot text function just does not allow uh, HTML to work. Uh, yeah, I'm not converting it into HTML. <laughs> Maybe because uh, it is in a span which is Marissa meant specifically for text and not something else that isn't actually adding the elements. Yeah, I, I, I think I think I'm okay. So we're all good. Um, that that is it for today. Thank you for watching. This was a, a stupid stream, but a very very fun one. Um, Been watching your old videos a bit. Can you explain us with food? Uh, you guys are like a wonderful apple Might pie. Might want to be careful if it's you ever add it to something that isn't a span. Yeah, that's fair. At the moment, I don't plan on that, but in the future, I'll think about that. Um, you're an apple pie that is a virgin. Programming stream is goated. Yeah, thank you for the people who know programming. Thank you guys for the help. This would have been much more frustrating and taken a lot longer without people's help. So I appreciate it. All right, cool. I am going to go eat and go... Shit, it's 9 o'clock. Fuck. Um, I'm going to do other things. I will be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, playing with, with Kraken. Um, uh, join... Web dev still sucks toe. Yeah, I don't love it. I love interactive things. But... <laughs> But it's very ridiculous and frustrating. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, I'm caught up, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm caught up. It's good for quick and dirty stuff like this, but it is annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I know the basics, I should be able to do stuff faster. Are Prime subs off? No, you should be able to sub, I think. <laughs> um... And that's it. Thanks for watching. Everybody get ready for the end of the stream in. Three. Two. By the one. <laughs> Captain Redbeard, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Wait, wait, let's set, hold on, let's set that. Captain Redbeard, that's very generous, thank you. I offer you these drunk breaths. Good night, chat. Godspeed.